Hey guys, Fear back at it again with another Twitch VOD. Uh, this one's from the 7th of March, 2022. At Mount Farm Monday, my first stream back after taking a week off due to the Brisbane floods. It was a whole time. Uh, if you would like to catch me live, you can follow me over at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma and slash schedule to that to see when I'll be going live in your time zone. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday from 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, but for your time zone, you can definitely check out the website. Scroll down into the description box below to, yeah, I've got, look, it's permanent marker. Just, just ignore that. <laughs> Scroll down into the description box underneath and you'll find all my social links, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, all the fun stuff. You can join us in Discord, discord.gg forward slash Fiyama. Uh, but enough about me, enjoy the one. We're back. Wonderful. Hello. I should have known that was going to happen because I was in a Discord call with Jas last night and my mic was fucked. I should have known that all of the programs would have forgotten that I use a microphone. <laughs> oh well. Hello. Did you know? Did you know? That was the first entire week off that I have had since October 2019. Yup! <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I hope you're all safe and healthy Hi, the and dry. Who's that? Tony! Thank you so much for your prime sub. Much appreciated. And I also want to do this one. Hi, the sun well. Because Ali dropped a resub as well. When we still had the starting screen soon screen up. Thank you so much for the resub. I think my eyelash is coming off. I think I need new ones. I think I need to toss these ones and grab new ones, which is a real pity because I fucking love this style. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I have like tons of lashes to get through, so it's okay. It's not a it's not a it's not a bad thing. Oh fuck. So how is everybody? <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a little while. Um, Hi, the goodness sun gracious, well. Draz! Oh my god! Oh, Dra it's a gifted sub, dude, with the sub bomb. Good lord! Hi, the sun well. Good lord, with the sub bomb, dude. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Congratulations to everyone who got caught. And staying, continuing the gift sub has Hi, triggered a hype train. Good lord. You lot. You lot. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Uh, uh, kill, 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 level. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this down and I'm gonna do some b -b 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 battle plans. There we go. Hi, the sun well. Because that's what I need to do for my things. Goodness gracious me. Goodness great. What was I doing? I was checking something. God, look, it's been a while. I'm out of practice, clearly. Out of practice. Hi, the sun. Oh my god. Zam at tier three! My gosh. Oh my lord. Goodness gracious me. Holy cow. Alright. Give me a second. Let me. I need to, let's do this. Let me catch up on, on the chats. Cause there's a bit, there's a bit. We had Dupe and Dunno being very hype right before stream started. Zam grabbed first with Dupe coming in like, like they popped up at the same time on my screen. It would have, oh my God, Ali with the cheer. Holy, gee, holy Jesus. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, far out. Um, where are we at? And then Dupe has grabbed second, Shiba has grabbed third, X has grabbed last. Koala has tried to grab first. Uh, the BRB because I gotta put my pets to bed. 
So don't open my package yet. It's okay. I, I actually have a, a planned order. I've got three packages to open and I have an order that I'm going to be opening them in because I have to explain a couple things. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Koala with 69th. Well done. Thank you very much for the welcome back, Chaos. Hello. Hello, Dory. Thank you again to Ali for the resub. Thank you for the welcome, Dory. I am indeed back, Ali. I am alive, thankfully. Hello, Fairy. You are indeed also here. Hello, Lucky. Oh, enjoy your D&D session if you're watching the VOD back later or something. I hope you enjoy your D&D session. And thank you so much for the welcome back. I too am glad that I'm saved and amazed you're here. <laughs> the gods taking your voice. We can hear you. Yes, there was a microphone issue um, last night when I was in Discord. Uh, it had set everything to default. But of course, even though this microphone is set to my default, does Windows under- no, of course not. Why would- why would it understand that? No, wrong. So yeah, no, there was a bit of a flub, but that's okay, I'm here, hello. Um, you is fear! It is. It is. I, t I too am glad I am safe, Chaos. Thank you for the welcome. It is a fear, Zam. Hello, Tony. And thank you so much for your sub as well, your resub. Uh, I just have from work. Look, apparently so. Well, the last time, the last time I was away for a week in 2019 was for PAX. <laughs> I was away for two weeks and it was for PAX. Um, how do you feel about your week off? Oh, good lord, I needed it. Like, I... Okay, so obviously floods are terrible. Floods are horrible. Like, I've got, I've sent so many photos to my mum. Um, I, I was go I was like, yes, I need to share these photos that I have taken of everything going on around us to Discord. And then I'm like, oh, no, because that will dox me. Uh, so unfortunately, I can't really share photos that uh, that have been like from, from my vicinity just because like my safety comes first. Uh, my and Jas's safety comes first. Um, however, it, it was, I've never seen anything like this except for in photos and videos on the internet. Um, there were a lot of photos and videos and, and posts and stuff in r slash Brisbane on Reddit and it was exact it was pretty much like that. It was it was pretty much like that. Um, our basement has only in the last couple of days been drained, uh, which I assume is why we ended up getting our power back. I'm sure that uh, the uh, all the like electricity stuff probably had some stuff in the basement so that needed to like the water level needed to get go, go goodbye uh, before they could actually do what they needed to do fix it. I'm assuming that that's what happened. Um, we did, however, we did have power. We were on generator power. So our building management hired a generator that they stationed like downstairs near one of our entrances and ran cables up the fire escape and shit um to to get the uh to, to get the generator working and providing power to the building uh and we were told that it would provide power for essential stuff however uh it like no <laughs> we no, we were not allowed to run our air conditioning units not allowed to run our clothes dryers anything that was considered we hand washed everything we didn't run the dishwasher um we were exceptionally limited on what we did. Uh, we did as much uh, as we could to keep our energy usage down. Um, just because, like, you've got one generator for the whole for a whole building full of people. I mean, it, the building wasn't full. We did have a couple of levels that had to have, like that evacuated because of the the water level and stuff. Which, oh boy, um, but. It's still, yeah, so we, we had very, like, we we had very limited things that we could do. And um, although we were able to use our PCs, um, I rendered no videos. And I felt that doing this with not just the running of the game, but also the running of OBS, of all of my peripherals, the cameras, the lights, the mic, the, the lights in the background, like, all, all of that stuff, even though they're LEDs and they are power efficient, it was unnecessary. And I didn't want to be the reason that the generator overloaded and caused the whole building to not have power again. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just that. Don't be a shit human. It's pretty simple, right? So I, I restrained myself, but we got power back yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think, God, it, time has no meaning. Oh, I got a level four hype beam. Thank you so much, guys. Oh my God. Oh, look, appropriately, I got hype stress. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know what? I could I could go live Sunday night last night. I was like, 
no. Uh, I, I want to, like, I wanted to just have the night to try to get everything. Because, of course, you know, I haven't been able to do a whole lot with my PC for the whole week. And so I wanted to try to get as many things locked down as I could before I went live so that I could do the best that I could in terms of giving you an entertaining thing and all that kind of shit. So that's what I made. The, like, I made the conscious decision. We'll make it a round week and I'll come back on Monday. And here we are back on Monday. Um, so what did I do in my week off? I, uh, I bought a puzzle magazine and uh, Jas and I are going to win $80,000 worth of prizes, I've decided. One of which is a lavender field. <laughs> so we bought, we bought about the, like day one, we went to Woolies because they had power, they had a, a generator. And uh, we needed some food because we had stuff, but we didn't have much because we were supposed to do our grocery shopping. And, uh, you know, everything shut early because the water levels are rising. So we went and grabbed like a few things to get us through like one or two days. And he's like, what the, what are we going to do? Like the battery on the switch is going to die in two hours. What are we going to do until the power comes back? Oh, so we did so lots well. of walking. We did lots of exploring. Yuri with the resub. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Um, right, we did a lot of walking and then we bought this puzzle book because I had a couple of Sudoku books at home, but like Sudoku is not really a team sport. Um, so we, we bought this puzzle book that had all these like uh, crosswords and all this kind of fun little puzzly bits. Um, so we got that and we sat down and we did it together. Like we were working through these crosswords. We make a really good team, just saying. Um, and, uh, and on the front cover, it's, you know, win $80,000 worth of prizes, blah, blah, blah. And one of the prizes on the cover, well, all the prizes are on the cover, but one of the prizes was like a smart 4K TV. And you know how whenever they advertise super high quality TVs, they always use like the most ridiculously detailed images you can imagine. And it's usually fields of flowers and stuff. So you can see, oh my God, you can see the seeds on the flowers. That's how high detail, yep. Yeah. Uh, so this particular one was a photo of a lavender field on the on the TV screen. The problem is, it was this big on the cover of the... Th so you can't see the detail anyway. It's just a promotional image. But I couldn't see the little legs. Because the picture was so small, I couldn't see the legs on the TV at first. And I was like, what is this? I thought maybe it was like a holiday to, to, like a, to somewhere like a weekend getaway or something. I thought, yeah, sure. But so I said, look, we're going to win a lavender field and Jas lost his shit. So we bought it. Um, but it's actually, in fact, a television. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually, we've done all the puzzles and I've got all the, I haven't entered them online to win the shit yet, but I've got till April to do that. So it's fine. Um, then we got generator power and we spent a lot of time playing Pokemon because we could like charge the switch and then take it off and just use battery power. And it didn't, it doesn't seem to take off. And then we didn't have to like, power the TV as well. We could just have the, yeah. Um, and we went for lots more walks. And <laughs> yeah, I think that's the first time ever that I've hit my step goal every day, like consecutively. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, good. Whew. But yeah, I also slept a lot. Um, I was obviously quite unwell. Uh, I was still having a bit of trouble speaking on Sunday. My throat was really rough. Uh, today is the last day of my antibiotics. I've got two more fart pills to take tonight. They smell and taste like farts. And they make me burp. And the burps also smell and taste like farts. Um, but there's two, like I had to take two in the morning and two at night. I've only got two pills left. I'm taking them tonight and then I am done. My throat is fixed. The The weird thing on my face is like, it's gone. Um, it's uh, still, there's still a bit of a mark there. It's still healing. Um, but it's just kind of pinkish skin rather than like big, angry, painful split in the side of my face, which is nice. But um, yeah, that's, uh, oh, it's going to log me out because I spent too long chatting. Good. Uh, right. So let me crouch up quickly. Good evening, Apathy. Hello, Axiom. Have missed the Fiamma streams. I have missed them too. I have missed them too. Still working while streams. I hope you enjoy them, bloody. So being six sucks. Agreed. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, goodness gracious. Welcome back. Thank you, Mid. At least I could do have been around for the last year. That's okay. Not a problem at all. I feel like it's a hype show when our trains aren't running. Yeah, look. Look. Jack! With the resub. Hi, the sun well. My goodness. Thank you so much. Oh my god. This is what happens when I'm away for a week. Everyone holds their resubs. <laughs> um, uh, I did notice, however, Dupe, that the buses are now running. I saw a bus today and I was very shocked and surprised and happy. 
see Dodge go into the anniversary. So happy late early and late stream anniversary. Yes, absolutely. So the the obviously the anniversary stream will be a bit later than it should have been, um, but it will be this weekend, this coming Saturday. Um, Zam with the resub, Ali with the cheer. We've missed you. I've missed you guys. Honestly, this I've missed this. Not just the obviously not just the resubs and shit. Like the chatting and the the streaming and stuff. Like. I was honestly, I was a little nervous. I'm like, you know, what if I come back and it's shit? What if I come back and I've lost my touch? And like, what if, you know, after a week, everything goes to hell? But look, we'll see. We'll see. Ah, uh, tell if we missed her without telling you. We missed her! Hype train. <laughs> Hello, Eddie. Hello, speaking of floods, I have my water bottle. I'm actually prepared today. Uh, enjoy your lurk, Ali. It is! Good to see you again. I'm the ground. How are you feeling there? Much better than I was. And, um, tired, actually. I was hoping that I'd be well rested for my first day back. But we dyed my hair yesterday, and so I slept like shit last night. <coughs> uh, and so, I, yes. I'm, I'm, I was hoping to be well rested, but I do, I am not. I feel like crap. But that's okay. That's okay. Because we're heading back to, like, after this Saturday, we're back to normal uh, schedule. So hopefully we can, whew, anyway. Oh, why did my hype stress not work? That's so strange. CW Homer Simpson. Me, hello, hello, how was your government assigned week vacation? Government assigned, mother nature assigned, I reckon. Good lord. Hello, Yori. So face, I missed you guys too. Love your makeup and your hair. Thank you. Thank you. So, so I do have my makeup on today. Um, I have, I have on my lid, I have beautiful shimmery green, but it's Neke. Sunwell. Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Um, so on my lids is a beautifully shimmery green. It's a little bit dark, but it is green, I promise. Uh, on the outside corner is kind of like a deep, deeper maroon brown sort of shade. And then in my crease is kind of, this is gonna be, this is gonna sound really weird, but it's kind of like a brown that is pink toned. It's like a pinky brownie sort of color. I don't know, It trust me. It I, The color's a little bit wonky on the camera because it always is, but that's all right. Mm. Television puzzle story, look, look. It's a thing. What did you do on walks? I took photos and texted them to my mum and went, oh my God, look at the water. Like a lot. <laughs> and then went to Woolies and bought snacks. <laughs> Cause it's, we, I just, I spent an entire week stress eating. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. I spent an entire week stress eating. Uh, did anyone recognize that? No, <laughs> no, no. Those bad beans gonna help with taking those. Oh, fucking oath. Fucking oath. Speaking of which, I may have something to do with those on Saturday. Uh, yay, farts. Indeed, mounts are nice. They are nice, Jack. I actually got a mount uh, two days ago? Three days ago, maybe. I bought the silver tip dreadwing with my 5,000 reservoir amina. That was an intentional misspeak. Um, amina, yep. Um, from Temel. Because I was like, fuck, I just, fuck this, I'm just buying it. So I did. Um, so I have a mount that is new. To see you back. Hello, Yell. Good to see you. Happy to see you too, Ryan. Hello. Busy the moment. Cover it with chocolate is my remedy. I chase it with food um, or bubble tea uh, is usually a good way to do it. Um, and then every time I feel the burp coming, I just stand up straight and I let it come and then go, <sighs> To blow it all out of my mouth so I don't taste it. <laughs> yep, anyway. Um, also, Mechanic Strider is a nice mount now. Was it not before? Hello, Neke. Welcome back. Thank you. I am all right and I, I am a bit tired, but that's okay. I'm glad to. I'm really glad to. We, ne we didn't end up having to evacuate at all, which is really good. Daily streams are suddenly no stream. It was extremely bad. Oh, yeah, it was a goddamn shock to the system, right? Such a shock. My phone would go off and it'd be like, no, smack. Like with my get ready for stream alarm. And I'd be like, grumpy. Amina, yes. Have you gotten your new mecha frog, everyone? No, because I had no power for several days. <laughs> and then I couldn't, like I, I couldn't really log into our much because we were trying to, you know, limit the power consumption and shit. So no. 
and this room, when you don't have aircon on, I have the aircon on right now. Uh, when it when you don't have aircon on and it's warm, this room ends up being about five degrees warmer than the rest of the house, just because it's carpet and it's small, and then there's like a lot of windows, like a lot of window, uh, and the sun hits the window like a lot, like throughout most of the day it hits the window, so it warms up the room, and then there's only like a tiny corridor to allow airflow out, so it doesn't work very efficiently. Um, whereas lounge room is tiled and the window is under shade and like all that. So it literally gets five to 10 degrees warmer in this room than it is out there. Uh, so I spent vast majority of the last week in the fucking lounge room, uh, which is not where my PC is. So I have done not much. I did manage to do the puzzly, the weekly in uh, ZM today. I finished the weekly today. I managed to do it, but yes. I guess you make it regardless of the fact Brisbane turned into a lake for a while. Indeed, indeed. Um, the post office is well away from the water, so I think that might have had something to do with it. Uh, if you have a mechano spidey of some sort, mount up and fly. Ooh, do I? That's one, right? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like how they rotate. That's really like the little, the thrusters. They are thrusters, right? That's cute. I like that. Uh, nails are good too. Thank you, they're gel polish. Because I wanted to do my nails on Saturday and I was running out of time. So I was like, fuck it. So you like put on a coat and then cook them under a UV light for, or a UV LED. Oh, are they not? I think they're just LEDs these days. I don't think they're UV anymore because skin cancer. But yeah, for you bake them for 90 seconds, and then you put on another coat and bake it for 90 seconds. You put on another coat, bake it for 90 seconds, and put on a top coat, bake it for 90 seconds, and then you like wipe the sticky stuff off the top, and they're done. And they stick around for like up to two weeks, um, except mine are already chipping because my body hates me. <laughs> so <laughs> it's fine. Death Run Mount, hey, fantastic, Yuri. Story, ah, oh, she sounds hot. UV LED. Uh, I feel like I need to get one of those mechanic sweaters now. I don't even know which one is. Is this acquired? Sorry, how long do you bake it for? 90 seconds. <laughs> Scrap for my can I'd say. Okay, I've caught up with chat. I have some hydrates to do. I'll do another one. Alright, so. I have three packages that I need to open. First one, I have to explain, um, why it's already open. So, um, it had... Like on the label and stuff, I've blacked out stuff or whatever. On the label, when it said sender, I did not recognize it. So I Googled it and I still couldn't figure out where it was from. And so I'm like, is this something I've ordered? Is this something from Throne? I wasn't too sure. So I ripped open the top and then I saw like the outer packaging and went, oh, I know what that is. That's from Throne. So I've left it in there and it's all still wrapped up and stuff like that, but I know what it is. And this is from Anon. Um, it was from an anonymous person, so I don't know who it is, but thank you so much. Much appreciated. Because the girl has more makeup brushes. Ah, yeah! And not only do I have more makeup brushes, but these are freaking gorgeous. So let me just... So this is a set from Morphe. Um, it's a collaboration with... I think it's Nian? Niane? I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but... Um, it is a six-piece eye brush set plus bag. Um, and they're magic because they are rainbow because we like a rainbow. So I'm going to take off the packaging. It's a little, oh, it's a little like triangular bag. That's super cute. Oh, and it's a seashell. That's adorable. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then we get these out of here. Are they not freaking gorgeous? Oh my god, they're freaking rainbow. It's a rainbow, you guys. This is gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I've got like a little baby fluffy brush that's like a lavender color. Ooh, and they're really light too. That's, ooh, that's funky. And then, and then, and then I've got like a packing brush. This is what I'd use to put eyeshadow like on my lid, like like pack it on, on the middle bit and is pink. Smell kind of like paint. <laughs> That's okay. We have a bigger, fluffier uh, brush for doing stuff in the crease, and it's Lelo. And we have, and we have a bigger, 
This is almost like a bigger packing rush. Um, gosh, I'd actually probably use that for doing my base. Um, so it's green, but like I, I put on a primer and then I put like a skin tone eyeshadow like all over the whole thing to blank out the canvas. And that's the kind of brush I'd use that for because it's big enough. My eyes are kind of small because I'm small. So yeah. Uh, then I've got a little baby. This is like a shorter packing brush and it's blue. Uh, and that's the kind of thing I'd use to do like the outside corner packing on and then like blending just under here and stuff like that. Uh, and then this is an itty bitty teeny tiny little packing brush and it's orange and look how t look how tiny the end of that brush is my god But yeah, I'd use that for something similar or like a little detail work Like if I'm trying to do a hundred million colors like I just pack on like with little teeny tiny baby brushes. Yes <gasps> ah, Aren't they gorgeous beautiful rainbow? They are freaking cool. Thank you so much Anon. I greatly appreciate it and that means I can wash my brushes less frequently because we like that i like not having to do quite as much work <laughs> packages packages ah it's a mad quest ah, i love the lello uh, isn't it gorgeous? it's like a beautiful like golden sunshine yellow is fierce small aes panic yep okay this one is not from throne this one went to my PO box this I'm one. not a paladin. Uh, this one is from Shiba. <laughs> this one is from Shiba. Let me. This one is not open. The other, the, this other, there's two more, and neither of them are open. But they are both from Amazon. I have no idea what's in this one. I've got a pretty good idea of what's in the big box, um, but I have no idea what's in this one. Do not cut myself. Good. Yes, sound commands are a thing that exist. <laughs> Shiba. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 Shiba, oh my god. Shiba, oh my god. Is Dark Phoenix. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a special edition. She's got wings and everything. So she looks like that, in, but in the box. Like, she's got the wings and everything. Holy cow. Sheba. She's beautiful. Oh my god. Take her out. You will see why. Take her out. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no, Ooh. this is the first time I've ever taken a pop out of its box, just saying. <laughs> just saying. It's just lost 10 times of its value. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh no. Oh no. Everything's getting caught, all the plastic bits and stuff. Keep that, because I am going to put it back in the box. It's all kind of... This is interesting. I've never taken one out of the packaging, so it's like... She's also a bobblehead, just in case no one really. I, I did think I said that, but I don't know. But yes, is. Oh no. Is Phoenix. And is Phoenix. <laughs> she is beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous, and I love her. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Shiba. She is beautiful. It. You. Ah! Oh my god, you are such a sweetheart. If I, if I was half as badass, I would be happy. <laughs> Fiamma Phoenix, yeah. Fiamma Phoenix emote when? Fucking ask Sheba. <laughs> oh, oh my god. She is beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna drop her if I don't be careful. So I'm gonna, um... Oh dear. Let me... I was like, yes, this needs to happen. Good. I'm so pleased. I'm so happy, Sheba. Thank you so much. How does this even... I don't think I can put it back in. Where's... Pop these out. Let's try that first and see if I can get the rest of it to slot in around. There we go. Go on. Go pop. No. You are a pop vinyl. You're supposed to go pop. There we go. Pop. Pop. And then... Pop. 
Where's the bit? Okay. Which way around do you go? This way. So that you don't I don't get damaged. Okay. Are you gonna fit? Yes, okay. <laughs> Oddly satisfying. Anyway. Ha <sighs> Please no dark phoenix fear should be even more terrifying. You say that like I'm terrifying I'm um, to begin with, Jess. Like come on. It's pretty if Pop she, she she's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I love her. She's beautiful. Okay, to somehow now. Brilliant. Good. Sounds perfect, Enyo. Although fear is a vampire, so there's that too. Mm -hmm. Hi, the sun went. Heck! Nick, thank you so much for the resub. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, the, I've got the, the little gift slip. I just I just saw it. Yeah. Perfect. Amazing. Oh, you are terrifying to be on the other end of you. Like, I hear as of Azeroth, you're only less terrifying on the side of good. <laughs> but like, am I ever actually on the side of evil? Is that like a thing? I try not to be, but maybe, maybe I am. Maybe some people think I'm scary. Right, there is one more package. And it is large. So, um, <laughs> I think I might open this up on the ground, um, just because I'm gonna drop it or hurt myself if I try to do it, like, yeah. Oh, all right, what is this? Cut, 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 cut. Upside. I promise we'll farm out soon. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. Now we cut the middle. Hey, there we go. Oh, big package. Human Alliance Mage, if you have one. I do have a Human Alliance Mage. You are correct. Seriously, so, so yeah, enemies in trouble. Fair. Fair. That's a fucking go to get a mount. <laughs> big package. Yep. Yeah. Is this one of the wow statues? No, this is from Amazon. And it is a very large box with a slightly smaller box inside. Oh, Lord, that's heavy. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> this is a gift from Dupe and Dunno. And I am so excited. So you guys, if you've been around for a while, you know that I have issues with my sinuses, like proper, full-on, pretty bad issues. And I have been told that there is a fairly good chance that something like this will help with that. So I did some research and popped a thing on my wish list as a reminder for myself of which model I wanted. And then Dupe and Dunno chipped in together and helped me make Helped me get gift. Okay, hang on. Could you just... Ugh, there we go. And there is the baby. We need to name the air purifier, I think. Is his name Lennox? Is that a thing? I think that's the brand, but maybe we should just go with Lennox. What is this light? filter light? It has a light? What? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to... Oh, it does! The bit around the top lights up. That's super cute. This is not a toy, I'm aware, thank you. I'm gonna have to play around with this later, but this is, that is awesome. That is freaking awesome. And fingers crossed, don't drop it, fair. Fingers crossed that might actually help me literally breathe a little easier. And now I'm surrounded by cardboard boxes. Fantastic. Uh, you may have noticed that yesterday, I think it was yesterday, um, a couple of throne gifts popped up on my Twitter feed. Um, that was me. <laughs> so uh, I had the the issue with the, the, the ring fit was finally solved. Uh, they can't do it. It's too, it, it's too in high demand. They can't do a turnaround time fast enough. All the places in Australia that stock it uh, and that would ship it to me would not take their card that they use to make purchases and stuff. So they just, they couldn't fulfill the uh, the order. They just could not do it. Uh, and on Amazon, they're like, oh, we can use, we can go through Amazon AU because that's our partnered brand and blah, blah, blah. 
and Amazon had it for like literally two and a half times the price uh, that we had originally put it on the gift on the wish list for. So they said, here are your options. You can either pay the extra hundred and fifty dollars to top up the order and get it from Amazon, or we can put the amount that was paid into what it's a new feature they have called a throne balance. Uh, where if you can't fulfill, so the options before, if they couldn't fulfill an order, you either had to give them a new link or they just refunded it back to the fan. Now they allow you to refund it into like a, a pot of cash that you can use to like buy stuff off your own wish list, basically. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, I got cash into that pot and so I bought a few things off the wish list um, just to spend it, basically. Uh, so that was me. <laughs> those Those three were me. Um, which, cause I mean, 150 bucks to top it up, to get it from Amazon, I can literally buy it for less than that elsewhere. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing, but, uh, just not yet. Just not yet. Uh, right. Battle. Um, big package. She's big and has breath. Long since I've seen it. Yeah, I'm unboxing. I know, right? I know, but it's okay. We do have a few. There's a couple of um, gift. There's a couple of gifts of throne that are on their way that have been shipped that are on their way to me. So when they arrive, more unboxings, more unboxings. I've received that one and I've received that one. Yes, perfect. Yeah, I've got a few bits and pieces still on their way. And I do, I have seen that there's a ton of suggestions there as well. So if you have, they're all anonymous suggestions, but if you have popped in a suggestion, I know it's there. I know that it's there. Um, and yes, I will, uh, I will take a look at those probably tomorrow, I think is going to be a good time to do that. Oh, excuse me. All right, we did not win, but that's okay. We would do another one. Keep playing. Let's try again. Uh, good morning, Z. Lenny, Alakir, the air purifier. Oh, Alakir is a really, like, that's a really good one. I like that one. Let's give me a second. Let me pop this down. Able to package is normal, but Vera is small. Alakia, if your should be named Kirby and painted appropriately. Oh no, I don't. I don't think I want to paint it just because there are little vents all over it, and I, I could fuck up hydrate. its operation. Um, I just said it used Twitter. Totally fine, Nick. Not a problem. Uh, one of the reasons why I have my tweets posted in a channel in Discord as well. Thunder feud was a purifier of air. <laughs> Prince Thunderan. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Pickle. How are you going? Yes, congrats on the gifts today. They're oh, beautiful. They the are, Dunner, and thank you so, so much. Thank you. And Trud, with the resub. Much appreciated. Hello. Oh, God, all the hydrates. Good Lord. Uh, anyone here recommend a good enough laptop to get back into the game watching streams at the same time? Uh, I mean, you'd have to have an external screen to do that because laptops tend to only have the one screen. You can't do, like, you can't play a game full screen and have a stream up at the same time. Back, thank you, Trud. Welcome back, Hydrates. Brilliant. I love it. Good. Afternoon. Hey, it's Storm. Long time no see. Thank you for a few months. What was the latest mount you got? Uh, a couple days ago, I think, I got the Silver Tip Dreadwing for Anima um, from Temel in uh, in Simful. Wonderfully good to hear. Gonna do strength. Haven't got the mount. Enjoy. Best of luck. I have, fing I have my fingers crossed for you. Oh, okay. That's why it flagged as new. Okay. Shall we actually play some game? Shall we play some World of Warcraft? Alrighty. Uh, glad you're safe. Me too. Me too. So I'm getting a second screen as well. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not too sure about laptops. Um, just make sure you got something that can actually handle the, like, get, make sure you got, like, something that gra the graphics card will be able to handle it. I'm assuming that's going to be the big one. 
Um, when I have stream night, ah, congratulations! Congratulations! Have fun, Ali. I hope dinner is delicious. Ashes and stuff. Logging in, just came back from 9 2. Ah, fantastic! Good enough for subjective. Any, literally any current generation CPU, GP combo will allow you to do that. Quality saying the game depends on how much money you want to spend. Yep. Yeah, exactly. It's, um. Yeah. Alright, what are we doing? Uh, Storm's Wake. Do, 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 do. Have you got access to the new mount on this character? Uh, uh, that one. It's that one. <laughs> so apparently, yes. I'm not sure if I can actually mount on it though, but I can definitely show it up in the thingamajig. Oh, dearie me. It feels kind of weird to be back. Oh, I... <sighs> very welcome. Good morning, Draz. Thank you very much for the welcome. It's been a whole week. She's been through then yes. This ta this character isn't level 60 yet, Neck. Uh, but they dropped a lot of those requirements in um was it 915? Was it 92? They they removed a lot of those requirements. Uh there are still some that you have to be the specific faction, but a lot of them are just as long as you have it unlocked, you can you can use it on any tune. You have to unlock it using Eventhia, but you can use it on any tune. <clears throat> Fair enough. I know a lot of people who play druids who still love to collect mounts, just because it's something fun to do. But each their own, obviously. Alright. Storm's Wake. Let's see. I've decided to end where we can get to. Local sites to my business advertisement. Mounts are faster than druid form. Are they if you've got like top 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 flying? Like even if you per like if you purchase the like master riding, whatever it is, doesn't the druid form go the same speed? Certainly feels like it is, or is that just because it's smaller? <laughs> Does it feel like it's zipping along because it's so itty bitty? Yeah. It's usually melee. Ah, oh, well, I hope you enjoy yourself. It's the best thing about Druid is if you find if you're playing a spec and you're not too fond of it, you can like they literally can fill any role. Just switch off to a different spec and, and try your luck. It's fantastic. One, two, three. And I have a stretch. <sighs> so what have you all been up to over the last week? It's been a while. Good luck, enjoy your luck, and you. Enjoy. Nothing interesting. Uh, playing DBC Classic, fantastic. You really are full of surprises. <laughs> I need you to teach me a few uh, tricks this way. sometime. We got Crabmore Admiralty and Waveblade and Cohen. Bugger. So we're not gonna get a bonus rep chunk for, for either of these reps today, but that's okay. Art, uh, like always, brilliant. Tropics have me doing an interview. Crime results, fantastic! Oh, excuse me. Last week, trying not to get flooded in. Yep. <laughs> I know the feeling. 
playing the car park shuffle. Try not to park illegally and so we don't have access to parking anymore. That not I oh, did, okay. Uh should just have back pain for the last week. Oh that's no good. Well, I hope that some medical professionals have given you some tips and tricks or exercises on what you can do to get it back in action. That's right, fantastic. Working, working, getting myself to start streaming on that. Nothing fantastic. Sounds fairly chill. Okay, so do you own it? Does it fly? Uh, I do own it. It does not fly. It does not fly. It's a ground mount. Oh, waiting for me to go live. Brilliant. Good. Glad to hear I mean that much to you. Drew <sighs> bought ten Nintendo Switch games for 50 bucks. Fantastic. Sounds like a bargain. Thank you for Stop aside from work back in the office now. It's running anyway. Only Dale's a main tune. Fair enough. Fair enough. Slip to disc in my back again. Yeah, definitely a good idea to go and see your medical professional if that is the case. Because, uh, yeah, I'm sure that you, you know, better than most that you don't fuck with a slip disc, hey? Uh, oh, good, Landa. Sounds like you've been busy. Super busy. which is great. Fantastic. Good to hear it. You gotta take care of yourself, eh? Take care of yourself. I need a bucket. Give me a bucket. Bucket. Was apparently not a fire. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fantastic. Glad you're enjoying it. I'll get some new add-ons. Anything you would recommend? Exclamation add-ons. We'll get you a list of what I use, if that's what you're after. For some reason. There you go. Hey, look. All the data does help. All the data does help, gets you closer to a definitive answer, which is always a good thing. Save us. Answers often mean treatment plans. Not always, but often. TLPD, alright. Alright. I can spell. Go! supports yeah look physics is uh physics is there for a reason uh, i would recommend that you play by its rules or you may have a bit of an unfun time later on mm, slouchy. i know i saw it i saw it oh man i've spent so much of the last week just lying on the couch rather than like sitting upright that it's <laughs> i just want to lie down Warsong Diafang. No. 
Uh, to go over it for those who weren't here when I was full screen and explained, uh, I've got on my, in my crease, I've got like a pinky gray brown sort of color. Um, so it's, it's like brown, but mixed with pink. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's actually kind of a nice color. Uh, and then I've got like a bronzy, reddy, maroony sort of color on my outer corners. And then on my lids, it's actually green. It's just at the base of the green shadow. It's a, it's a very sparkly, shimmery green. And I think the shimmer is green, but the base is like dark something. Excuse me. So, um, it doesn't, I'm, I think it's having a bit of trouble showing as like proper green on camera. Uh, did you see a good time on my 23rd attempt? Well done. I've done more time walking sooner. Look, if you had though, you were supposed to get it on that run on that day, Yori. If you had done a ton of it sooner, then maybe you wouldn't have gotten it as quickly, you know? We don't know, we don't know how the universe works. We don't know how it works. You got it when you got it because you were meant to get it. All right, there's the fires done now. Let's kill some stuff. Uh, little curse for all. I'm missing though, totally fair. Enjoy. Six who even needs them. I'm playing a lot of rough with my daughter. One of our biggest issues of late is trying to construct any sort of building that can stop seagulls. Dudes can fly through anything. Can you not put up like a net? Or something. 69. Brilliant. True. E indeed. Know how it works. I ain't telling nothing. Fair. Fair. I'm annoyed I missed on my first tier gear piece because of a death roll today. Oh no. Oh dear. <gasps> Channel with the I resub! See. Much appreciated. The fire's received and we still have our homes. Thank Much you. appreciated. Hope you are well. Oh dear. My eye is watering and my lash is definitely not sticking. I think these lashes are dead, unfortunately. Uh, Scarecrow works needs to be replaced. Good damn priest stealing my loot. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. Actually quite unwell. Oh, channel. I hope you're feeling better soon. Like really, really soon, yeah? Just do what you can to take care of yourself and Follow your body will do the rest usually. Lost sailors and threatened to of course if you need it, make sure you go see a doctor. <sighs> Bad breeze. Oh, has got COVID except for me, I got bronchitis. Interesting. Interesting. That's um Tides consume your wicked flesh. I'm not sure which one's worse. At this point. I mean, I think it probably just really heavily depends on how each individual is health-wise prior, I guess. No or tests or negative, yeah, fair. Not sure if that's good or bad. Yeah, bronchitis, because it ends. Yeah, true. There's so many unknowns about long COVID at this point. Although, depending on the person, bronchitis can have lasting effects as well. It depends on, you know, how how far you let it go before you get treatment and um, all that kind of shit. It can cause some real fucking damage. But at least we know what it can do. We don't really know a whole lot about COVID. comes for me! This sort of doesn't entirely, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh... Be gone, wretched darkness. This <clears throat> just COVID would probably be bad. Oh fuck yeah! I can only imagine. Severe enough cough can actually crack a rib. Yep. Yeah. yeah. There are. There are a lot of really bad. Um, respiratory illnesses that if they if they let if, if you allow them to go without treatment for too long and you have comorbidities and all that kind of stuff yeah a lot of them can cause a cough that can do some real damage uh, hey Josh Did you begin that you're safe I'm I'm glad that I'm safe as well I'm glad that I'm safe and 
things are not quite, but mostly on their way back to normal. Not all the way there yet, but we're definitely on our way. Recently I'm dealing with it really sucks. Yeah, for sure. Just like, and I know I'm probably preaching to the choir, but yeah, make sure you are in contact with your medical professional and all that kind of stuff. Just keep an eye on it. And if anything changes, if anything feels like it's getting worse or, or anything like that, make sure you tell them. Because the earlier they catch those kind of changes, the better, like, the better the outcomes. Uh, we could ruin strata. No. For the past few years, I don't know what normal is. Yeah, look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but, uh... Yeah, it's, um... <laughs> Two weeks ago normal. Well, okay, not two weeks ago. Like a month ago normal. Before before heartbreaker normal. <laughs> having the ability to park in our actual parking space and, and having power in our home and being able to get food uh, without having to like do you know what I mean? Like that's yeah, it's getting back to that kinda that kind of normal. Uh, it was normal for years in a row. I'd be worried the universe is prepping for meteor or something. Great brown dragon turtle. No. Love your hair, by the way. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. It's uh, the birthday present I bought for myself. Um, it's It works real well. It's a hair curler, and I can literally sit here watching Netflix and just kind of put stuff in it and press a button, and it goes... And then it starts beeping. And then it double beeps, and then I pull it away, and my hair's curled. It's great. It's the, like, lazy hair curling, and it's fantastic. Uh, and this time, this time I actually put some stuff in it before to try to hold the curls a bit better. Uh, it is really, really humid, like really warm and wet here at the moment. So um, I don't know if they'll hold as well as they could because the humidity in the air obviously will make them drop faster. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> Currently we have war, pandemic, deadly mozzies, floods, and all sorts of humanitarian issues. One of those uh, would be, you'd think... No, I'm running out on nightmare mode. Oh, that's awesome. It is. It's very awesome. Great purple dragon turtle. No. Like, totally fine, pickle. Not a problem. Typical Queensland weather. Yeah, it's just a little worse at the moment because it's really, really, really warm, and because of all the floods, the warmth is great because it's helping some of that water to evaporate. But where does evaporated water go? Into the air. <laughs> So it's hot and it's sticky and everything stinks. It smells really, really, really bad. Um, we had our sewage pipes burst because of the floods, like the, the, the water got to the point that it damaged the, the pipes and stuff. Uh, so everything just smells like poo. Um, and then because of the floods, the uh, trash, like the, the garbage trucks, can't couldn't make it out to get the, yep. Um, and then when they managed to finally get here, um, uh, because the, there's no parking, because of all the apartment buildings around here and everyone's basements were flooded, which is where all the, the parking is. So everyone was parked anywhere they could find a patch of flat ground that wasn't covered in building. Um, people parked blocking the access to the bins. So when the garbage trucks could actually get out here, they couldn't access the bins. So all of the garbage bins in all of the different apartment buildings around here are all completely full with additional trash around and near them because of course people are clearing out flooded apartments and flooded built with like offices and things like that so they've got a ton of stuff that has to be trashed uh, and all of that is sitting out on curbs and around bins uh, in the sun so everything smells terrible absolutely fucking lutely terrible but I don't care because we're safe I would much rather have everything stink, but I'm safe, uh, rather than being unsafe in a perfumed area. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's priorities, right? But yeah, it is a fact at the moment that everything smells really, really bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, and the people smelled terrible for a few days there too, because we had no hot water. Uh, no, we did. We just, we took cold showers, but they were horrendous. Really bad. <laughs> really, really horrible. But you know, again, 
it could have been so much worse. <clears throat> Great to see Ray. No, meant to be storms again later in the week. Yeah, we will be f like uh, where I am. We'll be fine with the storms. Um, the water has gone down far enough that it's going to take another week long deluge to be able to actually bring it back up to where it was. Um, we we got close to the twenty eleven flood level. We got close, but far enough away that it prevented a hell of a lot of damage to a lot of places. Um, Someone in this cave is mining azurite from the world's open. <clears throat> <clears throat> Plus, 11 years ago, where I am wasn't nearly as built up as it is now, with like buildings and offices and apartments and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, there was a lot more stuff in the way of the water, if that makes sense. So, that was uh, also a good thing. Um, you guys just save at like 37. Did Justice Cast survive? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He's fine. Uh, I'm gonna save for a moment. See you back in action. Yep, took a week off. Generator power is not. You can't stream on it. Uh, and it could have been a lot worse. Could have been in winter. Cold showers would have just been hell. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, trudging through all the water and stuff to try to clean everything would have been just terrible as well. So, oh, good lord. Anyway. Uh, Kai's alive. Got it out way before the water got high. Yeah, definitely. We got when we got the email that there was some water in the basement. Uh, some, uh, I'm like, you should probably go check this. And Jas went down to check, and the water was up to his ankles. So he's like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> so so he uh, he took the car uh, hastily outward um, and took it to some higher ground. But yeah, no, it's it's totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, Brown Riding Camel? No, can't be sure about everyone else's cars though. Yeah, god, they, I'm I'm sure there was at least something left in the basement. I'm sure there was, but, um, like, what can you do, you know? Especially considering that it was, like, on a Sunday night as well. It, uh, Queenslanders tend to go and have a lot of mini little weekend holidays because there's so many quite nice holiday destinations that are just a short, like, a, a couple of hours drive away. And so a lot of people tend to go away for the weekend. Um, so there's a good chance that people would have gone and gone away for the weekend, driven back home, parked the car and like gone to bed sort of thing, had a nap because they're exhausted from their weekend. Uh, and then they wake up and their car's dead. Underwater fucked, do you know what I mean? Like it's, um, yeah, I, I cannot imagine that would have been a fun thing to wake up to, but yeah. Uh, Storm's Wake, Eli the reputation one. Um, cold slushy dirty water. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that. Craghorn Castle even. No! Is it just swing back DMF? Check out the new traction at some point. Uh, yeah. I plan on it. I, I know what it is. I know what the new DMF attraction is and I'm gonna fucking smash it. Oh shit, actually that reminds me. I'm supposed to have a community challenge up and I forgot to do that. Haha! <laughs> because one of the community challenges for this month um, is a DMF stream. Because it's, you know, how we keep saying, it's it's the year of the event. I want to cross all the event stuff off my list. Well, um, DMF is an event. And I've got so much shit I need from that bloody thing. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have one of those. But it's not today. What is today's one? Um, where's my... Where's my thing? This one. No, 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 no. This one. I can't type. Nope, I've got an unlock on. Is that how much we were doing? Oh, 
Oh, we've got the shit. Hang on. Okay, because we've got the bonus stream on Saturday. I think that's it. There we go. Why eight? I said seven. Fucking, ugh, okay. <sighs> that's fine. Sure, there you go. Um, and I also had to, to update this as well. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Ooh. Why's my encoding overloaded? It's weird. Right. Uh. In order on the graphic. Yeah, they are. They are in order on the graphic. And it is Shah. Correct. This week's stream challenge is a Shah farm stream, but not just one. Not just one Shah farm stream. Two. Consecutively. Two six hour streams, one after the other. Um, one like on a Wednesday and a Friday. Not. Yep. Um, so I'll get through all 50 tunes in a week. Because that's roughly how long it should take, I believe, to get through them all. Mm. Uh, Red Shadow Pen, Riding Tiger, nope. Nope. Blue Group. I'm so anti Tassavesh to start asking in trade chat for group members. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe they'll actually take your DK then, Jas. Yeah. So this people are coming for you, Shah. Indeed, indeed. It, so it so it appears. The fuck is this mount? I mean, you're the only person who's guessed, so I, I'm I'm not sure if I should actually like allow you to give up. Have you tried, Taz? He's done like seven or eight runs in the last couple days. And not, I don't think he, I think he's finished it maybe once. I'm gonna feel dumb with this. No, you're not. No, you're not. It is not an easy one. It's, it's an obscure one. Does it fly? Do you have it? It has been asked, but um, I do own it. It does not fly. It's a ground mount. Uh, hard the aspects. No. No. I'm just going to the first boss. Make up mount. Feel more at home in the desert, forest, grasslands, or wetlands. That's a really good question, and I actually have no idea. It's a really funky question. Context, I agree. Yeah. Thank Gambit. And as a DK. Oh, you'll live. Kludgy, Kade, Koala, Thor, and Draz. Congratulations, all of you, on your bonus shit. We can go to a. Like, there's boss fights in the middle of the. No. I want the skin chest. Uh, Kinsho's Eternal Hound. No. Acid Belcher. No. That's not what I meant to do. Apparently the hype train is ready to leave the station. Uh, all right, you go there. And I'm gonna put more battle plans down. Uh, 
Uh, Blue Mile Shopper, no. Baby, do da 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 da. Oh, I can unlock another archer. Sweet. Identified. Looks like it. Yeah, perfect. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. I'm just leveling and really play by much the other knee deep in art, of course. Of course. Don't you just need to try and I tried. Oh dear. were simpler once we will reclaim what's ours <laughs> child of torkali yori's got it get a number from you? 1 to 100. <laughs> do you see it though, Shiva? Like, did I fuck it up or did I do okay? It's a very pretty mount. It is, isn't it? The have been terrorizing Millstone Hamlet and the civilians have no way of fighting back. We're like, the, the color of the horns and stuff was a really tricky one to kind of get right, you know? This is great. I was like, hmm, yep, 100% going to be my first guess. I second guess was you keep doing that, Shiva. You keep doing that. Why second? Like, why second guess? It's not like you could, you're only allowed one guess. And it's not like we laugh at people, you know? Like, three. Color of the green and camera push me away from it. It is a really gorgeous green. I'll show you the pan in a minute when I'm not dying. I'm not dying. I'm a demon hunter. Um, so this is the this is the palette. Uh, it's it's very expensive. Um, I did not pay for it. I mean, I did, uh, but I got it in a mystery box. Um, it's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Icon Palette, and uh, it's this green up the corner here. Yeah, they're all like they. Lo it looks really like almost rainbow shades, right? But they're all very muted. They actually look more neutral when you actually like put them on your face. Okay. Like there's that's uh that's the green. I can't get it because the oh, god damn it the lights are a bit bright. But yeah, like that's that's the green. See how it kind of like I was saying it has that darker sort of undertone to it. It's almost like it's a green shimmer in a dark base shade. But it's, it's freaking beautiful. Uh, it's just not as vibrant as it looks in the pan. All right, three for Yori. Three for Yori. Uh, something that I actually did while, um, I don't know. something I did while I couldn't do much 
else. <laughs> Um, I grabbed those, the, the extracts that I got of all the subnames and I turned them into a cross stitch. So Yori, you have won a copy of Seven Days to Die. There you go. Congratulations. Yeah, it's been, uh, like... It's kind of interesting. It took me a while to, to get the pattern together. Patterns, because uh, I did one for January, one for February. I haven't stitched anything yet. If I had, I'd show you. But, um, oh my god. You know, I've been playing too much Pokemon where I saw that little purple misty, like, glowy thing on the thing and I went, oh, I need to go touch that. Because the Pokemon, yeah, good. Good. Good morning, Nutty. Go with your heart. Indeed. Have you been still putting out decent parts on my pally? Not too rusty right now. It's not a wisp, right? Yeah! <laughs> they look like them, though. They look like them. Oh, dear. Alright, another hydrate. God, he killed eight more Etten? Good lord. Well done, Prey. Um, I am going to ask that people don't talk too, too much about the raid and stuff just because I obviously haven't had a chance to get in there and experience it for myself yet, and I really want to. Um, I, I don't want to have, like, I'm not the kind of person. I used to do all the, obviously, the reading up and getting all the strats hammered out before the raid was released and stuff, but I'm not anymore. Uh, and I really do want to go in and see what it's like for myself. So, um, I know technically a lot of people don't count them as spoilers, but I would ask that we don't have too, too much. There is spaces in Discord where you can talk all about the raid, if you so desire. Um, and I'll just not read it. Um, but in chat, it's kind of like, I have to make sure I'm reading everything so I don't make sure that I don't miss something that someone's trying to say to me. So... Yeah, and Jas can always just be like, Hey Fear, just go mark Warcraft channel as red. And don't read any of it. And I'm like, okay. You know, it's, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's definitely spaces for you to talk about it if you would like to. I just would like to not have too much of it spoiled for my own experience, if that's okay. Oh, uh, for ages. Ah, oh, fantastic, Yuri. I'm so pleased. Congratulations. Yay. Just good morning, Mask. How you doing? Welcome back. Saw my luck already. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I killed the world boss yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Uh, and I got a hat. Which is exactly what I wanted for Christmas. Because I've been using my legendary helm since the start of the expansion. And I made the Sun King's Blessing gloves and couldn't equip them because in the entirety of 9.1, I did not get a single helm to drop. Not one. Uh, and first drop of 9 2. 259 helm. So I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I have that, and I'm wearing my Sun King's Blessing gloves, which will require a slight shift in uh, playstyle, but that's okay. But yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Oh wow! Well done. Six IQD on my DK big sag and Adam regular mythic. That's okay. It's fine. You upgrade it later. You'll be right. You'll be right. <clears throat> from that bastard. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Like, I was like, oh, ATT is telling me I have a new transmog. That's nice. And then I actually looked in my bags. I'm like, holy hell, that's a helm. <laughs> oh my god. So, I, yeah, immediately popped that on and uh, and switched in my gloves as well. So I'm I'm pretty stoked with that. Can't lie. 
Machine Gun Museum has been great. At 241 eye level, don't use dungeons and raids, not as high as dungeon raid stuff. It makes tour gas easier. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. 241's really good. That's awesome. It took 12 weeks to max it. Uh, better than not having one drop for the entire fucking patch. Hell, I have as lucky as two in my Stop mountain farming on it. Maybe you should, Jack. Maybe you should. You sure you're right about that? Start waiting for Iska tomorrow, so Mars and spawn. Give me the damn crossbow they drop. Oh, nutty. Get good luck. Best of luck. Rare camping is a is a is a thing. <laughs> Not a 100 in raid two. Oh my goodness. Where'd you go? It's like you're working on the two. Uh, on Saturday, um, I'm thinking we might. I, I still I want to fish up. I want to get that mount. The the pretty um. Uh, the octopus. Pretty octopus. Uh. I don't know how long that's going to take, but we'll see how many casts it takes me. Um, but who knows what else we'll do. By then, I'll actually have, uh, I'll be able to get the schematics for mounts to drop from the rares. So that's fun. We're getting tier though. Jellyfish, yes, that one. Didn't even got any loot in the raid of the vault in two days. You do indeed. Yeah, that one. I don't really care what it what it's called. I just want it. It's pretty. Um, so so yeah, I'm gonna go get that on Saturday, which is of course our six year anniversary stream. Finally, a little bit delayed, but that's fine. First due to sickness, then due to natural disaster. But it's okay. We've still got all those prizes up for grabs. Nothing has changed. Um, takes a while. The other spawn bug is fixed. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Still worth the wait. I hope so. I hope so. We've got quite a few bits and pieces to give away. I hope you guys all enjoy yourselves. But uh, yeah, so I want to get that mount, um, and by that point I'll be able to get some of the drops, the patterns for the other mounts, like the crafted mounts. Um, I did, oh, oh my, um, ATT today, when I got some of the, the green quality, was it green quality stuff or common quality? I don't know, like the lowest one um, that you need to craft the pets and the mounts. All the things kindly told me that I needed 181,000 of the item to craft everything, which I was very happy with. How far are you on the call console mount unlock? Uh, I triggered it yes halfway through yesterday, I think. So I think I've got four and a half days to go, roughly. Yeah, Genesis modes. Yep, 181k required to craft everything for ATT. Uh, Matt Isco drops. Got my second attempt. Chris on the other hand doesn't want to drop at all. Uh, everyone's lucky with different things. Persistence is key. Uh, they stay by the cat. Yeah. Well, I don't really. I, I never touched Corthia on any of my other tunes either, so. It's not really, it doesn't really mean anything to me. Uh, new 18.4, you get all mounts and pets, forgot the rest. Yep. Yep. Uh, when I moused over them in my bags, uh, it was like, you know, here's a list of things, plus, you know, hundreds more. And it was like, amount needed to purchase all items at 181k. So that's fun. <laughs> but that's alright, we'll get there. Might take a while, but we'll get there. Hey, Mount Farm Monday, we could just spend it farming. Out of range. Yeah, you're bugged. Uh, I don't have enough for companion. Yeah, I do have some lattices ready to go. Fantastic. Hello, Daz. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. It's just 18k. Unless they change something. Uh, all the things may have been bugged. 
Uh, but it, it definitely said 181000 uh, on my screen. It might have it might have had a bug there. Because I remember going, oh, okay, so I mu they must drop really quickly. They must drop like a lot of them. Uh, and then I was like, how many do I have? Eight. Good. <laughs> yeah, it was an unpleasant moment. Yeah. Yeah, there might be a... Might have been an oopsie in the code somewhere in there. Who am I to say? Right, one more and then I can go defeat Throg and finally finish this world quest. Will they just increase the amount dropped at some point? Oh, I'm sure they probably will. That or it's meant to be Heligated and you're meant to, you know, have to be active the whole patch to be able to get everything done before the patch finishes. Well, there might be something in the, uh, in the, what's it called? The, in the console. Dropping loads in the raids. Interesting. And increases cipher drops at least, yeah. <clears throat> 20.3k, my ATT is telling me. Ah, okay. Yeah, it must have been an oopsie somewhere. There might have, so it might have had like, you know how sometimes you've got like you can use this item to get that item and and stuff like that. I'm not sure if you can with this but maybe it was a miscalculation based on that kind of stuff or maybe there were one or two items that had their um uh their requirements change from PTR and ATT was still using PTR data um because obviously we didn't have access to the synthesis whatever it's called yet so uh, just started for the day. No, i am been going for an hour and a half. Uh, you can actually see that just underneath the channel. It has like a timer that ticks up. That is how long a streamer has been live for. Also, yeah, there's that. <laughs> also the uptime command, that works too. Getting lunchy. Well done. Best of luck. Hope it spawns soon. Except on mobile, I don't think it shows timer on mobile. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. I don't tend to do Twitch on mobile very often anymore, considering I work from home and everything anyway. Even if I'm lurking, I can still have it on the PC. So you may well be correct with that. I am uncertain. Hmm. Late to farming it? Nah, better late than never. Better late than never. So what does it say? I've got 642. Mounts. 235 to go. God, I hate that it's up above 200 again. That makes me so upset. Oh, and they didn't update the data at the end of Feb. Interesting. That's right. I used to be an adventurer like you, and then I got better. Uh, 512 Genesis notes, not bad. Assumption, of course, of course. Not to farm at all, fantastic. So they got that from Skyrim Little Tall and Voices. 
uh, what, what, the turtle voices. Why would they, huh? I'm confused. I don't know what you mean by that, sorry. Uh, okay. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go here and we're gonna swing down and around that way. Um, guessing we did not hit exalted because <laughs> I have not received the achievement that's okay next time next time <clears throat> but we are done with storm's wake for the day so now I'm moving on to order of embers Oh, once I finish this round of world quests, I'll be heading onto my druid uh, to check out Valafir. Uh, Valafir the Unrelenting for the mount drop there. I know you can buy it, I don't care. Um, I would prefer to have it drop because there's a shitload of other stuff that I can spend my grateful offerings and anima on. So um, I don't think I have the thingy yet. I don't think I have the summon yet. Um, so if there is anyone about who can summon him for us. We get as many people out there as we can. Hopefully one of us will get a mount drop. Uh, twist on a crit from Skyrim. Used to be eventually like you. I took an arrow to the knee. Uh, I didn't think that was from Skyrim. I thought that was from like adventuring in general. Like I'm pretty sure Skyrim stole that from elsewhere. Um, the whole thing behind that, like I was an adventurer until I took an arrow to the knee, is when you take an arrow to the knee you fall down onto the knee. Right, because you're like, oh, you're injured or whatever. And that is also the position in which traditionally a person proposes to their loved one for marriage. Um, you know, I used to be an adventurer until I had to settle down with my spouse and then I did no longer had time to go on adventures and stuff because I had a relationship to maintain. You know, that's, yeah, it's not a Skyrim thing. It's a, I, at least I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it was just a general kind of funny thing from like forever ago. <laughs> Mm, it nearly sounds like he was gonna say speed adventure once to an arrow to the knee at Skyrim's version. Yeah, so that like it is it is a take on that quote, absolutely, but I don't think it's originally from Skyrim. Um is that quote even more now? Yeah. It's a Valfrium Alliance. Of course fingers are on the same shot. Of course, fairy, of course. We can definitely try. And I, I appreciate the offer as well. Thank you. Where the fuck am I Oh, it's up here, right. Why is the circle down there? Ugh. Whatevs. Let's do this. See you around. Mm. Does this sound more interesting? Yeah. I think at this point, like, there's nothing new under the sun. Everyone's taking inspiration from anywhere and it's, uh... I wouldn't call it taking it from, or copying, or stealing, or any of that kind of stuff from wherever they've taken, like wherever it's come from and wherever it's gone. It's all just, it's inspiration. There's, there are only so many um, arrangements of words in these genres. Yeah. Uh, I will say the mountain lattice is selling for a lot of gold right now. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, people who are patient and can get the mounts later versus people who just want to cross the mount off the list now. I'm willing to pay for it. I think I've got any on fear. Not yet. Then again, I haven't killed too many rares. Polish pet charms. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, sure. That's fine. Uh, all right, this one. Mm, the lettuce is only drop when the thingy is unlocked, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The wildlife in these hills has been enthralled by the witch's yeah. curse. Yeah, I know I'm a little behind now because I wasn't able to jump on and activate the thing because, you know, natural disaster. <laughs> But you know what? I can't think of much better reason for uh, 
for being behind on new zone progression. <laughs> and it does mean that on Wednesday's stream, we're going to be able to knock out two chapters worth of storyline in one go. Because obviously I missed last week because, again, floods. So yeah, it'll be good fun. I'm looking forward to it. Just ask to take a slight break. Just, just a touch. Just a touch, you know. Ensuring that the, the other people living in my building have their fair share of power as well. And we don't blow the generator. It's just, just a slight importance, you know. <laughs> Preserving our ability to cook food and have warm showers. Over overloading the generator so we can keep up to date on mount farming. <laughs> Look, I like to think my priorities are in the right place. Some may disagree with me and that's fine. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that's great. Welcome back, Pickle. Oh dear. That's four hydrates I can take off. One, two, three, four. Oh, so we're at 20k for Shaf Arm. I believe we need to get to 6250 each six hour stream, which means we need uh, 125 total on Saturday's 12 hour. We're gonna get to 6250 today to be like on benchmark. Taking bets on a scale from one to 10, how much is Seeker gonna flip? when she sees the, the community challenge bar. <clears throat> ah, channel. Thank you very much for the contribution. And to everyone, all, all 10 others who have contributed, oh, 12. Uh, wait, 11? Oh no, there we go. Everyone who's contributed so far, the, the 10 prior, now channel and apathy, well done. So to be clear, the Shah Farm isn't just one stream. The the Shah Farm is going to be, uh, I believe it's two streams in a row. I'm hoping I can get through 50, or is that, actually, I might have done the math on that wrong. Oh no, no, that should be fine. That should be fine. Assuming it's going to be on average a 15 minute respawn. Um, 15 times 50 divided by 60 is 12.5. So we may have to run a little bit over time, but I don't think you guys are going to give a flying fuck about that. <laughs> but if it's if it hits on average 15 minutes per spawn, because it's obviously it's between 10 and 20, then I should be able to get them done in just over 12 hours. <clears throat> ah, look at all those contributions. Amazing. Thank you for shit 42k. Right, alrighty then. Amazing. 62.50 is the goal for today in order to stay on track to have it done by the end of the week. But of course, we can go over that. <laughs> we can't, unfortunately, community challenges don't come with the opportunity to do stretch goals or anything like that, but um, look, we'll see. We'll see. k far out. The you guys have too many channel points just sitting around, don't you? That's the problem. That's the problem. Ooh. I'm so excited to use my new makeup brushes and to and to and to set up my air purifier. Oh my god. That's so good. If I can if I can go like a day without sniffling, I'm gonna lose my mind. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. To find somewhere. Like I have to read I'm gonna read the whole destruction manual and like see where the most efficient place to put it's gonna be. 
all that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. You have so many channel points you need to stop having such an entertaining stream. Okay, I'll try. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just need to give you more, more to spend them on. Jared said, you travel form. Brilliant. Good. Oh, more redemptions. Okay, yeah, that's the thing. Congratulations to Thor, Stang, Fairy, Little, and Bod on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Oh, skin chest. I hope I get my Nike Templar skin. Super keen. So fun as Windblower. Good. Good. My lord. We have so many names for this magical thing, don't we? It's amazing. I'm so impressed with all of your creativity. I kid you not. All right, I need to pour more water in my cup. Okay, water in bottle is now empty. Fishermen have reported something large and strange in the water. Acquiring a sample for study would be quite helpful. Okay, that is 500 ml of water, drunk -erated. There we go, 500 ml logged. <clears throat> How about calling it enhancement because it's all it's really there for is to make the wind rush. <laughs> oh my god. Is the... I put the destructions. Oh, they're there. Oh, there's. Product review. Warranty. Yeah, purifier. The product is intended for household use only, except on the box it says great for small offices. Oh, excuse me. Updated cheetah form, yes. Um, nice though. Shaman's got a new form too. Absolutely love it. This model is gorgeous. Yay! Awesome. State your business. <clears throat> it is useless to resist. Friend or foe? State your business. Ouch! What in blazes was that for? Ouch! Keep your distance, Mainlander. State your business. Keep your distance, Mainlander. Keep your distance, Mainlander. Ouch! What in blazes was that for? Small home offices, obviously. Apparently so. Hello, matey. How are you going? Do you hear people who think they're fast and you usually end up getting you after me anyways? Jas is a DK, therefore he loves both druids and shamans into those weird animal things. Look, you know. It's going in style. Good! That's awesome news. That's awesome. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Okay. 
Air treatment is heavily influenced by the extreme weather conditions of bushfires and floods. This puts a strain on asthma and allergies, causing breathing difficulties. This air purifier with Kadar 95 meter cubed per H will prevent interior risks of poor air quality with its sleek design, smart features, and high filtration performance. Featuring a HEPA filter with activated carbon, this air purifier has a CADA known as clean air delivery rate. Ah, okay, of 90, 95 meters cubed per hour, I'm guessing is the H then? Uh, and an area coverage of 12 meters squared for high level air purification. That more than, more than covers this room. Uh, I think this room is like somewhere between eight and 10 meters squared, I think. So that's good. Um, and I spend 18 to 24 hours a day in this room, so good. I, I kid you not. Like, if it's a work day, uh, especially if I'm, like, if it's if it's scheduled social media time of the month, uh, I leave this room to go to the kitchen. And that's it. Literally. That's it. I have ensuite bathroom, so <laughs> I literally do not need to leave this room. Fuck. Anyway, uh, nothing more important than the air we breathe, and this air purifier is here to ensure it's always a cleaner, healthier experience in the place you spend most of your time, your home or small office. With four fan speeds, you can choose from low, medium, high, or sleep mode. Uh, the intelligent sleep mode senses the light in the room and self-adjusts... <laughs> and self-adjusts the fan speed while dimming the indicator lights, perfect for a good, good night's rest. Enjoy a low noise level, seven color changing lights. Guys, I got a fucking RGB light air purifier. Like, could I be any more AA content creator? Like, seriously. Um, an adjustable standby mode night light and a filter replacement indicator. You can also choose a set time of two, four, or eight hours of purification time before the air purifier powers off. Alternatively, the brilliant memory will rep remember the fan speed. We recommend replacing the filters about every six to eight months, sooner or later, depending on the frequency of use and pollution level in the, in the environment. The filter replacement indicator will illuminate on the touchscreen and an increased operating noise coupled with decreased airflow. Uh, we'll signal it's time to change out the size 16.2 by 12.6 centimeter HEPA filter. Um, so I guess at some point I should probably put the filters on my wish list. Uh, changing the filter is as simple as twisting open the bottom of the air purifier and swapping out the filter. The air purifier comes prepackaged with one HEPA filter. Always ensure the packaging is removed first before in inserting the filter into the air purifier. It's time to finally breathe easy with our impressive air purifier with CADA 95 meters cubed per hour. I'm just I'm deciding that's how you pronounce that. Just FYI. Ah, uh, people on the way to the put Jas. That is, that is not very nice. <clears throat> I'm really hoping it's gonna like clear up my sinuses. So I'm gonna set it up for tomorrow. So if it's gonna do anything, I reckon it'll, I'll, we will be seeing some kind of difference by Wednesday's stream. If I use it tomorrow and then like through Wednesday day as well. But we'll see. Only one way to find out, right? And that's by giving it a shot. I have to be nice. Always! We're nice people! Haven't you heard? Oh, 
you have to do a lot of stuff with this to get that bar up. My goodness. Contract and be nice person isn't in here. Would you like to test me? Do not use with an extension cord, it says. Oh dear. Do you want money farming? Uh, I'm trying to get the... There's a... Uh, there's two mounts, actually, when you hit Exalted with Order of Embers. Uh, because I didn't... Pl I, because I main Horde. Uh, I never really did much on Alliance side in terms of... Um, Hi, the sun went uh, Ah, Seeker! With the resub. Much appreciated. Uh, but yes, because I didn't do much on Alliance side in terms of reputations and stuff, um, I'm trying to do that now instead. <laughs> uh, Alright, so Soul Goliath I know I still can't do um, because I've got it hidden from this list. So we're going to head down and do Death Cap. <clears throat> Hello, chicken. You'll tickle me? Yeah, no, like bet. Bet. <laughs> it's my default though. Good. Check current stats, look at you online, scrolly poodle head. Yes, I did my hair. <laughs> a dangerous foe threatens the people I had time, so I did it. Take care so I was like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I wanna do it, so I'm gonna do it. How are you going, Seeker? It's coming to me. Check the ready, so six month bad boy. Yas! Amazing. Seeker, there's a thingy. There is a thingy. Oh, Dory with the Reese. Oh my god. We're four minutes away from a hype train. We have had a hype train already today. We have already had a hype train today. We do not need another one. Goodness gracious. What the hell. Uh, but yes, we have uh, community challenges have made a comeback. If you have an idea for a community challenge that you would like to see happen, please put it in the feedback channel in Discord. Well done. The people of Drustbar are safer thanks to what did you. Oh, Sunwell. Yes, we do. Good lord. Time to do the thing. Indeed. Indeed. It. Good lord. <sighs> Thank you so much, Landar, for the gifted sub. Congratulations to Pickle, who got hit by the gifted sub. Thank you so much for the second hype train of the stream. Good lord. My god. My god. You do in fact require a hype train. <gasps> Jesus Christ, channel! Why the sun was And dress! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Ten Why gifted subs apiece. Good lord. What? Even. Oh my god. Breaking fear 2.0. Oh my god, you guys. You guys are ridiculous. Thank you so much. Welcome back, I indeed. Assume. Thank you, Dunno. Oh, what was the mount makeup today? Child of Torkali. Child of Torkali Garrison's overflow with love. Congrats on harvesting it. Oh my goodness. Yes, Child of Tokali was today's mount makeup. Oh my god, you lot. 123% of level 5. What even? I think you guys are back and safe. We are. We we are safe. We were always safe, thankfully. We um the sun well. I mean, although our basement is is actually no, the basement is no longer flooded. It's just still unsafe. Um, we're not allowed to go down there. They are in the process of cleaning it because it's um it's just it's dangerous down there. They they don't know exactly what kind of damage has been done, so they've got um like cleaning crews in the basement to, to clean it up over today and tomorrow I think it is obviously that could be extended if stuff goes wrong but um so yeah but in, apart from that and and losing power um we were always safe we were just uncomfortable so oh my god shy 
20 subs! What the hell? Hi, the sun will. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. Like, what the. Oh my god. Hi, the sun will. And dangerous to go alone. Take Jess! Yeah, he can protect me from the death. Oh, big hypers. And channel with another. With the six gifted subs. Oh my god. Hi, the sun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, oh, remember, we were talking last time, you guys were ridiculous. We were talking about our record of, um, of, of sub, uh, of, um, hype trains. And there was one of, in August last year. Um, I think it must have been the, the sub, the partnership celebration stream. No, that was, it would have been too long after that, because it was August. It got to, like, a thousand and something. It was ridiculous. I've got, it's in my, um, the, the Twitch went. recap email. It was like a 1,227 or something ridiculous. But my god, you guys. So we get 66. Six. Oh no, so channel. Oh no. Oh, and then, ah, congrats, Countess. Yes, definitely. If you've been hit by by the sub bombs, please do. If you feel comfortable speaking up in chat, please oh, do. Thank the person who, who sub bombed you. Because it, like, just, oh my god, such generosity. You guys are ridiculous. Ah, oh, Lady of Sorrows, congratulations on the gifted somewhere. sub. This week's worth of gifting. There was but weeks. A week. Singular. I was gone for one singular week. Fuck. Hi, the sun well. And Draz with the ten. Jesus Christ. Ten gifted subs from Draz. All of the hype, Dory. I don't know what's going on. I... You guys are Hi, the just... Sun well. Where the cry came from. <laughs> Magic. It's fine, Yuri. It's fine. Because me, that's 10 years in stream time. You're not wrong. It really felt like that, didn't it? It felt like a lot longer than a week. I think the only reason it didn't feel that bad when I went to PAX for two weeks was that I was doing stuff and it was gaming related and I was, you know, meeting up with people from stream and stuff like that. But this time it's just I was here by myself. So not by myself. Jas was here, obviously. But... Oh my god, it's been years! Oh, I feel like weeks. So, if any of you wonderful viewers and chat pals have not done so, please consider contributing your free channel points towards our Shah Farm stream goal. It is for two streams in a row, the by the way. All 50 characters versus Shah. Just in case you missed that bit, it's two. You're getting I out of this one, you're getting well. two special streams. Two Shah Farm streams. If we hit the goal. Oh my god. Uh, it's November 2022. Can well. you help us? Thanks to everybody getting involved in creating a lovely community spirit. Yes! Felt too long. We missed you. I missed you guys too. Did you guys so much have been through in the past week? It feels like so long. It really does. Hi, it feels so like forever. Well. Hype train success. I got a hype cheer. Fantastic. Thank you so much, all of you ridiculous humans. Hi, oh my gosh, you a fantastic storm. Fantastic, spend your points now, buy one, get one free. Yes, pretty much, pretty much. Why are my emotes not working when Hi, I drop the them? Sun That's super odd. Oh my God, you lot. <sighs> okay, that's Order of Embers and I did not get my exalted Hi, uh, achievement. Well. So I can't buy those yet. Uh, so I'm logging out and I'm hopping over to the Druid and we're going to do Valifir. So if you have a Night Fae character or a character that has been Night Fae at some point, uh, you are eligible to have this mount drop. I would recommend coming and joining us. And if there's anyone who can actually trigger Valfir for us, I'll meet you there. Hi, the sun well. Let me work out that. Oh, yours worked on my screen, Seeker. Maybe they're just not working for us, but they are working for others. Your streams are special. Ah, oh, you're so Hi, sweet, the sun well. Pressure breaks. Oh no! How the f how did you get missed by all of those sub bombs, X? What the hell? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Hi, the sun. Shiba main. Yes, Shiba, fantastic. You met my free headphones. Like, oh, shy. That is so generous of you. So generous. Speaking of free headphones, I have a few bits Hi, from Logitech somewhere. to give away on Saturday. You might want to be there for the twelve-hour shenanigans stream, celebratory. Uh, six-year oh, stream anniversary celebration 
Wiggles eyebrows. You had random anxiety flares at odd points during about both your well-being last week. Oh, I'm actually curious. You and Jess on a boat. <gasps> oh no. Oh, Seeker, I'm so sorry to have caused you that kind of anxiety. We the whole time we have been perfectly safe. By the like, sun well. We, we've been uncomfortable, like no power, cold showers, having to like everything we ate was sandwich. <laughs> we bought a a pork roast from By Woolworths well. and made pork sam like roast pork sandwiches to try to get something that wasn't peanut butter <laughs> into our bodies. Um, but it was just discomfort and and not you know inconvenience, not well. having power, um, and not being able to park in our in the the car park and all that kind of stuff. Like having to find parking spaces all over the place, parks, cars parked illegally everywhere because well. everyone's basements were flooded, of course. Um, but we were we were perfectly safe though. Um, there was yeah we were we were safe the whole time just inconvenienced and well. annoyed and stuff. Oh, Draz, a tier three sub to X. Holy cow, X! Congratulations, you have a tier three sub. By the sun, well. Good lord. My gosh. My gosh. I mean, for last I time, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, apathy. I mean, like, you be that a favorite person of some return is like a major holiday. This look, I I have been looking forward to, to coming back and, and having fun and just you know get you know even even with something as chill as a Mount Farm Monday, just settling back into you know having fun and all that kind of stuff. I've been looking forward to it, but um, I didn't bloody I expect this. Well. Like, come on. <laughs> oh God. Uh, oh, I'm gonna be there. Yes, week off was well deserved. Us such a busy February. Look, it honestly, it was. I mean, obviously the floods were horrible. Oh, the sun there have been well. deaths. People have lost their homes. Um, all like the, it was. It was very, very bad. Like there, there is nothing positive about like it, it was all I just it was a horrible well. horrible thing that so many people have experienced and gone through all this kind of stuff at the same time having no power was an excuse to I go to bed the well. when the sun did there was a night that i went to bed at seven because my eyes started hurting because the the ring light that i was using to illuminate my crossword was making my eyes hurt so i, I just went, the went to bed well. um and and having that extra sleep and stuff did me a world of good. Like, I I needed that. I, I honestly needed that break, and I'm not sure much else Hi, could have forced me to take it. However, that being said, obviously, this was not a good experience by by any measure of the word. Hi, um, the sun well. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of it's tricky to sort of reconcile those two sides of it um, in one's mind, because you know it's it's never a good thing. Uh, but clearly, my body needed it because good lord, I slept so much, so much. So I'm on a boat. You indeed were on a boat. Did was just singing the song, and was I face palming? <laughs> You work with me, yay! Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, the only the people I have well. even peripheral knowledge of that were impacted. Fair, fair enough. Might do well for them around, me to it. They go. You for being an empath, I guess. Yeah, I yeah, I get it. I get it. Ah, look, look, we managed to be on the same shard. Phenomenal. Ah, and another one. Look at us all. We're winning. We're winning. Uh, bit me to a, if we can get my guesses on Horde side, I don't have a Horde, that's okay. That's alright, as long as we're on the same shard, it doesn't actually matter, because you can still kill it. You will have a while, this will take a while to die, if you are still trying, like, if you want to get here, by all means. Uh, new watch is now charged, and on, yeah! Yeah, I've, uh, I've been wearing it, like, non-stop for... Wait, when did it get here? It got here like the day after mum left, which was the Monday. And I've been wearing it since then. Like the only time I take it off is to shower. Oh, and I took it off at one point because I was washing dishes and I know that it's, a, I mean, splashing it is fine, but it's a fabric band and I don't want to get the band all gross. Um, but yeah, I, I wear it. It's constantly on my arm, constantly. Um, 
I should, uh, I should hop onto my dashboard for last week and show you guys how much I walked. <laughs> I think you might find the data interesting. Ah, uh, introversiveness. They're extrovert. You know what's really funny? Like, I mean, I am, I am technically an extrovert. But good lord, I'm also an introvert. I am, like... No mount, but that's okay. Um, I I am definitely I'm so when you look at the spectrum of like E to I, I'm like just over, just over onto the E side of things. The thing that I one of the things I really love about streaming is that um I can I can interact with chat and I can be like, hello, I am the star of the show and give me attention and all <laughs> like be an extrovert and then I can be like, okay, I'm done. Goodbye. And then like I'm gone. I can it's I can just turn all the I can turn the social interaction off with the press of a button and that makes me happy. <laughs> it's uh it's an interesting sensation, let me tell you. I don't feel like I'm by myself. Like in reality I'm sitting in a bedroom all alone yelling. <laughs> I know I'm yelling. I speak loudly, it's fine. But it's it's weird. Streaming is the weirdest sensation. Okay, Fia's gonna go do Corthia shit, which is gonna be interesting because there's gonna be nobody there. No more commercials, yay! Ah, uh, you live in Petri Terrace unaffected. It was annoying to hear the evacuate alarm going off every night at like 3 a.m. Oof. Yeah, that sucks, Sham. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, we uh there was there was water in our street about five or six meters down the road from our door. Um, it just didn't get to our door, which is good. Um, I think it reached the property line. No, not quite. I think it was like a meter or two away from the property line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hello, Kaz. Drag. Yes, definitely somewhat drier. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am glad as well. So fly. My different shot. Ah, bugger. I clear actual outgoing introvert. I've missed everyone. Yes, for sure, for sure. It is like this is it's a community meetup, you know, and it's it's kind of it's really odd to think that you know it's like it's like um if you've ever had uh you know if you've ever heard of people who do like regular dinners with people and there's a group of people who always meet up at a certain place or they they change you know they go from house to house and do like dinner parties or whatever um and it's it's kind of weird for me to think that. If I'm not here, y'all don't meet up. It's, you know, it's, it's a little bit strange. It's a little bit strange. Uh, where am I going? Right, I'm going to Corthia and the moor. Thanks, yay, congrats, X. Congrats. I got my green fox, fantastic. You're also a pally, no, wrong. 45 out of 55 on the introvert side. Ah, there you go. Very introverted. All right, out no mount. Everyone's trigger word after me. I know. Oh, hello, Dan. Uh, look. Hello, Dan. Welcome back. Oh, look, it's a free-for-all. I made a 20% chance. Yeah. <laughs> look. Ah. Hi, being able to both. If you both enjoy being with friends, also love being alone. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm definitely the same as well. Like I, I kind of swing between the two. Like I, I do the social thing and my social battery gets charged and it gets full and I'm like, okay, I don't want any more social. Like I need to be alone now. And then I go be alone and my social battery kind of depletes. And then once it's empty, it's like, okay, I need to be with people now. And then I go and be with people and it fills up again. Like it's, it's that kind of, yeah, I definitely feel that. Oh, I should probably check my vault. Hey. This is from prior. This is not from recently, I don't think. I, I haven't done a Mythic Plus since the patch hit. I was always hosted a fierce house, at least she isn't paying. Look, you're not wrong. The glue that bonds us. I mean, the restaurant where you all dine or something. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, that's a downgrade. That's actually an item level upgrade. I think that's probably gonna end. <laughs> and my monk has one. Not at that eye level though. Um, and it's haste. That's gonna be an upgrade. I know it is because it's trading haste. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm sure it'll sim for, for the right thing. Oh, I'm gonna have an 11 key, am I? I have an 11 sanguine depths. Perfect. I like that the key looks different now.
Oh, so close. So close. Almost at 250. Almost there. Where are my Genesis? I've had 10 Genesis modes. Why is ATT not showing it now? When I hover over it, ATT is not showing. No entries. Ah, oh, maybe it's because I can't do it yet. Count mode. Here we go. This should work. Maybe. There we go. There you go. Yep. 18,100. So they're knocked to zero off. Interesting. I wonder how... Was that a bug or was that my brain bugged? Probably my brain bugged. I could have sworn I can't, because I, I did a double take when I saw how many I needed, but I my brain must have still been fucked. That's okay. Regardless. Okay. Um, I'm going to Corfia. I'm going to do... Wait, what time is it? Okay, we've got 38 minutes before the Tormentors of Torgas spawns. No one's going to be there, so if anyone else wants to help, you're welcome to. <laughs> I'm in cooldown on FFA. Yeah, there is there is a cooldown. It's like 20 minutes or whatever it is. Yeah, must be 20 minutes. Take all. Talk all the talking. Are we basically mute? Fair, fair. It's best to take currency. Oh, why? 252 cloak. Why not? Do you have a new tattoo on your arm or just something I haven't seen before? No, I don't have a tattoo. That is from when I was drawing lines through barcodes on the packages I opened at the start of stream and then lent on it. <laughs> that's that's transfer of permanent marker. <laughs> Cause I um I do This has got my uh the PO box. So I draw lines on the, yep, so that if people try to track where things have come from or where they're going and stuff like that by like grabbing a screenshot and then like trying to, yep, I uh, I cross things out to protect everybody before before stuff. But no, it is not, it is not a tattoo. It is literally, I lent on some permanent marker. So, <laughs> yep. I'm very, very good. Uh, Death, Neke, and Little, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Shit caps, lol. Uh, sorry for yelling, that's okay. Looks like they're bugging ATT, it could be both. Okay, okay. By the time it was, it was. I never knew it was 20. Yeah, there you go. But it'll tell you in chat, it'll be like, the thingy is cleaned and ready to go. Yeah, I gotta a bunch of liquor currency. Ah, oh, nah, that's fine. No, no, grab the circuit design tutorial. It's addicting! Yas! Yas. Actual lol, yep. Strongly advice selling keys to fuck off this week. Temporary tattoo, correct. Fear is not docs, but fear is marked forever. Indeed. Indeed. Because I am a... That's right. A numpty. Uh, <laughs> fear is boxed. <laughs> Keys are very, very hard this week. Uh, reminder. See, listen, there's everything. Indeed. Indeed. So that coin is going right in your ear. I'm loving your like non-violent creative insults, Shiba. They're fantastic. It really goes in for full tier right now. What Shiba said, fucking people who didn't get flooded. I know, right? Hey Lion, congratulations on the gifted sub! Numpty, I thought you were a paladin. No! No! Drift off, no worries, Axiom, rest well, we'll see you next time. Threatened my friend's toe the other day, specifically the big toe, good job. 
Good job. All right, so I believe it's at 7 p.m. my time, so 34 minutes from now, where we're going to get a, um... Corthia has much to offer. Where we're going to get a, uh... Tormentors of Torghast. So if that's something that you might be interested in... Uh... Might I recommend that you keep an eye on the time? <clears throat> I have Malbog to do, and what's the... What's the invasion? Kyrian! The one that doesn't have a mount. Okay, I tick that off the list. <laughs> Covenant assaults. No need. Toe is your balance, little toe is worse. Big toe ruins balance, little toe takes you the fuck out. Every time zone. Hello, Lion. Good to see you're feeling better. Yes, feeling better, and I actually have power. I, I was feeling better quite a while ago, um, a good few days now, but um, because of the Brisbane floods, uh, we have. We've been on, our building's been on generator power, a higher generator that building management got, and I can't stream. It wasn't like. I'd cause brownouts to the whole freaking building if I tried doing that. So um, I made the conscientious decision to not screw over my my neighbors and um, and not stream. Uh, and thankfully, we are now back on mains power. Uh, we're almost back to pre-flood condition. Uh, basement is still jacked. It's um. Uh, they've had cleaning crews down there today. I believe they're coming back tomorrow, uh, and hopefully they'll have it back to... It's unsafe at the moment. It's, it's like, full of mud and icky and just unsafe. Uh, but hopefully, uh, as of tomorrow, they'll get it back to uh, usable condition, because, good lord, the amount of un illegally parked cars is too damn high. Um, they're blocked off so many side streets and stuff. It's just it's getting ridiculous. So we're hoping for the best. I don't need the markers anymore. It's pretty lenient on the route. Good. I, I've i not. Um, I've only had, they go, 13 attempts, and most of them I've actually had the puppy with me uh, to show me the way, so that's okay. I'll Maybe one day I'll get there. Hopefully not. Hopefully it'll just drop. Ah, oh, Gita, congratulations on the gifted sub. Fantastic. I don't know, water can be iffy, especially if, you know, yep, exactly. Well, the water's now gone. They've, they've pumped out all the water, which is fantastic. Uh, what is left is mud and uh, the remnants of the, because our sewage system broke because of the water and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we had a not fun time, <laughs> like a really not fun time uh, with all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, there, there's cleaning crews just um, getting rid of all the mud and just cleaning up the basement now so that's uh yeah <laughs> hopefully it'll be done sooner rather than later but we'll see all right we've done malbog nothing there tormentors is not for another half hour so i'm gonna go hit up harika something dropping in this economy look i even i've got i've got my lucky earrings on you guys uh what caused electricity outage so sorry kind of living under the rock uh brisbane floods google 2022 brisbane floods and you'll see, it knocked out our power. It, it yeah, there's been eight deaths, um, thousands and thousands of people without power. Uh, people have had their homes completely washed away. Others have had, the, the home is still standing, but everything in it needs to be disposed of. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been really, 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 really bad, really shit. I think it was eight deaths. That number might've risen since I last confirmed it, but yeah. I'm gonna say I got the night temple skin. Hey, fantastic! Haven't unlocked the temple yet. Oh, very soon, soon. Keep playing and you'll unlock it in no time, I'm sure. Uh, don't just Google Brisbane floods because there have been so many Brisbane floods. But yeah, 2022 Brisbane floods will get you uh, the information you are looking for. Um, 
Guys, we're at 64k for the Shah Farm. I just realized. Today's goal was 62 and a half. To, to be on track to finish it by the end of the week. So, there you go. Good job. Well done. Who are you again? Ah, oh, rude. Hello, Lucky. I'm Fia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How are you going? Welcome back. Uh, it's devastating. It is. It is indeed. Uh, luckily, we are safe. Uh, we were safe the entire time. We were, we wouldn't, like, I mean, there absolutely could have been a point that we were at, in danger, but we, like, we had a go bag packed. Um, we were all perfectly fine. Everything was okay for us. Um, but, yeah, it's, it was scary. And we, yeah, we were without power for, um, we were completely without power for a few days. And then we ended up getting uh, a generator for the building, um, the building management hired a generator so that we could at least have you know food and like keep the fridges on and have lights and uh run fans because it was goddamn hot no aircon uh we couldn't run the aircon because we had to conserve power as much as we could which is why no stream um but then yeah energex got our power on uh tomorrow sorry not tomorrow yesterday i think it was um like overnight yesterday or something i can't remember exactly but um time days have just run into each other lately uh but yeah so it uh power is back like proper mains power is back and so i'm able to stream again which is fantastic so yeah, Danvers in the 1800s always put the year yeah yep 75k today five streams this week yeah but one of them's 12 hours seeker rather than six so i kind of i take the 12 hours requiring double the amount like so 125k during the 12 hour um but Considering that everyone can only contribute once per day, yours is pro your your method's probably more accurate. <laughs> I just do it by hour because it's easier in my head. But uh, yeah, but yeah, seventy five k. We we can do that. Seventy five k is a good goal to have. I just expect people to go hard. You do, you do. I mean, you encourage them to go hard, so why wouldn't they? Oh, I need a weak aura for some kings. Okay. I just noticed it triggered and I didn't say anything. Uh, so I need a weak aura for that, but that's fine. I'll get one. Uh, nothing from Harika. Um, let's head out to Dalaran for High Mountain. Paragon. Um... I'm so excited to hook up my air purifier. So excited! Uh, good morning, Random. Hope you're doing well today. Ooh, I have to install the filter. It's remaining. We got this. Um, RIE's on the docket today. If we get there, which it looks like we're probably going to. So I have High Mountain Paragon, Tormentors of Torghast, Unshackled Paragon, Tolbarad, and then Islands. That's what's like, so I reckon, yeah, Islands, considering we're only, we're not even halfway through the stream and I'm already most of the way through my list. <laughs> uh, I reckon that we'll be hitting Islands today. Um... <laughs> we have a goal, an amazing goal. Shah stream. Indeed. Indeed. Also, have you followed me on Instagram? You should. I haven't posted in a little while because my my schedule posts ran out and I haven't had a chance to sit down and actually do more because I've been too busy with, you know, other shit. Um, but it's definitely high on the priority list. At the mo. Eh. My first nine tomb out the other day. Daily Frogman. Ah, oh, fantastic, Lucky. Well done. 
So anyways, I know, I have gotten an email back from Streamlabs about that, uh, but I haven't checked it yet because again, I have been busy dealing with the floods. <laughs> I've had higher priorities, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, I am, I'm slowly but surely catching up on stuff. I've posted my schedule. If you scroll down and click Fiyama and then click schedule, it'll have all of the schedule for March in your time zone. Um, I've done the, the pretty this thing, the pretty this thing, uh, with all the, the channel point goals and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm just, it, God, it takes forever. Uh, catching up is, is the worst. I like being up to date with things, makes things go real quick. Takes no time at all to stay up to date with things, but um, given that it's been so long, good lord, it's just a mess. Uh, but that's okay, I'm getting through it. Getting through it, only 80 more Instagram followers to hit the 1k. Oh my god, really? Holy shit, are we at 920? That's amazing. That is amazing. Nice to see you're okay, thank you, yo. I, I'm glad that I'm okay. I just, I, I'm, definitely feeling a little overwhelmed with stuff that I have to do, like stuff that I'm now behind on because of everything, but that's okay. I'm going to take it at my own pace. I'm going to do it as I can because like, it's been a rough, it's been a rough week. We lost contact with one of my Pathfinder teams that was scouting the Greystone area. It's been one hell of a week. <clears throat> that's the Enlightened. Where's... High Mountain. Oh, we're getting there. I don't know if we'll. I don't think we'll get a Paragon Cache today. Wardens of Elijah, the Dreamweavers. Yeah, no. I don't think we'll get one today, but we can. We'll still make progress towards it. And hey, I might surprise myself. Well done, Seeker and Zam. Yeah. Until the issue with the coins is fixed, if you hit zero. Please let me know, uh, and I can manually add some to your- like, I can check if you're lying, like, I can see in the thing, but, like, if you do hit zero, if you completely run out, do let me know, um, and I'll- I'll give you some just to tide you over while we're- um, while I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. <clears throat> Thank you, champion. I appreciate you preventing my people from being reduced to basilisk chow. <clears throat> okay, we'll go up here and do this one. There is a dungeon world quest here as well. Uh, and I will do that. I probably just won't do it before I get torment is done because I've only got 21 minutes to go I'll probably port to Oroboss when I've just got a couple minutes left and drop into the moor and see where they're gonna spawn uh, so if you should just add a redemption to converting embers to coins kind of thing um That would be interesting, but then there's nothing really much to do with the coins. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, I don't know. It wouldn't happen automatically, obviously. I'd have to do that manually. But, um, bank you letting out free coins. Don't ask about interest rates. Yeah, basically, basically. Actually, I wonder how quickly I could get through the dungeon one and I can just port out if I need to. And I know I have everything from in here, so it doesn't matter what what uh what difficulty I'm on. Dog rule commits atrocities against even Hurry, the wildlife. Every moment we linger, our dark rule kills more of our allies. My father's ancient lair. There is still power within these rocks that should not be disturbed. Oh, 
Oh, it's a free-for-all. Yeah, why not? We're at 70k raised for the Shaw Farm. Goodness gracious. into abilities they should not possess. No doubt it has something to do with the latent power still lingering within these rocks. Big FFA, it is. Big pot indeed. Not 50 not. per. Betraya. You would lead these intruders against us. Gargul cannot control the hammer, Ularog. He will destroy oh, all of it. Not conquer it. Either way, I will enjoy every moment of it. Rockmora, crush them. I'm like watching, like waiting for a uh, like when, oh, channel 550. Is that the biggest free for all we've had? I don't remember. That seems very large. Quickly, into the barrels. I'll hold them here and join you down river. But yeah, if there is anyone who hasn't yet, uh, and you have a handful of channel points, so embers, like underneath the chat box to contribute uh, towards a Shah Farm stream. So if if we if we get to the, the cap, if we fill, if we complete the community challenge in April, I will be doing two days, not two consecutive days, but two consecutive streams. It'll be a Wednesday and a Friday. I have disconnected. Uh, stream seems fine. I think it's just wow. Okay. So well, usually teams around 250, 400. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. Uh, yep. Yeah, so if stream is working, cool. All right. Uh, so if we get to the max in April, a Wednesday and a Friday stream will both be Shah Farm streams, so I can get through all 50. Five zero, my full account of characters against Shah, in the hopes that the mount drops. Uh, and the way that you can make that happen is by donating your channel points. Uh, it's free. So underneath the chat, uh, underneath the chat box, you've got like a little purple campfire icon. You can click that, and there's a banner that says Shah Farm Community Challenge. You click that. Excuse me. You can contribute a maximum of two thousand per day. Or if you don't have 2,000, or if you don't want to contribute 2,000, you can contribute any amount that you have uh, or that you would like to do. Um, what? Okay, I fell whilst underwater and took fall damage. Good. Uh, 2,750 go to the taste girl. Ah, two more people. Amazing. We're at 74k. Holy cow. 74k. Our waters are safe to drink again. Sparky. Thanks to you. 750 more. Holy cow. We're out. I mean, look, I probably should have expected it, but I did not expect it to be filled up that quickly. Honestly. I was like, okay. Surprise. Who's the hero we need? <laughs> Oh, does it feel good to be campaigning again, Seeker? You have you missed food, it? Maggot. Please, you've already taken all the food we have. Search everywhere. These peasants have been hiding rations from the army. If you're not fighting, you're not eating. It's just sufficiently scratched. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, after the Tormentors of Torghast, uh, I think I will go do a quick chair stream uh, and refill my water bottle so I can do some of these hydrates we've still got in queue. <clears throat> Another hydrate! Yeah, exactly. There are so many so many uh, and you need to do them but um i need water to be able to do that
Jeff, does your raid start at six or seven? I never remember. It's very good at that, indeed. Indeed, X is fantastic at keeping me hydrated. I have not been super particularly hydrated this past week. <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, but I am starting to get a little better at tracking stuff uh, with my Arise! Fitbit. This song, I would like to get better at tracking my food. Um, but that does mean, like, when I'm doing my meal prep, actually, like, figuring out how much of which ingredient I'm using rather than just tossing stuff in a pot. <laughs> it's a little more tricky. Um, water is easy, though. Water is easy to track. Back on you launch my way. Ah, fantastic! Oh, that's so cool. That's super cool. Doran believed you were prophesized to seize my hammer. You launch it in yeah, we're we're indeed. Let them come. Help us meet some new we and wonderful people, maybe. To stand against one worthy of wielding the power of a titan. I will break this hose I am sorry, Sirius. I must leave you. I, Yet know I this. Was, I have witnessed your deeds with pride. The and hammer I never shows sure you will not fail High Mountain in this it's fight. a wielder who possesses true strength. So new chap house, we do. We do. Even if they're lurking, don't feel like you're pressured to, to come out of lurk mode. It's totally okay. The drug bar are broken. We love having new members of the family. You can join the Discord, you can follow on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, everywhere, all the things. All the things. Okay, I gotta get out of here so I can mount. I think I'm heading up to this one. Even the TikTok, I know, right? Necessarily require typing. People can just add embers. Indeed, indeed. Say no more. Ah, uh, soon, soon. I'll go refill my bottle so I can continue hydrating. Two K is good too. Yeah, absolutely. Two K is wonderful. Can't believe we're already at seventy-four thousand. Good lord. Good lord. I actually, I am so, I'm so organized, you guys. I'm trying to be. Um, not only did I do my schedule for March, I've done a tentative schedule for April as well. <laughs> With like, you know, our standard, obviously it's subject to change. Like if, if a sponsorship opportunity comes up, then maybe I'll, maybe I'll flip things around or whatever. Oh, actually that raises an interesting question I wanted to talk to you guys about. But um, yeah, so I've penciled in um, all of the Jesus fucking Christ, X. Are you, like, are you right there? Oh, and Ashley! Ashley has contributed. Fantastic. 76k. There you go. Seeker, so we've hit the goal for the day. Amazing. Never flood and you go create one. Yeah, if it wasn't drowning before, I certainly will be now. Um, but yeah, so... Um... I have received an email from a company who would like me to sign up to their service and use it. And I'm... I'm on the fence about it. I'm on the fence about it because on the one hand it could be a great opportunity to, to do some bits and bobs, but it's also a little... It's borderline on something that I kind of swore that I'd never do sort of thing. So I'm not, mm, right. So basically the idea is uh, that there's a platform and creators and developers and fans can use it. Like everyone seems to be referring to you guys as fans these days rather than like viewers or community members or whatever, which I, I find kind of strange. Uh, and it makes me a little, like it just, it's, mm, it's weird. Anyway, um, so publishers, developers can go on this website and grant they can they can say okay here's here's a key here's a game key and here are some dares here are some challenges for with it like so kind of like achievements within the game that we're giving you if you complete these 
we will give you keys to give away to your community for our game. We we might give you swag, uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can like you can win stuff for your community by completing certain tasks within the game that the developer has set for you. Kind of cool, right? Um, obviously, you know, it's it's the whole, like, we'll give you a key if you stream our game kind of thing, but with an added layer of if you do extra stuff, if you do bonus stuff, then we'll give you stuff to give your viewers as well, keep them engaged and whatnot. Um, however, there is also another side to this website where viewers can set what they call dares. Um, and these dares are for monetary gain. So someone can suggest a dare, and then I can go, yes, I accept your dare. I will do it if we hit X amount of dollars. Right. So the reason why I feel a little uncomfortable about that is because ever since, like, right from the very beginning of streaming, I've always kind of said I would not be the person who does stuff in in exchange for money like specific tasks if someone drops in and says oh if you if you if you do something silly i'll give you 10 bucks i i kind of swore i'd never do that because even if it's just silly little things to start with it's a slippery fucking slope like it's a really slippery slope to uh, especially i feel for um female streamers or streamers who identify as female or present as female um it, c it can be a slippery fucking slope. This website has in their FAQ that there, like, they have they have filters on the dares. There's like a there's like an auto mod type dealy on their filter on their on their dares so that in to prevent inappropriate stuff from coming through. However, they of course they, they are they're just bots and there's a chance that things can still come through. And I'm not sure I want to expose myself to that. Um. Even if I can just reject, because you can reject it there, obviously. Even if I can just reject it, I still don't want to. It's like, why put myself out there and ask for that? Um, and I also kind of feel like, d in general, just doing stuff for money. Like, I will do that if you pay me X amount of money. It just doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't feel quite right. Bum, 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 bum. How are you going? Here's Try. Paul in here. Try it. Oh, it's the silver side. Just is slow cooking for dinner. Oh, hell yeah. Mum's recipe's good. Of course it is. Is your mum's recipe? Have you tried it? Yes. <laughs> it's dripping down the fork. Yeah, it does that. I just haven't been able to figure out an AIP white sauce. Huh? I haven't been able to figure out an AIP white sauce. That won't be one. Baby. It uses flour as a base. We have tapioca starch mm. instead. Unfortunately, it doesn't behave the same way. Um, plantain flour might do it, but um, that sounds expensive. Mhm. Mm it is. Guys. Uh, excuse me. Did you try googling? Yes. <laughs> and not one of them. We have the risk, the ingredients. That one requires white sweet potato. White sweet potato. Yeah. White sweet potato. <laughs> I guess you could probably still just use regular sweet potato. Has anyone tried white sweet potato? And are they much different from orange sweet potato other than the fact that they're obviously different colours? Like, does the taste different? Is the texture different? What's the go? Chicken broth you could replace with bone broth as well. I mean, it's that's still AIP, but... The avocado oil will be interesting. It's kind of expensive. I reckon you could probably replace it with olive though, but it'd just taste a bit different. But anyway, we don't have the ingredients. No, we don't, but... Well, I mean, we do. We've got cooked and cooled sweet potato in the fridge. We don't have coconut milk. Nope. Alright, yeah, fair. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. But if you're okay with having that without, like... Sorry? I'll put some barbecue sauce on the side if you want sauce. It's pretty tasty as it is, honestly. Mm. I mean, if you were feeling real fancy, you could make an apple sauce. I have 20 minutes before raids. 
I have been spending the past like 30 minutes trying to figure out what kind of sauce I'm going to stick with this. <laughs> Bottled barbecue. Seems <clears throat> good. A la Aldi. A la Aldi. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's bigger than I thought it'd be. I mean, when it comes in a box this big, <laughs> and then you it's pull it out of a box this big. No, I know. I mean, like when I saw it online, I thought it was gonna be small. I thought it was gonna be like a desk thing, but um, I'm I'm glad. No, it's that's a big, going in the thing. corner. Mm. I'm glad it's a big uh, a big chunker because it means it'll actually get shit done, you know. Locus unite indeed, Ashley, and welcome on in. Did this to yourself? <laughs> Drink. Not enough potable. It's empty. Well, that's an issue because there's no more cold water in the fridge. Why not? I drank it all. <laughs> Did you refill it? Yes. But I only just finished it off. Why don't you. F every time you pour something out of it, you should be refilling it. Every time. No. That's how you keep cold water in the fridge, is you refill yeah, it every time. But then I'd be refilling it every like, hour. Yes, correct. It's that crazy way you've talk. always got cold filtered water. It's we crazy. bought a new we bought a new filter for the because I mean the water always yeah. tastes bad, but it started tasting worse. <laughs> so <laughs> floods, yay! Um the water's fine, the water's potable, but it just yeah, it's not great. Um does, I know, I know, I know, I know. I was just finishing that one off. Uh, and then I can because I can port straight to Ouroboros and then drop in the hole and then I've got five minutes to get there or two minutes or whatever. New platforms will moderate, not a hive of creeps. You aren't opening yourself up to anything new. I'm not a huge fan of cash goals. As long as prices are fair and no one's being forced to pay, it's all good. Yeah, no one, absolutely no one would be forced to pay at all whatsoever. And it'd be kind of like the, the community challenges. If you wanted to, you could, but you don't have to. Um, yeah, battle's ready. Did I press the button already? I don't think I did. Um, but yeah, it just, like, since the beginning, over six years ago, like I, so many times people have said, "Oh, if you, would would you do this if I if I paid you money?" And it's been like, no. And it's not always been creepy stuff. I mean, I've had creepy stuff as well. But um, like, even just you know, oh, if you know, if if you if I pay this much, will will you say this in a funny voice and and shit like that? It's just, you know, I, mm, it makes me feel uncomfortable. So I don't think. I don't think it's a platform for me. And I've been pl I like <laughs> I've been playing so much WoW anyway <laughs> that it's kind of like Am I, you know, am I actually going to play like other games and and do chat like yeah, I don't know. Na 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 na. Games besides WoW. I know, right? We're actually going to play uh, a couple of them this month. There we go. Death, Fairy, Kludgy, V, Sika, Zam, Neke, Mu, and Meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, there hasn't been an announce yet. It's hit 7pm, but I don't think it's quite... I haven't, I haven't seen the, the announce. Just keeping an eye on it. I'm in the more though. Imp just for a change. Good. Wonderful. <clears throat> Still no announce. Oh, I've earned my 50 gold. Oh, there we are. Alright, I've got five minutes to get there and it's pretty close, so that's fine. Uh... I've earned my 50 gold.
Groups up yet by the looks of it. A lot. Doing this, goodbye. Okay, bye. So it's down there, I take it. dismounted. another free for all. Okay, where's this? Is it working? It's not lighting up as blue, but... It often doesn't. It is working. Cool! There's the timer. We had like a ton of people, like a ton of the regulars just slamming down those points. Well done, LK. You have won the free for all. One minute to go on Tormentors of Torghast. In case you wanted to join, I actually have it listed in the group finder. If you wanted to come and try your hand mount. Hey, fantastic. It's from my friends list. <clears throat> Not long to go on the funny voice. Almost gone. Seems to be stuck on imp. It's not turning off. <sighs> I don't know if you guys can still hear it or not. 
like I've exited the thing and reloaded it and it's still not switching off. Oh, it is off? Right, okay. Weird. It's still showing as on. Um, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad, thank you. Doing fairly well. Happy to be back. Happy to be back. Week off is a long time. <laughs> it feels like a long time. How was the flooding? Ah, terrible. It was terrible. Dangerous, smelly, scary. Uh, but Jas and I were safe. Um, the building was safe, all that kind of stuff. I mean, the the basement levels where all the parking is completely flooded, they're, they're cleaning them out at the moment. They've gotten all the water out and now they're just, um, they're cleaning them up uh, so that they're habitable again. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been a time. Hello. 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 Frank Walker from National Tiles. Food man from the kitchen. <laughs> Food man from kitchen. I like it. Oh god, that smells amazing. Damn right it does. I cooked it. Thank you. Mashed sweet potato, veggies, and corned beef silver side. Slow cooked. Well done. Thank Bye -bye. you. You were safe. Glad to hear it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's the that's the important thing. Uh, you know, we were without power for a while and all that kind of stuff, but we were safe. That was important. <clears throat> Almost done. Six, ninety-eight, ninety-eight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, Kent. You are not prepared. <laughs> Hello. Welcome on in, how are you? Oh my god, it's so, it's hilarious. Like, so the last time I was able to stream, I raided you. And now I'm back, my first stream after the floods and, and here you are. That is just, that is beautifully poetic. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you? How is your stream? Welcome on in everyone. If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. I'm mostly a World of Warcraft streamer with a little bit of variety sprinkled in here and there. Uh, and I'm a completionist. I, I collect stuff. Uh, I do do a little bit of end game content like Mythic Pluses and raiding and stuff like that every so often, but uh, mostly we're a, we're a chill completionist stream. Um, uh, we, we like to say that we're a, a just chatting stream with a side of WoW gameplay. Uh, so. <laughs> And I hope you're all having a fantastic time zone, wherever you, whatever time it might be for you. That was not a mount. What was that? Orthian Caretaker's Bindings. That was a shared appearance. That wasn't actually a new thing. God damn it. They always, it always does that. However, I did get a backplate that was a new cosmetic. So we'll take it. We'll take it and we'll go back to Venari. Oh, goodness gracious me. Um, thank you for the cast of Command Shiba. Much appreciated. Hola. How you doing, Thomas? How about yourself? So I want to send the love. Of course. Yeah, no, we're, we're totally fine. Totally safe. Um, so last I saw you was Sunday night. My time. The sun <laughs> Liz. Liz with the resub. Amazing. 12 months. Holy cow. That's a year. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Um, right, so Sunday night was the last time I saw you, uh, and that was the last time I streamed. Uh, we packed a go bag uh, in case we had to evacuate, uh, and then we went to bed. Um, we, we moved a bunch of stuff into our chest freezer and things just to, to be sure, and then, um, uh, and yeah, and then we, then, then we went to bed. Uh, when we woke up in the morning, the power was out. No power. 
Um, the water had reached its peak by the time we woke up, and um, it was at it was half a meter away from the peak from the 2011 floods that we had here in Brisbane. Uh, and so the 2011 floods were some of the worst that the that the state had ever seen. Um, and uh, we were half a metre away from the peak of, of those, which so we were fine. Um, in, in the 2011 floods, I wasn't here. I, I was a different place, different state, in fact. Uh, but in 2011, the water got up to our property line, like what would have been the, the edge of our building uh, that, that's closest to the river. But it was half a metre uh, lower than that. So it was a couple metres back from, from there because obviously a metre this way is not the same as a metre this way. Uh, and so the power was out for, I want to say about two and a half days. And then our building management managed to, uh, get it, uh, managed to hire a generator that they hooked up to the building. And so we had generator power, uh, which is not the same as mains and you can very easily overload a generator. And so we had to do serious like power saving measures so no no dishwasher no air conditioning uh no clothes dryer like i did the laundry i, I washed some clothes and i had to hang it to dry which in brisbane where it's humid as hell is it, everything took like three days to dry it was great uh, <laughs> uh and i couldn't stream because streaming does take a lot of power uh and because you know just uh, the the rendering that the pc has to do with all that kind of stuff um like i could play games like i could play video games but I couldn't, on top of that, render the stream and the camera and power. I mean, the lights and stuff, they're all LEDs, but it is still a lot. So. Bubble tea! Yes. Thank you. Is it gingerbread flavor? No. No? Is it original milk tea? Yes. Yay! Mmm. With white pearls, delicious. Yes. Thank you. Put it on the, the okay. thingy. Well, the this one doesn't empty. Be it. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we they ended up getting a generator, um, which powered the building enough to survive. You know, hot water can cook food, can keep stuff cold in the fridge, that kind of thing. Can run like oscillating fans to keep us cool because it was like thirty-two degrees here as well. That's Celsius, of course. Um, uh, but yeah, so it was. <laughs> We, we were always safe, though. We were always safe. Um, the basement parking flooded completely underwater, 100%. Uh, that is now drained. We're back on mains power, which is why I'm streaming. Um, and they're now going through and cleaning the basement because it's currently very unsafe. There's mud everywhere, and so it's just totally slippery and gross. Plus, it's unsanitary because our sewage pipes burst. Um, so, yeah, they've got cleaning teams that are cleaning that up over a couple of days worth of work. Uh, and then hopefully we should be relatively back to normal by that point. But yeah, the um, the cleanup efforts are still ongoing across the state. Um, there's a lot of shit went down. Um, last I checked, there were eight deaths. Um, I'm not sure if that number's still accurate, if it's gone up or, or whatever. But um, oh, or if they've found I people alive, that'd be amazing. Stop. Uh, but and people have had their whole homes destroyed uh, or if if the home is still standing everything inside it's gone um, it's just it's not a it's not a fun time but uh, I'm I'm very thankful very grateful that we were apart from inconveniences and discomfort we were mostly untouched like we were safe and that was that was like that's important you know so yeah everything is for, for in in my little bubble everything is okay um, but yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Ink, welcome on in. Welcome, Bamo. Only thing I read is my fridge. My fridge had no power. I had to keep it shut. <laughs> Luckily, we have a, a chest freezer. So we got a couple of bags of ice from our local grocery store. And everything from the fridge went into the freezer, into the big chest freezer, with bags of ice. And that was insulated enough to keep everything cold. <laughs> yeah. Like it was, it was full on survival mode, which was interesting and a time. I see you alive and well. Thank you, Les. I also am glad to be alive and well. Fake ATT. I know it's the worst. It's the worst. Um, where are we at? A whole year. Twitch pass new law. You cannot live your life every day. Like an absolute goddess. You want to ban? I guess suggest you stop. Um, okay. Firstly, Twitch can't pass laws. Cool. Um, <laughs> secondly, I do not look like an absolute goddess. I have, uh, I dyed my hair last night. 
that that might have I so I have semi permanent dye where I put it on well actually just does it now these these days puts it in my hair and then I leave it overnight the worst night of sleep ever and then I wash it out in the morning and so can you see like I've got the hairline from hell yep <laughs> that's why I've curled it so that it doesn't like <laughs> also makeup secondly camera is not the same quality as your eyes so blurring is great uh <laughs> Um, oh dear. Um, where are we at? Just me showing the anniversary slip is further away now. It says 22 days. Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, it must have triggered when I was, um, when I couldn't stream because of no power, Les. Was that, is that why maybe? I don't know. Hello, Zarin! Have you and Jess are doing well? We are. We are safe. We are, we are, we have power back now, obviously, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, we're, we are okay. The last annoyance is that, um, we don't have the parking, the building's parking is screwed. And so, um, Jazz is having to move his car every four hours or so to stop trying to get, like, there are so many cars just everywhere parked totally illegally and just completely screwed. Um, because everyone's, all the apartment buildings, underground basements are flooded. So there are cars bloody everywhere. So that's kind of the last of it, but um, hmm. apart from that, we're doing pretty well. I'm glad to be back. Hmm. How long have you been in Ginger? Since high school. Um, I'm now 32. So it's a while. Um, into the aircon on 30 degree. Uh, right off myself. Yeah, well, I mean, like, me not being able to use the aircon is a whole lot better considering that I still had a house. So, like, <laughs> to be blunt, I, it's like it could have been so much worse. Not having aircon is is the least of my concerns. I was concerned I had to evacuate the house because we were going to be flooded. You know, like it's perspective. <laughs> um, mm, yeah. Uh, um, I just turned out a cave. There's definitely no joke. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Um, there's a there's a saying that they have they in all the advertising they have in Brisbane. If it's flooded, forget it. Um, like, you know, just don't, don't go walking through floodwaters, don't drive through them. Like, it's just not worth it. You don't know how deep it is. You don't know what's under the water. Anything could have washed in there. And it, it's just not, and the, the water is so unsanitary as well. Like, you do not know what's in there. You step on a twig and it cuts your foot and the water gets in it and you're like, it, oh, good Lord. No, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It's totally fucked. Um, yeah. Um, you died to my friends stopped their account. I got all their gold. Five mil. Well done. Well done. I'm sorry that your friends are no longer playing though. That sucks. Uh, I've never left anything in overnight. Fumes must be intense. No, um, it doesn't have fumes. Uh, it's semi-permanent dye. Uh, so basically it's manic panic and it's essentially a deep conditioning treatment with a fuck ton of pigment in it. Like it's not, um, it's, it's not, there's no bleach, there's no lightning agents, there's nothing like that. It's it's totally safe to leave in for a longer period of time, uh, which is why I leave it in overnight. Otherwise, like other like box dye and stuff that I've used, hell nah, that stuff gets washed out half an hour to the dot. Um, but yeah, no, this stuff is, is yeah, it's literally like sleeping in a hair mask and I wake up and my hair's more red again. So <laughs> it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I think so, I'll see. I've resubbed. It's been like a day or two later. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, how long did you guys not have power? Uh, it was two and a bit. I think it was like two and a half, but like a long half. If that makes sense. It was like, um, I think it was, so we woke up Monday morning with no power. I don't know what time it went off, but Monday morning we had no power. Sunday night before we went to bed, we turned everything off, all the, the PCs and all that kind of stuff off at the, the switch, um, just in case of anything going haywire. Um, but it was, so all of Monday, all of Tuesday, and I think it was Wednesday evening, afternoon, evening, like 4 or 5 p.m. Um, that the power came back. And it wasn't that it came back, it was that they got a generator. Um, so the power actually didn't come back back until, I think it's Saturday. I th not Saturday? Sunday? Maybe Sunday. I th it might have been yesterday, or like overnight, or so, I, I'm not sure, but it came back like less than 48 hours ago um 
So, like, and that's from, like, the mains. Um, because, yeah, everything was just screwed. Everything was screwed. Uh, I know that, like, the, the nodes, the distribution nodes and stuff were damaged. Uh, a lot of the power poles were damaged. A lot of the fuses blew in the, in the power poles. Um, excuse me. And then, of course, there were some poles that got knocked over because there's water and it eroded the everything holding it in place and so they fell over and so you know yeah it's uh gosh excuse me it was a bit screwed a little bit screwed oh, no, of course you're absolutely right safe and well is far more important yeah yeah um plus we had no power so all we could take les were cold showers <laughs> so it was it was it balanced out right that's that happens but yeah, no, it, uh, in, in the grand scheme of things, like, yes, having no power was irritating and Jas was checking the Energex website literally every five minutes to the point that I, like, snatched his phone off him at one point and I said, it's not coming back yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it, it, like, overall, we were just, we were thankful that we didn't have to evacuate and that, like, we, I, I had the foresight to, to charge up a bunch of power bricks and, um... Uh, so yeah, we were, like, we had phones charged and stuff like that. Uh, worst case, uh, we could drive the car around and charge the phones that way. Uh, also Woolworths had power, like, leads, power leads running out of the front doors. And there was, like, this daisy chain of, uh, extension, like, power boards that people had. So they're all sitting around charging their phones outside the Woolworths and stuff. Like, it was... It was really interesting to see people just like come together like that to help each other get electricity for their phones. Um, kind of funny, but also like not funny when you realize why they. You know, it's it was interesting. It was it was an experience. Let me let me bloody tell you. Um, oh, just it being so hot, not being able to cool down. Of course, of course. Um, I think the city should look the other way for a week or so for parking infringements until things are back to normal. They have been. They have been. Um, the, the the problem with the illegally parked thing is that people are parking across entrances to side alleys and stuff like that. So you've got all these people, like you've got a you've got a um a, an alleyway that's like two and a half lanes wide. You've got people parked down both sides, so you've got to kind of like crawl along at one kilometer an hour to try to get between them, and then you get to the other end and someone's parked across the exit. And you can't fucking back up between, like, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, people are being extremely inconsiderate. It's not just, I don't care that they're illegally parked. Like, yeah, there's nowhere else to park. I get it. But don't be an inconsiderate pig. Like, do you know what I mean? That's the problem. That's the problem. Uh, sepsis ain't fun, nor hepatitis. No, agreed. Agreed. Or the other combo of diseases. Don't suggest you try them. No. You much guarantee the serogen. Exactly. Exactly. Especially considering it's coming from, in our case, the Brisbane River. is going on there we go my mouse kind of had a bit of a heart attack for a moment um yeah it's always been a long time since i've done my hair Predatory. removed on the dot oh hello time yeah there's a lot of like the newer stuff uh so i use manic panic and all of their stuff is the same they do have bleach they sell bleach you do not leave bleach in overnight it will eat through your hair and that's the other thing with box dyes is often because it's permanent dye and it works by like shocking your hair and opening up the cuticles and stuff if you do that for too long your hair will just disintegrate it's not like it's it's eating away at it so you can't do that but um yeah this is this is very different stuff very very different stuff um and I love it, and my hair has been so much healthier since I started using this instead of box dye. Like, you can, you can tell, like, when you touch my hair, you can tell when you hit the, the, the growth from when I, like, when I stopped using the box dye. It's unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Can you get yourself a UPS for your computer for your UPS? I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming you were talking about when we switched the stuff off at the at the wall. Um, we have surge protection on so many levels. Um, we have surge protection, obviously, in the power boards and stuff that we use to to because we have so many. You know, get two point two power points and a whole fucking computer worth of stuff. So the the power boards are surge protected. The apartment itself is surge protected. Like our our fuse box has like our individual apartment fuse box has that. Each level has surge protection, and then the building has surge protection. So it was going to be fine anyway. 
Um, Jas just told me to turn it off out of an abundance of caution. So yeah, we're, we're like, everything is golden the way that this building is built. Um, we, we were never going to lose anything, but, um, it is, it is a good idea. Like if you're anticipating to lose power, maybe save your shit and close them out. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause trying to, trying to recover documents a week after the fact is a pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, we're all, we're all good. If you get to do it for other news, I can do it for the, but yeah, fair. I know, I know. Uh, sometimes humans can be great. Yeah. That was crazy. What a foreign concept. A power board chain. We have never, ever done that ever in our lives. There is certainly not a power board chain underneath my desk currently. There is, but it's only two of them. It's uh, like one and then a second one. But still, yeah, it was kind of funny seeing like, you know, 10 plus of these the things wrapped around a wall so that people were out of the way of the walkways and stuff, charging, sitting down and charging their phones. And yeah, it was cool to watch. <clears throat> X doubt. Yeah. <laughs> In this economy, if you haven't tried them, you never know if they aren't fun. Just saying. Um, so I've had liver failure. Uh, so I can tell you that wasn't fun. And I know that's not quite the same as hepatitis, but it's absolutely on the same sort of level. Same organ and uh, same sort of symptoms. And I guarantee you, definitely not fun. Autoimmune diseases are fun. Sarcasm. <laughs> um, Philly bleach overnight, it'll eat through your head. Correct. Correct. You'll be woken up by the tingling sensation of your scalp dissolving. Don't do that. It's bad. Try some hep C. I would not advise. Would not advise. Ah, gotcha. Give you power for a few hours, tops. Gotcha. Yeah. You are no yeah, nah. We, uh, look. We had the generators after a few days. Um, uh, the generator, I should say, singular. Uh, and that was, that was good, but yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be the, the dickhead that overloads the generator for the rest of the building. Their wings are clipped. Witness the power of an archmage. Uh, I usually ends up being more like 10 minutes long. <laughs> I mean, it depends on how much, like, power your, your stuff is drawing, I would guess, right? Ooh, can I do... This is a world boss, right? <laughs> Sounds safe. There was a tangled mess of wires and a subwoofer for a new desk. No, I... Look, it's not actually a tangled mess of wires anymore. Um, it's slightly more tidy, but there is still a subwoofer under there. See what I have going on? Well, I mean, it depends on what kind of fun you're trying to have, 22. Like, if, I mean, <laughs> having, having fun and, and making silly comments and being a bit of a dick is, is different to what we would consider fun here, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know, different folks, I guess. I need a hair dye that's real resealable, short hair, only dye my fringe, random colours. Um, the amplified, uh, well, actually, manic, all the manic panic stuff, their tub comes with a lid and their, um, their bottle has like a snap top, like a shampoo type lid on it. Um, I use the amplified colour because it lasts longer, uh, but they do still have their, their traditional colours come in a much long, uh, like larger variety of shades. Uh, so if you see a shade that you really like, but it might not come in amplified, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, definitely useful. When, when uh, before I got my hair cut, um, I was having to use more than a bottle to do my hair. Um, and now I can use one bottle and it's pretty much exactly enough. But before when I was using just a bit more, it, I'd have like two thirds of a bottle left and I just snap the top shut and put it back in the cupboard. Highly recommend. Thanks for wasting so much. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, um, it's not the cheapest hair dye out there, but it's damn good quality. Like it works beautifully well. The colors are incredibly vi vibrant. And, uh, and yeah, you can, you can preserve it for a little bit, which is really nice. Uh, 90% Paragon. So not quite, just, just not quite the Paragon cage today, but that's all right. Uh, let's head over here. Are you going to say no look? And we're literally like, how do we look? <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't mind if it costs more. Last long. Exactly. Is that, and you're in effect probably spending less anyway, because you're not wasting half the bottle, you know?
but I get mine from Berserk online clothing and makeup and stuff store. Um, B E S E R K. That's where I get mine from. Mm. Hello, Murray. How you going? Thank you very much for the welcome back. Hope you are all doing well. Mm, food is great. Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you're okay. I hope you're on the mend. Mm, indeed, Zam. Booth, Dunno, Fade, Seeker, V, Z, and Neke, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Loyalty super boss chest, make sure you place those units in the Calliope uh, battle. This is where you get your ridiculous amount of scrolls. So make sure you place your units. You don't have they don't have to be super powerful units, just place something in the battle so that you can get all of those amazing scrolls out of this. Like you can get stacks of 30 to 50 scrolls. It's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, so be sure to jump on in for that. Uh, what's this? Biltong. Actually, can I just buy some? <laughs> Why does this isn't? Why does I'm not a paladin. Uh... You. To be at least two centuries old. There's no built on the. Oh no. Oh no. Baby tune da 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 da. Baby tune da 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 da. Okay, and then I need the Fusaka. I've seen things that would scare you. Get it from shells. here. I can. Perfect. And aromatic fish oil, which I think I have to squeeze from fish, right? Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two one. centuries old. Literally, I only need one. Find anything exotic, bring it. Be okay. My stream is yes. Do the thing. How's everything with you? Yeah, uh, we're getting there. Uh, basement is still being cleaned out and stuff, but everything else is mostly back to normal. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, so we're we're definitely getting there. Um Did I not buy the rubbery flank? Well I did. Apparently I didn't. Good. I must have hit like prepare buy and then didn't actually buy it. I'm very good at this. Anything ancient to trade needs to be at least two centuries old. I absolutely did. Good. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I forgot I was still... Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Cute, not cute. Whatever. Craft it, make it. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're for a while from it. Yep, yeah, indeed. Learn how to play from bestest player forever. Yeah, mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, it's been, it's been a really interesting and really full-on week, but, uh... We're, we're going all right, I think. We're going all right. Have greens and purples? They do, yeah. They have some beautiful colors. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Wait, is it a... Ah, oh, it is an unshackled day. Fantastic. Ah, oh, but I'm like a mile away from, God damn it! all right, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not sure that we'll actually get, I don't think we'll get one today, but we'll try, we'll try. 
Hold on to hope. Colinda, yep, yeah, correct. Now things are getting better for you. Me too. Me too. I'm uh I'm tired. <laughs> Honestly, this this week has been Yeah. It's been it's been a thing. But that's okay. We'll uh we're getting there and we'll just keep on moving on. And uh it sounds like this yeah. horde you come from Can has survived some you? awful things. United, we just will like overcome. us. Seeing you stick together brings me hope. I wonder if I can solo these it's or if they're uh, a little stronger than that. Uh. Nah, CBF. Cave of Murlocs, on we go. Is he like a consumer of their green? They have a few greens, like some really, like there's some really vibrant lime greens and emerald greens and blue greens and like the mermaid colors and stuff like that. Like there's, they have so many amazing shades I've in their range. About this. Be careful. They've even got like three or four reds, like. <laughs> I've got you, dorsal. They do recommend that you bleach first to get a more vibrant colour, but you absolutely don't have to. I don't. Um, it just turns out like darker, a little bit darker. And they give you like swatches of what it'll look like over a bunch of different natural colours so that you can kind of figure out what exactly you want for your look, which is nice. Used to back in my misguided youth, they seem to hold longer too. Yeah, Manic Panic are freaking awesome. Like, they're just, they're just they're, there's a reason they've been around for so long. And they don't have these, you know, heavily promoted Instagram presence and, do you know what I mean? They, they don't need it. They just, they've had this incredible product for literally decades and it sells itself. That's it. <laughs> That's all it is. They used to have a makeup range and stuff as well, but um, I don't think they have... They have some, a few bits and pieces here and there, but um, I think they cut off the makeup range to focus on the hair stuff. But, oh well. Venus Envy, you want to read at the moment? Ah, brilliant. Amazing. Yeah, surprising nobody. The shade that I use is Vampire Red. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising, literally nobody, but it's kind of a, it's definitely more of a pink red, more like a maroon kind of shade. Um, and obviously it's quite a bit darker because I don't bleach my hair first. Um, and I have like, uh, like hair color that's sort of on that border between blonde and brown. So it still absolutely shows up, but it's not this shock of what the hell is that? That when you like, you know, go past sort of thing. It's, it blends in as a slightly more natural color, but it still stands out amongst the the sea of, of people. I like it. I feel like it, I feel like it fits. I feel like it's the right shade for me. So I'm happy with it. And I used my last bottle last night. Uh, it is currently on my wish list, but I think I'm gonna go grab a few bottles. Um, and just stock up because I needs it. Unfortunately, the last time I tried to stock up, I bought four bottles, just under a hundred bucks worth, and the package was stolen from our uh, lobby. Um, so yeah, I opened up a police report and stuff, and they 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 did investigate it. They did the best that they could, but unfortunately, the CCTV in our lobby isn't quite in the right place and wasn't pointing in quite the right direction for them to see anything that could have happened and because it was quite a small package they couldn't see it where it was placed or if anybody grabbed it or whatever so yeah unfortunately nothing came of that but um yeah kind of you know as soon as I get the ping on my phone that there's a package I kind of rush down to grab it now I don't really trust the building that much anymore unfortunately <clears throat> but it is what it is Mmm, play words attached. Brilliant. Uh, dark brunette, absolutely bleached. Love reds, they make it so hard to switch colours afterwards. They do, they, they, everything that they touch is, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, for sure. Greens and blues uh, and purples are a lot easier to get rid of when it's time. Um, I think Manic Panic do have like a stripping shampoo that they sell as well that's designed to work with their dyes, but I've never used it, so I can't speak to its efficacy or anything like that. I just use a, um, uh, what have I, I'm at the moment I've got like a sample of a, um, of a deep cleansing shampoo that I got from somewhere, I don't know, who knows, uh, but what I was using was, uh, from, I've forgotten the brand, but it's called like Triple Detox, and it's like a charcoal shampoo, um, and it's designed, like, it's, it's, it's not something that you're supposed to use every day, it's one that you're meant to, like, it's, it's every so often to deep cleanse your hair of any product and, uh, like, build up a product and stuff like that. Build up a minerals from using hard water and, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, and so I use that once a month and I use it right before I, so I, I use the deep cleansing shampoo to strip absolutely everything from my scalp and my hair. Uh, it leaves my hair feeling like straw. Uh, and then I blow dry it until it's bone dry and then we put the dye in. And then when I wash it out in the morning, it is silky soft. Silky soft. And everything I touch turns to red. Oh, <laughs> including, like, including my hair. Like, I just, I get red hands and, yeah, it's great. When I was curling my hair, actually, I was sitting here and just, you know, pulling it through the thing and then doing the stuff. And I've noticed that there's a little rim of red on my, uh, on my curler now. And when I was like, oh no, I noticed I had ha like red all over my hands. Um, I, I didn't even notice that it was happening while I was doing it, but it is what it is. <clears throat> it's the sacrifices we make. Uh, yes, living proof. Thank you. That's the one. That is the one. Much appreciated. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to be happy with it because I I used some of the living proof stuff. I went to a um, I went to like a hair care tutorial thing. I'm talking years ago. I'm talking before COVID. Um, and a couple of the products that they had us use in that like hair care tutorial uh, were living proof. And I really really liked the way that the products worked with my hair when I was using them. But they were all styling products. Um, and so they had a little travel size bottle of the, of the triple detox shampoo. And that was like a shitload cheaper than the full size one. The full size one was like 80 bucks or something. So I got the travel size just to see if I liked it. And the travel size lasted me like six months because I only used it once a month. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I, I loved the way that it worked. It, it worked really, really well with my hair. So uh, and with the dye as well, which is what I needed it for. So I'll probably go back and buy the full size one next time. It'll last me two years. <clears throat> I'm back. Welcome back, Jack. Hello, Barry. Hello. What has happened so far? Uh, nothing. I've done Storm's Wake, Order of Embers, Valfir, Malbog, Covenant Assault, Tormentors of Torghast, Harika, and High Mountain Paragon, and nothing. Yet. Yet. Before caught red-handed joke. Oh no. Oh no. No such thing as before COVID. Look, it actually does exist. Shock horror. Enjoy your luck, Kaz. Enjoy. What mount are you farming for? Ah, uh, the Unshackled Paragon mount. Um, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called. Um, the Royal Snapdragon from the Unshackled Supplies. Uh, I'm not going to get a Paragon case today, but uh, I, I am going to gain a fair bit of exp a fair bit of reputation on my way to my next Paragon case. So, yeah, not bad. Five thirteen. Ah, wait. Attempts on. 513 attempts on what? Things happened before COVID? Are you sure? Well, I mean, considering that was 30 years of my life, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure I did something with the first 30 years of my life. Something. Not sure what, but something. Oh, 
Oh, that's all the Fathom Rays done. Perfection. Right, so we've got just up here. Oh, I don't, ah, bugger. Has COVID been about 30 years? Look, it feels like way, doesn't it? It feels like that. Ish. What if simulation? I mean, stuff still happened. It was just simulated stuff then, right? Are you kidding? I now need Fathom Flesh. I've just finished killing you guy, you lot, and now I need to kill more of you for the... It's fine. And I was so used to doing that on a Demon Hunter that I just moved around while spamming three. I'm very good at this. Not what well, look, I might have to. The rate at which this stuff drops, like, I might have to. See you next stream. See you then, meaty. Rest well. We will see you next time. Wednesday. Uh oh. Congratulations! That's awesome. Well done. So it's you who's stealing my luck today. Noted. Ah, are there any chat pals who haven't contributed your free channel points towards our Shah stream goal? Click the little fire and contribute up to 2,000 embers every stream. Can you help us? Thanks to everybody for getting involved in creating a lovely community spirit. Yep, so if we hit our goal of 375,000 channel points by the end of the week, end of the week is Sunday for me. That's that's how I define the end of the week. Um, we are going to have two consecutive streams next month, a Wednesday and a Friday, uh, that I farm Shah across all 50 of my characters. To try to get them out. So if that's something you want to see me tortured with, uh, then that is what I would suggest that you do. Contribute your stuff. You can do it by clicking the little purple campfire underneath chat. And uh, there's a banner in there that says Shah Farm. True. Just take a moment to say Chef Squad indeed! Yes, I thought Chef Squad would be a fun way to come back after surgery. Um, so for those of you who aren't know who haven't seen this yet. Um, so I have surgery on the 21st, um, and I, judging by the last surgery I had to have, so I had a, a complex extraction of a tooth, and I had a bone graft put into my jaw. So the bone graft has healed well, so I'm going back in to have an implant, implanted, <laughs> in the jaw, in the new bone that has been grown. Uh, and that is happening on the 21st of this month, which is horrifically soon. Um, I had months to prepare for the last surgery. I have like less than a month. Well, no, I had like five weeks to prepare for this one. So I'm a little bit nervous. <sighs> it's fine. Um, so after that, I know it's going to take me a bit to heal. So I'm going to take an additional, like I'm going to take the stream off on surgery day for what I hope are obvious reasons. Uh, and I'm also going to take that Wednesday off uh, just to kind of let myself rest and recover so that I can come back like full force on the Friday. Um, there will have been a new chapter story that dropped on the Wednesday, but I'm taking Wednesday off, so I'm going to jump on and do the story, but I'm not going to commit to anything beyond that. So it'll probably be a shorter stream because I'll still be in pain, I'll still be on painkillers, I'll still be healing, recovering, all that kind of thing. Probably still be eating soup. Um, so I'm not going to commit to a full stream for that. I'm just going to commit to doing the story, and then if I feel up to it, we'll do some other stuff. If I don't, then I won't that easy. Uh, and then on the Sunday, I'll be feeling probably a little bit better again. Um, you know, I will have recovered more, but I might not have recovered completely. So again, it'll probably be a slightly shorter stream. Um, I think last surgery, my first stream back at that time was a three 
two or a three, I think it was like two hours or three hours and the next one was like three hours or four hours. Kind of like, yeah. So, and then after that I was back to, to six hours. Um, but we will, we will see how I go. Uh, I'm just going to play it by ear and give my body what it needs. Uh, but yes, that is, that is the plan. And yes, we're going to play Chef Squad because I thought it'd be like, we, we tried doing six hours last time we played it and it just, it was a little bit, like, we got to a point where a lot of people were heading to bed and stuff and it wasn't quite like, it didn't keep up the, it, we didn't have the momentum to get us all the way through to six hours and that's totally okay. Um, so I think this time around having it be maybe a slightly shorter stream might be able to get us to pack it full of a bit more hilarity. But it needs water. Well, I have my, I have my bubble tea, so maybe I have to use that for, for uh, hydrates for now. Ouchie. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is he back on the line? Yay! Drugs! It's just going to be accepted so well by It was so much fun. It really, truly was so much fun. And I would like to finish the game. I'd like to finish off the, uh, like, the, the levels. But we'll see. We'll see how far we get. Do it. Brilliant. We'll do. All right. So I did that one. I can't do the world boss yet because it's not strong. I am not strong enough. Uh, let me try this one. What kind of The lamb sauce, you know. X. If you join and there is lamb, I will put you on lamb. If we get to a point, we haven't unlocked all the recipes yet. If there is lamb and you join us, I, I will put. I will put you on lamb. Lamb is delicious, isn't it, Murray? Expensive here in Australia, but like, good. We usually splash out and get a couple servings every few weeks, like every three weeks or so, just so that we have a bit of variety in what we're eating, but also because lamb is tasty. <laughs> this is a... This is a fun one. There we go. Uh, I don't have an armory link tag just because I've got 50 characters. There are too many. It'd be like entirely too many links. Um, but uh, I am Fiamma on Saofeng. Uh That's my main. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. If you're wanting to look at my collections, you can type exclamation simple armory. Um, that'll bring that up for you. Yeah. Yell at me on stream. Yeah! X, what are you doing? Cook the lamb. Precisely. Oh, okay, no, let's go out the roof. Good plan. Can't remember the last time I had lamb. Nice, good lamb shank. Oof, yum. Excuse me, we usually end up getting like lamb shanks. The uh, not lamb shanks, uh, lamb chops. Or like little lamb uh, steak bits. Um, and sometimes lamb sausages. Because, like, lamb sausages is a really cheap way to get lamb. Like, tasty lamb, but not, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Useful. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, you're around oh my god. That's hilarious. I can't believe that, Seeker. That's, that's mind-blowing. Uh, how do you find the gold making economy on your realm? I don't make gold using the auction house, so I have zero idea. 
I cannot answer that question for you, unfortunately. I don't, I just don't, that's not how I work, so I don't know. Sorry. <clears throat> um, I do, so my gold making is literally only, uh, like, the garrison gold making stuff, so I do, and at the moment it's only cards. It's cards of omens, that's it. Um, but across 50 tunes it adds up. <laughs> across 50 tunes it adds up, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, and that doesn't really involve other players. I just craft the stuff and then flip them and then vendor them. So takes other people out of the equation. Makes it a little more reliable though. Uh, I don't need to like, that doesn't need to be a demand because I can make the gold regardless. Um, so that's nice. Uh, hello, fight. Welcome back. How are you? Um, enjoy your lurk, X. We'll see you next time. You said lamb and Aussie lamb at that here for Easter. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I feel like, don't forget to hydrate is X's version. Don't forget to bring it down. <laughs> oh dear. I will make my way through the Hydrate Redemptions. Um, new Wiki Week started now. Brilliant. But then I had your area in the floods. Meant to go to the Children's Hospital with my son last week. We'll change it next week now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our basement uh, was underwater until I think yesterday. Uh, we were on generator power. We had no power for almost three days. Uh, we were on generator power until yesterday morning ish at some point. Um, and then we got mains back, uh, which is why I haven't been streaming. Oh, the sun uh, and the... Ah, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Uh, and then, yeah, so we, we did have, like, the water, the water, the, our street was flooded. Um, all the streets near us were flooded. We're pretty close to the Brisbane River. So everything was fucked. <laughs> it was just, it was broken. It was a mess. Uh, but... Uh, we are safe. The whole time we've been safe, we weren't ever in any danger. Like, we thought we might be, because the water was still rising, but it stopped before it put us in actual danger. Uh, we just, we, we lost some comforts, we lost some conveniences, uh, but in, like, all in all, that's nothing compared to what some other people have lost, so. Um, we still can't park in the building because the uh, basement is unsanitary. It's like covered in mud and sewage and all that kind of stuff because the sewage pipes burst. Um, so yeah, they're, they've got some cleaning crews in there. Not right this second because it's 8 p.m. at night, um, but today and tomorrow they're, they're cleaning up the, the basement and stuff. So hopefully, I'm hoping that we'll be able to use our car space again tomorrow night because there are cars just everywhere. There's no parking anywhere on the streets at all whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> but of course I don't want them to rush it. I want them to take their time and do a, a proper job and make it safe for everyone. So yeah. Uh, need from soon? Yes, absolutely. Disney 6, Springfield 2011 floods happened. Uh, I lived in, I think Sydney when they happened. So I was a fair ways away. Um, this was my first major Brisbane flood living up here and it was not fun. It was scary as hell having, like, I've never had to have a go bag packed ready to go in case we need to evacuate. Like, that's never, that's not a thing I've ever had to do. So, um, yeah, it was a new experience. Um, but we're all good. We're fine. Totally fine. <clears throat> Was the water wet? I don't know, I didn't go anywhere near it. What's Australia? It was just a side news, because the Ukraine news. Yeah, uh, unfortunately for a lot of us here, the Ukraine news was the side news. Because, uh, yeah, we were underwater. <laughs> um, uh, last I checked, eight people had lost their lives. Uh, countless people have lost their homes. Um, people who still have their homes standing have lost everything inside them. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mess. Um, 
yeah, it's it's not good. Um, but thankfully, uh, we we are safe. We were and are safe. Yeah. In Germany, we had last year heavy floods. It's kind of scary, hey. Not not even kind of. It's it's actually terrifying. Um, something like water that we rely on every single day, like. <laughs> it's it's kind of unbelievable. The, the just the power of Mother Nature is, oh, you know, awe-inspiring. And awe is not always a good thing, you know. Like we say, awesome to mean super great, but um, in to be in awe of something, it doesn't have to be good. Um, but it just like yeah, the walking past area, like the the route that I go on for my walks, like when I was going for a walk every day. That route's gone. <laughs> it It's not, that's underwater entirely, completely. I don't know if there's still pavement there anymore because it may well have washed away. Um, like it's, <laughs> like it, it just, mm, it's an interesting sensation. Right, what do I actually need from here? Cause I'm on account mode still. Let me fix that. While you guys watch this. Hmm. We need floating cities. <laughs> there are some places where they have them. Ah, I get the Dutch and Volkoli water since existence. Ah, oh, dear. Dear. Um, uh, Brisbane's been dealing with floods for a very long time. Um. And though these ones were bad, um, they were not nearly as bad as some of the ones we've had in the past, so I'm thankful for that too. Mm. Cities like Dalaran, if only they were possible. That'd be amazing. Okay, so I can do double fire. There's a wand I need from double fire and I have two fire in my bags at the moment, so that's good. <clears throat> Raise your eyes to the skies and observe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. <clears throat> it's kind of mind blowing to me that there was a person, a, a single person working at Blizzard who wrote those lines and then had them approved by managers, and then they got stuck in the code, blah, 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 and like here we are 10, you know, 10 plus years later for some, and those lines, that sentence that somebody wrote many moons ago is like burned into our like minds. It's, isn't it like, oh, it blows my mind. Anyway, Thor, Dano, Mu, Dupe, Fade, Death, and Neke, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Just blows my mind how much of an, uh, like, oh, why do we have one super and one not super? I'm very confused. Are we going to go through and go for that skin chest? Because I still need, um, wait, what? I, weren't they the other way around before? May, maybe not. Okay, whatever. I need a skin. <laughs> Played 19 now for a week. It's really cool. Hey, love the new zone. Animals and new mechanics. I, the new zone is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful and the, the creatures are just so cute. We have wombats. The Vombata are wombats. And I'm pretty sure there are like little baby koalas and things too. Like I just, I'm in love. They're they're gorgeous. They're adorable. Um, but yeah, so I am I'm also very happy about it. I've only done the very start of the storyline though, just because of obviously the floods and stuff. I wasn't able to get on and, and do stuff because I had no power. Uh, so on Wednesday, I'm going to go through and do two lots of storyline because like the one that's already released now and the stuff that's releasing on Wednesday. I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> okay, let's go do this rune locked chest. Mm. 
No, oh, damn it. Mr. Hunter, big burb. Love the animals so much. They're beautiful, aren't they, Koala? They're absolutely gorgeous. I really love the style. Like, the, the mechanical, but somehow still kind of organic sort of, yeah, they're just, they're beautiful. Ah, uh, but I hope your quest would last longer. I already have defeat the jailer quest. Uh, fair enough. I, I haven't seen any of that kind of stuff, so I, I know you're probably not going to head in that direction. Just letting you know, I'm not interested in spoilers. Um, please do not. But, uh... Yeah. We have seven chapters worth. That's like all I know about the story is that there's seven chapters worth. Um, so if that's what we're up to already, then there you go. But um, I have a feeling like there's. I have a feeling there's not too much storyline stuff, but the actual zone itself is going to take quite a while to unfold completely. So like doing all the research at the little, the console thing and all that kind of stuff is really going to open up more to us um, rather than just the, the stuff that's released each week. But we'll see. There's only one way to find out and that's to keep playing. That is to keep playing. Um... Uh, Zone is pretty, it's reminded me of how much I hate jumping puzzles. Fair. Fair. I think a lot of them are designed to not, like, I mean, yes, of course, there are absolutely jumping puzzles. Do not get me wrong. But I think a lot of it is also designed to not really be achievable until we get flight. Like, I think a lot of the zone has been designed with flying in mind, which means it's not currently accessible to us. Um, I do like that I invent them. Because <laughs> so much of it, I've just, I've just Dora Shadows just to, and uh, hey presto, I've got the stuff and Jas is angry at me. But uh, <laughs> I've had a lot of fun with that. But yeah, once once we get flying, it's it'll be a cakewalk. <clears throat> Another green one. Okay, there you go. Ah, oh, I love the whole zone. Kind of peaceful. Yes, did get some work done in the raid. 411 normal. Well done. Hello, West. Uh, I'm doing better. I'm uh, I'm back. Obviously, we have power now, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been one hell of a week. That's for sure. Uh, it's been one hell of a week. Oh, I must have made one of the puzzles so hard. I needed a week aura. Is that the Fugil one? Um, on day one, when we were in here and I did that one, the, the, like the third one that what's his name teaches you in, in the cave. Um, when I saw it, I just kind of lit up and I'm like, yes, finally some actual puzzles in WoW. And, uh, so I kind of took 10 seconds to sort of look over it. And then I explained to stream, like, this is what we're doing. This is, this is how to figure it out and went through it step by step as to what you need and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. I'm not sure if somebody clipped it, but if someone got at least, I know it, it took longer than 30 seconds, but I think you can have a clip up to a minute, but if I can, if I can find it, I can go back and highlight it as well. Cause a lot of people in chat at the time were like, oh my God, it makes sense now. So I was like super happy that I could share my, I am, puzzles are my thing. I, puzzles are my app, like, apart from WoW, my, my favorite type of game is, like, simulators, like, obviously, The Sims and things like that, um, but then puzzle games, like, uh, so puzzle games and simulators are kind of up there together, um, and I don't just mean The Sims, because, you know, obviously, typical girl gamer, whatever, but, um, uh, stuff like Big Pharma, and, um, uh, City Skylines, things like that, those games are amazing, just, like, so much fun. Um, and then, and then puzzle games. I freaking love puzzle games. They are my jam. And so having puzzle, like proper puzzles, every single time there has been a puzzle in World of fucking Warcraft. Like the, the uncrossing the wires puzzle came up and then there was the bejeweled thing and I'm like, yeah. And then, then we approached in Legion on Argus 
and we approach the things with the colors and I'm like, oh my God, is it a puzzle? And it's like, make orange. And I'm like, this is not a puzzle. I was really pissy. So now that we have actual legitimate puzzles, I'm so happy. I mean, granted they're few and far between. You don't encounter them very often at all. But when I do, I'm really happy about it. I haven't come across one of the Fugia ones again though, so I'm kind of sad. Just watching you. Uh. Two more weeks. My warlock, yes. Only puzzle that was hard was the lights one. That's not too bad. Ah, oh, Jay! Thank you for the recent. Did that pop up and did I just blank? I must have blanked. I'm so sorry. I <laughs> don't know what to put here. I'm so glad you're here, Jay. Thank you so much for the resub. The only one that has been a puzzle is the four notes thing. Four notes. Ah, uh, possibly click one time to disable the puzzle to rank and activate it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So the the second one, the second out of the three. Um, yeah, it's uh, yeah. The the traditional puzzle for that one is called lights. Um, as Jack was saying. Uh yeah, once you kind of, once you recognize the patterns visually, it, it becomes pretty easy, but it does take a bit of practice. Um, but yeah, and not everyone has the brain power for that, and that's okay. There is absolutely nothing wrong with using a weak aura for it. There is nothing wrong with using nine of Pokepox energy to, to just, de like, force deactivate it. Totally okay. I personally prefer to do them, because I find them really enjoyable. Uh, but, like, that's not to say that's the right way to do it or anything. My bad on it. Ah, Akron, fantastic! Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, made a click for me too. Oh, awesome! Yeah, the way that the way that the robot explained it was super confusing. Like they'd used a whole bunch of really big words, and then like I understand that they have to make it fit with the storyline, so they have to use like in-universe words and stuff. That's fine. I I get that. But it definitely made it harder. So once I actually figured out what was going on, translating it into English, I think, kind of helped. <clears throat> I need to explore it all again. Oh no! Oh no! Just really- Ah, oh, Jay, I'm- I'm flattered. That is amazing. That is fantastic. Much appreciated. Did you ever play Theme Hospital? Yes. Have you ever played Two Point? Two Point Hospital is the spiritual successor to Theme Hospital. It was made by... Uh, so Bullfrog Games did uh, Theme Hospital. That studio dissolved uh, and went, and, you know, people went to this one and that one and the other one and blah, blah, blah. But a whole bunch of the people who worked on Theme Hospital worked on Two Point Hospital. Right down to the snarky announcer over the, over the thing, over the... Um, uh, loudspeakers and the the inflated the the bloated head that you have to pop and then reinflate to the right level is all it is it is 100 percent like a sequel but like a remake kind of thing that extends apart like so if you loved theme hospital good god two point hospital like literally it's 2.0 it's like two point that's the hot yeah uh we played it on stream when it came out i played it a bunch on stream um and then people got bored of it before I did. So I changed games. Are we done? Oh, I'm done. Okay. Um. <clears throat> My English is so fun. Uh, puzzles in BFA. Yeah, but not like... Not puzzles that made you really think. At least, so as as somebody who ex like who loves puzzles and does like a lot of puzzles, they didn't really make me think. Like the the shell game and stuff like that, just kind of. It's not really a puzzle. Like memory's a kids game, you know. It's it's not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's just it's not. Not to the same level of of like requiring critical thought. As some of the puzzles in ZM require, that's all. But welcome on in, show. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Look how Josie picks some of those up. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, the puzzles, but it should not feel like a mobile game in the end. A couple of bejeweled puzzle is, yeah. Oh, well, you know, people have fun with it, and it's involved. There are a couple of them involved in secrets and stuff. So, this was supposed to be puzzles or bejeweled would be fine if it was a fixed start. It had a solution with a limited number of moves. Yeah, that's far. That's far more puzzly than like, yeah. I am listening. Then not. But I mean, even bejeweled and the the wire crossing thing, they were they were in well before BFA. That's in like it's the engineering toy and a jewel crafting toy that introduced both of those. They just it, they just grabbed that tech and used them for like world quests and stuff as well. <clears throat> uh, what add-ons do you use? Exclamation add-ons will give you a list of all of my add-ons, Caden. You break 10 reds within five moves of me, yeah. Yeah, having like a fixed solution, agreed. That'd be kind of interesting. Bone Kogath, <clears throat> fantastic. Uh, still for a week or more behind. I don't think I have what you guys are even talking about unlocked yet. Uh, well, keep in mind that I haven't done anything for a week either. <laughs> so, yeah, it's um, it was part of the first sort of day's unlock. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I got there on day one, because I've only really done one day in Corthia. Maybe two. Mm, may yeah, maybe two. But yeah, um... <clears throat> yeah, it's in the... Uh, if you just keep playing through the storyline, you keep following the side quests and stuff like that, you get access to a cave. Um, and once you... You maybe have to research stuff at the something at the uh, at the console. I'm not sure what would trigger it though, um, because it just it triggered day one for me. Ah, uh, you made all my headspace for the day. Have a good day. I enjoy all the puzzles of Band-Aid. Use the energy. <laughs> totally fair. 100% okay. And that's what it's there for. Like, if if you're having a, an off day and you all your, you know, limit on time, you can just use the energy, bang it out, get it done. But if you've got a day where you're sort of meandering through and, you know, enjoying going through everything yourself, then yeah, you can sit there and do a bit of a puzzle. I really do like that they have an option for people to take the the easy out without punishing them too too much, but still having some kind of a like you can you can skip this, but it'll cost you, but not something exorbitantly expensive. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't have to go and buy an item from a vendor that will allow you to skip a puzzle or something. It's just it's the options there. I really like that. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be saving these and not killing them. I just realized. Good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> really, I should build for games. Also, did Dungeon Keeper? Yes, Dungeon Keeper. We did. We also played that on stream. Um, <laughs> Dungeon Keeper was great. Um. Yeah, highly, highly, highly recommend. Uh, checking out 2.0 if you liked theme. There's a whole bunch of DLC for 2.0 as well um, that just, but it kind of adds new hospitals and stuff. So what I would recommend you do is if you if you want to grab the base game, grab that, finish it before you buy the DLC because the DLC doesn't really affect the earlier game too too. Much. I mean, there are a few items and things that it introduces, but you can absolutely get through it without it. You know. And that way you can space out the cost of the DLCs. It's not like The Sims, where it adds so much game-changing stuff right at the bat that you have to spend $700 right in the beginning. <laughs> First bit of the channel. Yeah, look, the, the numbers were dropping quite drastically. Uh, so... And this is also, I think it was around the time that I started kind of wanting to focus on the push for partnership. And so I looked and I'm like, yeah, the, the numbers here are much lower than the numbers for WoW. So let's... Uh, Let's shuffle it up. But that's okay. I, I definitely enjoyed it. I still have the game, obviously. So, yeah. Uh, some of them do more endless horse type stuff. Hey, Chrissy. Doing well, thank you. Much better than I was a few days back. We have power. We have aircon. The waters are receding. Everything is great. Everything is awesome. Hope you're doing well. 
Mm -hmm. Number four, I'm on the cipher table thing, I'm researching third column, first row. Don't know what you're talking about and just not recognize it. Yeah, there's a there's a point where the like you've got the the robot dude is standing at the table in the middle of the cave and there's like speech bubble things. Can you tell me about this puzzle? Can you tell me about this puzzle? Can you tell me about this puzzle? Like there's three different ones you can unlock. You gotta do them in order. Like you unlock a first one, then you talk to him again, you got a second and then a third. Um And then they can once you've done them with him, they can pop up as um like Pocket pock treasures and stuff like that. <clears throat> you wants to crab genocide 2022. Apparently, yeah. Look, I'm just I'm distracted. Not paying super super much attention, am I? <laughs> she says with a giggle. Yep, yeah, I I oopsied. I oopsied. What the world we played? Influence some of us to buy. Yeah, probably. Well, yeah, but I think that was inspired by Dungeon Keeper. Like it was the again the spiritual successor to, to Dungeon Keeper. What brings you here? Go in peace. But yeah, it was uh you gotta like you build an underground base and then you get attacked in waves and you gotta hold them off and you have like little demons that you summon and all this kind of stuff. As as minions and whatnot. Great fun. Yeah, weird. Oh, interesting. So excited to talk to people. Yeah, look, I've missed you guys. I've missed you guys, and you guys are more important than some crabs I'm meant to be saving. <laughs> so just like deal with it, yeah. Ah oh, dear, twenty-four percent in one day. That's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It's a bit ridiculous, honestly. <laughs> All right. Once I'm done with uh, Unshackled, my subjects seek to earn my favor by collecting your head. I'm going to be going to Tolbarad and doing the dailies there for the um, tokens, and then I'm going to be hitting up Islands. So if you're interested in joining me for Islands, I'm aware that they can be soloed, but it's more fun with people and it goes faster. Um, and so you can do it as one, as two, or as three people. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. If you're interested, keep an ear out. When I finish Toll Barad is when I'll be hopping on and doing islands. A turtle made it to the water. Crabs make nice cakes. They do, but I'm sure that people in chat also make nice cakes. Welcome on Intrusion. How are you going? Hope you are well. Can battles he take away? It's the frozen ones. Oh no. Uh, what am I? Captured friend. Am I supposed to be catching critters? I always keep snacks in my to see you back, indeed. Great for everyone. A week without stream was super, super strange, but you know, flooding and all. It's <laughs> Good tidings. Yeah. Something, something without power. Something, something. Yep. It's fine. Everything is fine. Ah, oh, dearie me. Oh no. Oh no. Really? Everywhere? Oh no. At least I can do it while mounted. So. Ass. <clears throat> For the Mylans, we should take one bite and yak. You want to eat people that can make cakes? Exactly! Bakers who can make cakes out of flour and sugar and deliciosity. Kaz! Come on. Now look, look. I know we end up on the topic of cannibalism frequently, but like, come on. Come on. With the potato scallop, exactly. Except not a scallop, obviously.
Sika, of course, means cake. A you know, cake. As we were talking about cakes, that's why she brought it up. So we're talking about cake. Ooh. Going well? Ooh. I'll be right here. I have a gift that I can collect in New Home. Stop it, Melbourne human. But I like potato cakes. They're delicious and tasty, especially when they're drowned in chicken salt. Nom indeed. When was Nom last used? Interesting. <clears throat> oh my god. Cannot breathe. Great if they existed. <laughs> They do exist and they are great. I'm so sorry that you're missing out on the gloriosity that is potato cakes. Hmm. There's some nice corned beef. Mm hmm. Corned beef suicide. Freaking delicious. <clears throat> oh. Catch you next time. I have two gifts to collect now. Well, out with it. <clears throat> you need me, you know where to find me. Be around. Try not to be too reckless. You need me, you know where to find me. Okay, top row we go. Just to zoom, I can unlock repeatedly and earn ciphers. I wonder if that's a bug or a feature. Which one is it, Sam? Is this scallop in Queensland? I have no idea, actually. Um, it's been a very long time since I've had a potato cake. Um, I don't think I've actually had one in Queensland, so... I'm not sure. Knowing Queensland and how backwards it is, they probably call it something entirely different. Like a potato patty or something stupid. Anyway. Good direct cases. Oh, interesting. Potato submarine. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Seiko. Oh dear. <clears throat> okay, so it's horde controlled, which means I get to do the other side as well. What do you need? Loktar. You side on top of a stone pillar thingy. I think that's a question for you, Zam. Alright, so I'm in Tolbarad. Once I'm finished with these dailies, I will be heading over to do island expeditions. This will not take too long. It will take a little bit, but not too long. I think last time it took about 15, 20 minutes. Because <clears throat> I'm doing the ones over on the main island as well, because it's all controlled currently. More commendations means mount quicker. I don't have to do them anymore. Well, I still need to check them because stupid. The dailies here are supposed to rotate. They haven't rotated in years. And there is an achievement for doing each of the dailies at least once. And obviously I didn't do it when it was current, which is really strange because I did this place a lot when it was current. Um, but apparently I didn't do it enough because I didn't get all of the dailies ticked off. 
Uh, and so I'm stuck without this achievement and the dailies have stopped rotating. So it's uh, a little bit odd. I have considered starting up a uh, like a thread on the bug report forum and just saying it hasn't rotated and then every single day making a post saying this these are the dailies that are up today and just showing that they're not rotating. Post every day until I get answers. <clears throat> Your reliance on Saofeng. Uh no, Caden. Um I'm ally I'm alliance on a month all. But again, like we explained to you last time you were here, um you don't need to be on the same server to play together. Pretty much everything is cross server these days. Uh, you can pick up extra dailies if you turn on war mode and off. Maybe achievements balked too. Nah, the achievements not balked. Um, why would it? Yeah, but if the if the dailies aren't rotating though, why would picking up extra dailies help? Nix. Uh, on then turn war mode off. But if they're not, like, if they're the same dailies every single day and they're not changing, why would changing, warp, like, that all that does is change the shard you're on, but if every single shard has the same dailies, why, how does that change, how does that fix anything? Um, reported that one, it's permanently there. Hey, Akorian, welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Just a second. Alright, what I'm gonna do is take a snip of the dailies I've got here, and then once I've finished them, I will hop to war mode and check what the dailies are. There we go. Got my snip. Uh, Alright, I'm cool, Gath. I know, you've said that a few times, Cade. Uh, different tools get the achievement of four alts while farming for the mogs. Brilliant. Um, yeah, it's just, I find it very, very strange that they're rotating on war mode. If literally the dailies have changed maybe twice in three years on war mode off. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, clearly there's still an issue that's broken there. Even if we've found a workaround, we should probably still be reporting that to Liz. Like, that's still broken. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't care about the dailies on the other side because I've got all those ones ticked off for the achievement. Uh. It's only the ones on this side that I need still. But yeah, it's still a problem. It's still a bug and it still needs to be reported and fixed. reset they will change but yeah still a bug that doesn't sound right either though apathy like it shouldn't matter where you are when the dailies reset like the dailies are going to be the same ones they, they should <laughs> it shouldn't be allocating dailies per character it should be allocating dailies 
to the realm, like not even to the realm, to the whole fucking region. They should all have the same set of dailies available to them each day. Do you know what I mean? Like that that's how every other set of dailies everywhere works. <laughs> I don't understand why Tolbarad is so broken. Uh, Wanda, Bod, Koala, Kludgy, Neke, Zam, and Death, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. It just makes absolutely no sense. Oh, it seems the region is handled more like a permanent instance, but you, I've run into other people in there before. That's the, that's the additional thing. Like, I can just run into random players in here all the time. So it, like, the instance argument doesn't quite work either. I know I'm being attempt wall. I know they're attempting to hit me. I think they'll be fine. Um, all right, we're gonna... I know I have kill quests, but I really just CBF. <laughs> I'm trying to level my bloody flag bearer. There we go, all right. Uh, I don't know why a spaghetti code. Agree with that daily. Should be the same for everyone. Yeah, exactly. That's how literally every other set of dailies ever has ever worked. Like, <laughs> so why is this one so broken? And I understand that it's such old content that it's likely that nobody, like, it's likely they don't have the man hours to dedicate to figuring it out and then fixing it. And do you know what I mean? Like, it, I get that, but it's still really annoying. I wonder when it broke exactly. And like there must have there must have been something in a patch somewhere where they changed how one particular quest worked and it broke all of these ones. Like again mentioning the spaghetti code. It's just supremely interesting. Uh, I'd be fine if the instance doesn't have anyone in it for the soft reset. Dailies we get reset seems to coincide with where I had comments. Mm. So no title, not item attached to the achieve. It's likely just not high priority, if even one at all. But it's, unless you do fucky shit, unless you swing a thing that allows you to complete a daily quest, a set of dailies more than once, which usually would be termed an exploit, right? Usually... If you found a way to complete a particular set of dailies, if you're only meant to be able to do eight dailies from a region a day, and you find a way to be able to do 16, that's an exploit. If using an exploit is the only way to get this particular achievement, that's not okay. <clears throat> mm, be a stupid way to do it. Yeah. I break my blizzard introduce the new PvP option. Uh with like war mode. When they shrunk the levels. Nah, it's been happening a lot longer than that, Apathy. A lot longer. Like we're talking years, not just with Shadowlands. We're talking like like introducing war mode's probably a, a more um yeah it, it's been it's been a long time it's okay Cade we're all new at one point it's fine is when it balked. 
So that's the release of BFA, which is when they introduce war mode. That's so odd. Like, <laughs> just, just like, how are they? I mean, I know it's a PvP zone. I get that. I understand that this is a PvP zone. But still, how the fuck does that affect dailies? I just, I do not understand. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, speaking of which, I have actually looked at the suggestions people have made on for, for gifts on my throne wish list, and there is a there is a tank top that is absolutely being added. It, it, all of these are anonymous. Um, on throne, if you make a gift suggestion. There, I don't, there is no way for me to know who has sent it in unless you put it in the notes and say who you are. So somebody anonymously has suggested a grey tank top that has a kitty with a sword on top of a d20 saying, I'm fine, this is fine, everything is fine. And I'm like, that, I need that on my body yesterday. So that's definitely going to be added to the wish list. Just saying. <clears throat> Blood and thunder. Oh, right. With honor. That's not, okay. Um, favorite character to play? Uh, my favorite class to play is mage. Uh, I've been playing a, a fire mage. I've been playing a mage since I started playing the game. I've mained a mage for 15 years, um, but fire mage is my favorite spec. That's actually the inspiration for my name, I'm Fiyama. not a paladin. Uh... Correct, I'm not a paladin. Um, <laughs> my, my name, Fiyama, means flame. It's Italian for flame. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. Uh, just going off a thread, yeah, for sure. Uh, I feel War Mode was a good addition. I agree. I think War Mode was a fantastic idea. Um, it allows people who love to play in, in PvP mode, like PvP realms, but then other people who love to play PvE realms, it allows those people to be in like guilds and stuff together. They, it, it removes a layer of restriction for people to be able to play together. And I, I loved the introduction of War Mode. I think it's a fantastic thing. Uh, really, really great. I don't use War Mode. I don't like PvP. I avoid it as much as I possibly can, probably because I am terrible at it. Uh, <laughs> but I think it was a phenomenal idea for them to introduce to make every single realm either excuse me, PvP or PvE, depending on your preference on the day. That's the other thing. There are going to be some days where you're like, yeah, I want to play some PvP. And then there are some other days where you're like, I feel like crap. I just want to get on, get my dailies done and log off. I do not want to deal with people trying to gank me. And so you can just turn it off, get your stuff for the day done. And then tomorrow, turn it back on again. No server transfers having to be paid for. And it was a phenomenal, like great change. Really, really good change. Somehow it managed to break Tol Barad. <laughs> but it was a phenomenal idea. Do not get me wrong. I, I think it's great. Like, really, truly great. Uh, but welcome on in, Scotty. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, that was you, Zam! Brilliant. Fantastic. Noted. Yeah, there are, like, so, yeah, I've got, I've actually got seven suggestions for gifts on my, on my wish list at the moment. Uh, and all of them are anonymous. <laughs> because none of them have any names in it. And I'm assuming it's because people didn't realize that they wouldn't have their names there anywhere. Um, but like, yes, you will, if, if I accept your gift, you will get an email or whatever. If you put your email address in when you submitted it, you'll get an email telling you that I've put it on my wish list. Um, but I don't know who you are. <laughs> Someone has to be in the zone of the time of daily is reset. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, look, we did that once. I'm not doing it again. I'll try the war mode thing and see what happens and um, see if we can have a giggle with it. I don't get email addresses from Throne. We said, no, no, absolutely not. No. Um, so Throne is privacy first. I don't get your billing details. I don't get your name. I don't get your address, your email address, nothing. I get nothing about you except what you put in the nickname box or what you put in the description box for the suggestions. And you get nothing about me. You don't get my address, you don't get my name, you don't get any, it's it's all about privacy, not just for me, but for you guys as well. That's why I loved the idea so much, is that it protects all of us from doxing. I can't accidentally reveal your information on stream. 
when I get a package, it doesn't have your details anywhere on it. It's all just Thrones details, um, which, yeah, I think it's phenomenal. I think it's a fantastic service, um, which is why I signed up with it. And I applied for partnership with them as well. Um, they have like a, you can become a Throne partner and there's a few benefits, like you get to test out beta things and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it just says application received. They haven't, um, <laughs> they, they haven't like, yeah. Uh, what is it? Hang on. Let me have a look at the benefits, more invites, partner badge, product feedback, beta features, and get featured on our homepage. Do you qualify? You enjoy using Throne. You want to shape the product and have your say. I mean, firstly, I do enjoy using Throne. Um, there are a few bits and pieces that I've received that I never would have even thought about buying for myself thanks to your guys' suggestions and a few things that I never would have, like, I wouldn't have ever been able to have justified getting it for myself, but you guys have been generous enough. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's opened up a whole, a whole thing of stuff. Uh, you want to shape the product and have your say? I've already done that. They've got a, um, they've got like a feedback forum type deal where you can plug in a suggestion and then you can vote on each other's ideas and then once they get enough votes they look at implementing them and stuff and I've been incredibly active uh in that thing I've cast a ton of votes I've commented on a bunch of things and all this kind of like I've been very active there uh you want to represent the brand and help spread the word I mean I have been <laughs> we talk about it literally every stream every single uh thing that I get get every every gift that's purchased goes up on my twitter and stuff I've been posting about it on instagram and in Discord, all this kind of, like it's a whole thing. Uh, and then it says, we will evaluate your application on a multitude of factors, like how many gifts you have received, how many people you have invited, how much you have evangelized the brand and more. So yeah, I don't know exactly what they mean about evangelizing a brand, but that's fine. Um, oh, Warden's Keys are underground. Good, fuck. <laughs> um, Suggested a couple of things to say. Ah, oh, brilliant. Um, if you don't want to say what they are publicly, you don't have to, because I can I can totally understand that. Um, you can if you would like to. That's fine. I'm I'm not trying to hide what's been suggested to me at all. Like uh, everything on there, I'm, I think I have. There are a couple of things I haven't followed the link, but I can kind of guess what they are judging by the like comment. Um, so if you're not comfortable saying publicly. Uh, you are more than welcome to DM me and let me know if you want to. But it doesn't, like, who the suggestions come from aren't going to affect whether or not I like the idea, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, don't, don't stress too much about it, but, uh, yes. Uh, yes, if you don't make it to get the points back. Yes, that's the thing with the community goals. It's totally free to chip in your points. And if the goal is not successful, everyone gets your points back. Someone on PvP server was convinced to be on it because the friends who got us addicted to the game were on it. Well, I'm, well not loving more PvP. I'm a huge agreed. Agreed. My very first server was PvP, and I leveled through Stranglethorn. I swore to never, ever, ever be on a PvP server again, and it prevented me from joining a bunch of guilds that I wanted to join with friends and stuff because I just I was like, no, I'm not moving to a goddamn PvP server. Um. So yeah, like, the introduction of War Mode was a phenomenal change for the game. And I wholeheartedly agree with its implementation. I think it's fantastic. Like, really, truly great. Um, I think in OCE it's a bit screwy. Because, uh, for Oceanic, because we are part of the North American realm, but we're on our own little thing, the, um, the bonuses... Uh, no, it's under this one. So, um, we don't get a bonus on Horde side. Alliance get a bonus, because part of the North, like, North American region has more Horde. On, on thingamajig, but in the oceanic region, the Alliance are more present on war mode, but it doesn't swing the bonus over to the Horde side because it goes by region and not by shard. So oh, there the are Alliance. like, sometimes on war mode, it's almost 10 to one Alliance to Horde and the Alliance is still getting the bonuses for being in war mode. That's the only thing I take issue with, is that the, the bonus implementation, specifically on Oceanic Realms, is screwed. It's totally screwed. But I, like, I don't know how that affect, I don't know how they'd change that, unless they manage to do it by battle group or something, but I don't even know if battle groups are still a thing. I, I genuinely don't know. I don't pay nearly enough attention to, uh, to PvP. Um, 
Didn't enjoy getting smashed by other factions. Did love the danger factor. Yes. That allows people to opt out of Dragon Slayer 69 camping you for three hours on his undead rogue. Yes, correct. Cataclysm on PvP server was held a quest. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. Ah, uh, there's a set of snacks instead of taking healthy lunchbox snacks from the squids. Mini cheese for the win. Yes. I have tried to not have snacks in the house because if there are snacks in the house, I, the I eat them. Well. <laughs> Until they're gone and then we have none left. Full! Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so we have we don't have snacks because I eat all of them until they are gone and then we have no snacks again. I, I yeah, look, I have self-control for some things, but then other things I just, especially when I'm stressed. And yeah, when am I stressed? Hmm. Only always. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah. So I tend to not. Ah, uh, cheese squares and crackers. Kid cheese not even as nice as slices. Ah, oh, I thought you get our email address and if I have a suggestion was from a decent comment next time. Yeah, no, definitely not. It's all very, very private. Uh, there are no dailies here. Or do I have to switch out of war mode again? Is that... I'm not in a rest area? Where's the... Is there a... Where is the rest area? Or do I have to switch out while I'm in Orgrimmar? I don't understand. I guess it's pretty live. Yes, the dot card. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, that is something that's going on the list because holy hell, like, yes, yes. That looks incredible. How did you find, where do you find this stuff? Like, seriously. The dot card thing is amazing. The vloggy stick thing, I have a selfie stick. <laughs> I actually have a selfie stick, um, but I don't use it because it's a selfie stick and like, <laughs> but I do have one, um, but I'm gonna look into that because I think it might be a bit more high tech than the one I have. SCP and PP, correct. Uh, well, I need you to cool tech under 50. Who's that? Yeah, for sure. The dot thing is amazing. Strength of was literally just max level ass hats ganking wobbies. Yeah, exactly. To point of griefing. Correct. Correct. It took me three weeks to get through STV. The quest. Three weeks. Yep. Uh, you usually rage tonight. Ah, oh, well done, Chas. Well done. Uh, like six of battle group is still 90% alliance. Yep. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I made a suggestion on the throne. I think you'll like. Okay. Eight fan suggestions. <gasps> oh, they're cute. They're cute. Have you seen my boba earrings? So Sheba has suggested little, little jars that have boba here. Let me just... Why don't I just do this? Now, obviously, um, I have two of these, so I'm just going to show you the one. But, um, so there's, like, it's tarot, right? And then on the other side, it's Thai. Oh my god, would you stop being... Okay. Hi. Okay. Super cute. I love them. <laughs> I don't know going so well, maybe someday. Uh, and when we create, I've done all the things. Well done. Well done. You're going to be a second bring in there. It's cute. They're so adorable. Adorable. Yas. I feel like someone sent you that along with a key ring. I just go, yeah, yeah. Matching key ring that I've got on my bag. Yes. To the benefit from 3D burbit earrings. I mean, they are different. They are different, aren't they? Um, so, uh, 
There's no more dailies here. I, I figure I'm supposed to turn war mode off somewhere else. Do I go back to Orc and do it? Like, I don't know how this is supposed to work. <clears throat> uh, imagine what my brain could be used for if remembered useful information. I mean, mine too, though. Mine too. Yeah, there are, there are still no dailies here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with switching war mode on and off. I that like I can't switch it off here because it's not rested. It's not a rested area. Um, wait, why am I still? Oh, right. It, it takes five minutes to. That a boy healers are needed. Am I supposed to wait here until it times out? The PvP times out? Or. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> totally fine. Totally fine. God, no, I feel the same way. My brain retains all this stupid information. dailies went back to Orgrimmar and took one mode off. Okay, so when I- so I did the dailies already, and then I went to Org, I turned war mode on, I came here and there's no dailies. I went back to Org, turned war mode off, came back, there's- there's no extra dailies. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like the first round. Cool, yeah, all right, that's fine. Um, all right. Uh, okay, so I've done Unshackle, I've done Top Rat. it's Island Expeditions time. Yay. <laughs> God, I had, I, half of the sentence was out and I get a DM from Shiba, come on. <laughs> uh, what's the latest stupid thing your brain remembers? Trying to remember stuff is the, is a, is a highway to not remembering anything. That's not how my brain works. My brain just sits there black and numpty and then offers me information when I least expect it. It does not produce anything on demand. <laughs> ah, Shiba loves AEs, yes. Shiba loves all the stuff that he can get from AEs, I think is more the... Shiba wants the mounts too. I'm itching to do it. Really? Oh my god. Memories just happened to me. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit that way. What's her name? Kane. I'm trying to remember the names of the ASMR videos I watched. My brain was like, I don't know what you're talking about. We've never seen any videos. Yeah, correct. Exactly. Baba Kiering. Latest useless piece of info for me. Yep. Oh dear. Oh dear. Is there a third who would like to come along for Island Expeditions? <clears throat> What uh, boxes do we have available to us today? Have you come to trade? Ooh, three purple ones. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's trash. One item I could possibly get from Crestfall Salvage. None of these contain mounts. None of these contain mounts. A long day. All right, let's go, Shiba. <sighs> a day when you see no land is a good day. Ah, oh, Jesus. Let's see what tune that can. I mean, if you've done them on tunes, you can. I think there's. Let me confer with my sources. 
No. I think you can actually do them from like level 10. Hey, Lucky. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's, my, it's my birthday present to myself, my curler. I love it so much. It's so useful. With a sub. Congratulations, Lucky. We had uh, some sub bombs earlier. Just a couple. Uh, <laughs> we had a, we had a, God, what even percentage did it get up to? It was this, some stupid like seven or eight hundred percent level five hype train. We've had two hype trains today. So there have been a, there's been a handful of sub bombs. Uh, so congrats. Just when people are spread, be afraid to get both around. Look, never did the table, but fair enough. Sometimes you did. You missed a handful of them. I miss them. You did. You did. That's okay. Malisha broke apart in transit from Ogrima. The rest of its parts must have washed ashore. The one that hurt? <laughs> oh my gosh. Two hype trains so far. We've only got like an hour left, so, you know. Oh, thank you, Lucky. Thank you. Shiba yelled at me that it was weeks worth of, of like, generosity saved up. And I'm like, I was away for a week, singular. And Shiba was just like, weeks. So, like, how am I going to argue with that? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Toss those free channel points into the Shah Farm goal. First goal of 2022. I can't believe that's the first one. Like, you're right. Of course you're right, because we didn't have any during January, because I was like, absolutely not. I'm not doing bonus streams in February. And then in February, I was just, I was so overwhelmed by everything. And I'm like, I don't know. I'll figure out March when I get there. No, it was, it was also because I knew that my surgery was probably going to be in March. And I didn't want to overcommit in case it was a bit messy. Um, so that's good. I haven't. But April... April's clear. So the first goal. Okay, we've got some goals. First goal for the month is the Shah Farm stream, which is the one that's up at the moment. And it's not just a single stream, it's two. So if this one is successful, there will be a Wednesday and a Friday consecutive streams in April where I go through and do Shah on 50 tunes. Yes, I am an idiot. Thank you for asking. Um <laughs> The, the next one, Mage Tower, we have Legion Time Walking coming back in April. So I am, there, there will be a Legion Time Walking stream. Yep, there will be a Legion Time Walking stream. However, if the goal next week is successful, there will be an additional stream where you all get to laugh at me while I try to do Mage Tower. I will fail, but it will at least be entertaining to you lot. Uh, third round, Dark Moon Festival. We all know that 2022 is year of the event and that Fia wants to get all the events done. Dark Moon Fair is an event. I would like to get as much of Dark Moon Fair cleared as humanly possible. That means all the collectibles, all the fucking transmog, all the achievements, everything. So if, if week three's goal is successful, um, we will be doing a, a Dark Moon Festival stream. And consider there are only two streams. There are only two streams that week, so the goal will be smaller. Same thing with the, the final week, because again, it's only two streams. Uh, secret finding stream. Um, actually, no, we might wait. We might make that one run for the full week, including um, the start of April. No, I can't do that. Never mind. Um, so yeah, that'll that'll be a smaller goal as well. Um, but, and yeah, secret finding. We, we did a secret finding stream a little while back, uh, and it was quite good. People enjoyed it, I think. Well, people told me that they enjoyed it. Hopefully the lurkers did too. Uh, but we still have secrets yet to get. So, if that one is successful, then I will have a stream in April where we try to knock out a few more secrets. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're looking at for the month of, of goals. So... 
highly recommend, even if you can't stay a whole stream, that you swing by each time I'm live. Turn, turn your notifications on on whichever platform works best for you. And each time I'm live, you can swing by, drop 2k in the pot, and leave. That's fine. I'm not going to be upset with that. Like, if you want to, if these are things that you want to see happen, then you're more than welcome to, to swing by, drop your points in the pot, and uh, and head on off and do whatever you need to do. Um, I believe it can also be done by mobile, like on the mobile app as well. So if you're out and you're doing things, you, and you see me go online, you can jump in, do do do, and then close off the app again. No big deal. Like, not a worry at all. But of course it is up to you, if those are things that interest you. If they don't interest you, don't chip in. This is how I get to know what you guys like and what you don't like. If there is something that you would like to see me do in WoW, or if there's a, a game that you'd like to see me play for a stream or something like that, like a, a, a random different game that isn't WoW, feel free, there is a, there is a feedback channel in Discord. And I am very bad at coming up with ideas and being creative and stuff. Like, I'm just really bad at that. So, if you have an idea for something you'd like to see me stream, you'd like to see as a, a channel goal, a channel community goal or something like that, um, drop it in feedback. Um, I make notes of everything. Like, anything that comes into feedback, even if it's not something I can do right then and there, um, I still make it like I've got a, I've got a spreadsheet of uh channel point like channel point community goal ideas so if someone drops one in feedback and i'm like oh that could be fun i'll add it to my spreadsheet and then next time i sit down to do my goals for april to be fulfilled in may i pull up that spreadsheet and go oh that's right such and such suggested that maybe i should pop that in this month so this is like i'm i'm here for you guys this is like i am an entertainer this is what i do so help me help you. Synth, Fade, Seeker, and Neke. Congratulations on your bonus shit. It's like reality TV. You vote for shit. <laughs> and it happens, or doesn't happen, and it's great. Mm. Shout on 50 tunes, yep, indeed. Have to contribute to- No, I could- Yeah, everyone can. Anyone and everyone, as long as you have channel points. You're golden. That's all it takes. You don't need to have been a regular, like, you could, you gain those points just by, like, lurking and stuff. So, like, yeah, absolutely. Everyone can contribute. I don't know, like, a month after your following favorite. Yeah, God. We went from literally everyday streams to just nothing. And it was so jarring. It was so jarring. Um... Weeks, yeah. Indeed. Make it a hundred k tonight. Look, we're close. Ninety seven k. Ninety seven k is very, very close. Eight doubloons. I have a total of nine. Oh, good. Not that I can do anything with them today. Anyway, none of the boxes on offer offer me a mount. What? I'm, I'm, I'm angry at this. Um. You should, uh, like I shouldn't play any of my tunes. Yeah, it'd be hilarious though. You guys would be laughing your asses off. <laughs> Not with Mage Tower, you can't. No. No. Uh, Mage Tower is a solo experience. You cannot go in there as a group. Each spec, each, not each class, each spec has its own challenge. And there are seven different challenges. Oh no. I put my fork in the sauce. So like... I, d I don't know, because I'm, I'm pulling this out of my ass, but like if you've got a blood DK has, you know, uh, scenario one from a tanking perspective, but then a holy pally has scenario one from a healing perspective. Do you know what I mean? Like it's... Seven different scenarios, but all adapted to different specs. But it's an, it's a, like an ultimate solo challenge. Like it's not something you can get carried through. Mm. 
still mount farming. As always, Mr. Linda, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back. We hit the goal early. I shut up. <laughs> what do you contribute towards? Yep. Be Linda. <laughs> back to another set of Rimworld again. I can't get Rimworld anymore. It's been pulled from sale in Australia. Because the console version um, has been rated, uh, uh, like rating withheld or whatever it's called. And so it affected the PC release as well. I don't think I have the game. Um, but if I don't have it, I can no longer purchase it. Um, Chef Squad! Does Fear have a spreadsheet? Always. It's bad. Entirely contributed to the goal. No, I can you please? Hero. You guys are great. This is hilarious. <laughs> 100k. My lord. You lot. Take it you really want Sha stuff. Sha farm. Um, campaign manager does it again. Yes, refuse classification. That's the one. Not withheld. Refused. Thank you. Yeah, RC. Mm. Hey, Rum. How you doing? Yeah, nah, I, uh, look. Mage Tower is gonna be held. Look, I, want, I will eventually get there. There is a mount at stake. Uh, <laughs> but I will, it will take me uh, a while to get there. But hey, you guys might have some fun watching me fail. Hardcore. Wish maybe if a legendary click. Fantastic! Well done! Congrats! Nah, sniffle. <clears throat> 103,000. My loud. Louder, louder. Here's your current content. Brilliant. Hope you enjoy it thoroughly. So what do we do if I get a mount? What if what if a drop mount drops from islands? What do we where do I go next? What's next on the list? I can dream, okay? It's not gonna happen, but I can dream. Um, so on a 40, baby on a 70. Two, da, 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 baby two, na, 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 na. Venthyr Assault, Necrolord Assault, Night Fae Assault, High Mountain Paragon, Wayblade and Cohen, sorry, Unshackled Paragon, Order of Embers Exalted, Storm's Wake Exalted, Malbog Corthia, Promotion. Yeah, I don't have the Meat Wagon. It's for the Warcraft 3 Reforged um, purchase. Uh, I looked at getting it the other day and I'm like, I do not have $90. <laughs> the only way I can justify that is if I stream it. Um, and even then, it's still going to be difficult to justify. Uh, that's for the, because the um, the meat wagon comes with like the, uh, uh, like special edition or whatever. Digital deluxe or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm like, oof, e ouch. Uh, Hell Screams Reach Exalted, which is the Tolbarad. That's what I've been working on. Actually, I didn't even check how many currency I have now. 138. Okay. I still need 165 um, to get to the mount. So at least I'm not stuck in islands while I could have been buying a mount. Um, <laughs> uh, Valfia, Harika, Tormentors, Islands, followed by Escaped Wildling, Corthia. So that sounds like the next thing I'd have to do is get my druid into Corthia. If I got something to drop from here, I have to get my druid into Corthia. Buy, buy it for you, true. Oh my god, that's right! Battle.net has a wish list now, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Add all the freaking pets I don't have too. That'd be entertaining. Make it a lot easier for you to see which ones I do and don't have, because you keep asking. Um. <clears throat> uh, then oozing Necro Ray Egg, which is actually up at the moment. There are two of those that I don't have. I think it was up at the moment. It was up the other day when I looked. Might be gone now, though. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gone. 
Bugger! Oh well. It must have been the one that expired last night. It's okay, once that pops up on the list, every time, every time we hit Monday and there's a, there's a Maldraxxus cage up. Blast through it on four tunes. Hope, beg for an egg. Pet unboxings? I mean... I don't see why not. Welcome, traveler. Oh dear. 105k, my goodness. That's followed by Baradin Ward Baradin's Wardens Exalted, which is the equivalent of the Hell Screams Reach, so I wouldn't be doing both of them. Archivist Codex Tier 6, so I could rep grind. Service Metal, but on Alliance side, and I don't have any on Alliance side. So I could farm them on Horde. Wild World Cracker. Which is Kyrian, so I'd have to get another tune into Corthia. Um, and then Honey Back Hive Exalted, doing laps looking for honey. Hundred and seven K. Good lord. You guys really want to see me suffer, don't you? Mm-hmm. Give me nine point two mounts on there soon. Yep. Uh, once, uh, once an update's pushed. There hasn't been an update since January 24th, and I'm, so I'm wondering if, like, because there would have, I, there was supposed to be an update roughly when the patch launched, right? So I'm, because there, there's usually a, an update once a month around the same time, so I'm, I'm thinking Shujin might have, like, held off for a couple weeks, or maybe even just skipped that particular one so that the next update we have will push them all. But I mean, it's like my my highest one that was so on a 40 is 21 percent and the on a 70 is 11 percent. I don't know that 11 percent of people like the the daily the frog from the main city, like the main town where you do like the seven days worth of dailies thing. Probably that'll probably jump pretty high up the list. But by the time the update goes through, I'll probably have that one already because I am actually working on that. I think I'm up to day five as of tomorrow. So like the rest of them, I'm not sure they're gonna jump up that super high because everyone's gonna be going for it. Like, of course, as soon as mount making unlocks for a person, they're gonna be trying to make as many as they can, but they're probably gonna be going for different ones because everyone has different tastes. So I still think that they're probably gonna only be, you know, two or three percent of all profiles that have each individual mount, if that makes sense. So I think it'll be a little while before they get like super high up the list, but they'll definitely start climbing. I'll have a, I, I'm, I have no doubt that I'll have one or two of them at least on my first page. I'm <clears throat> meeting the goal, indeed, indeed. Delayed a bit to update for tier plus mounts, maybe. Um, well, because data for Azeroth doesn't do they? Does it do tier really? The thing is, some of the recipes are a lot easier to get than others. Probably jump half faster. Oh, absolutely. I I agree wholeheartedly with that. Um, it's just a matter of like, there are going to be some people who, if they know where that that one drops, they're going to go get it, or they're going to camp it until it drops. But others aren't going to care so much. Like they'll grab it if they walk past it, but they won't go and actively hunt it out. You know. <clears throat> There are a lot of people who will be far more focused on trying to gear up than they are trying to to camp for a, dro a recipe drop or hunting out a particular treasure to get. Do you know what I mean? They'll be running myth mythic classes instead, um, and that's like there's nothing wrong with that. It's different styles of play, but we'll see. We'll, uh, there will definitely be some that jump further up the list than others. You are 100% correct. I'm just not sure they're going to jump to the top of my list. Um, they need to be at least 10 or 11% of all profiles for them to be getting up onto that first and se first or second row. <clears throat> like my first page, the lowest one on my first page is 6.5455%. And that's still a lot of players. But we'll see. 
you'll know when there's an update because you all of you no matter where in the world you are are going to hear my cry of anguish when I have to resort what I'm doing each day, each Mount Farm Monday. <laughs> <clears throat> Honestly, once I unlock the uh, ability to get the mounts from ZM, I might shuffle things around and start actually aiming for the ZM ones first. But I, uh, like, see, there's that. I, I want to do that so I can get the current ones first, you know? But then there's this part of me, it's like, I've been grinding out for these Paragon mounts for such a long time. To just drop it and shift focus feels like I'm abandoning it. Feels like I'm giving up. You know? It just, it doesn't, I don't know. A big mount update. I just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, about once a month, Lucky. Roughly once a month, you'll hear me just, like, screaming. It's when the percentages have updated and it's reshuffled the order of the mounts I'm supposed to be getting. So API limits everyone's simming it again. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You're probably not wrong. Are you ready for the epic journey? Can you taste the salt in the air? Now you are home. Two hundred and thirty-five mounts to go. Bah! I was under two hundred. <clears throat> Got to get back under two hundred. I I kept like I stayed ahead of the game last patch. We did. We we counted how many mounts were gotten and how many I got. And I got like I think I ended up getting twenty more mounts that were introduced in nine one and nine one five. So like I'm ahead. But I'm st I've got a whole ton of really difficult ones to get left. This bucket of bolts can't fight, but it can still explode. Gotta <clears> give <throat> what we need to get it up and running. <clears throat> I really hope that next week at least one of the caches can drop me a mount. <laughs> this is so this this is so bad. I feel like I don't I have zero chance. Like I'm grinding for doubloons, but I can't even spend them. Makes me so sad. Like, I don't even feel like it's worth opening the satchels yet. <clears throat> oh no! That's hilarious. Yeah, I've seen a couple of people around and I'm like, wait, that's, wait, what? Like, Jess, is that you? What? No. Oh. It's kind of entertaining. Oh, wait, hi. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Jess is, um, uh, he'll be on Jess Jutsu at the moment. Yeah, Jess Jutsu. Ooh, I have a friend request. on the monk. Just so like everyone else pronounces his name. It's funny because um like for a good long while there everyone else calls him jazz. As in like jazz hands, right? Jazz. But I called him Jas because Jasereth. It's not Jasereth. It's an S. 
And so I called him Jas, and I was the only one who did it. But now that I've grown somewhat, <laughs> and there are so many more people who only know Jas because of me, I think we have now, people who call him Jas may now outnumber the people who call him Jazz, which is kind of hilarious. Something, something, influence. Always forget Nightfay has a built in slow fall now. Oh dear. That could be kind of awkward if you're trying to fall down quickly. Okay, I have a few redemptions I should probably do. <clears throat> A few. <laughs> and I need an emoji with jazz hands. I mean, I reckon I've got a couple of slot. Hang on, let me just double check. Because I have some things to do. Oh no, we've got plenty of open slots. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Wet hands emoji. Damp. How would you put that in a little picture, though? That's really cool. No oh, dupe. <laughs> Welcome to Jazzercise with your host, Jazzereth. Oh my god. Oh my god, I would pay so much money to see that. Holy shit. <clears throat> no jazz hands with a water droplet coming off. Like a left and a right. Jazz and a leotard. Jazz would rock a leotard, not gonna lie. You are nearly there. Just keep your heads down for a little longer. Exactly, dupe. Yeah, have like the one on each side, but make them wet. <laughs> the tiger striped bandanas. Oh no. Oh no. Hey Jas, how distracted are you by raid? Do you care to comment? <laughs> Keep in mind guys, if Jas does comment and he is uncomfortable with this line of conversation, please respect that and uh, and cease. Cause consent is fun. Verbal spec is all I'm sure of. <laughs> Oh dear. <clears throat> we are done. Oh. Hey, take a we are done. The when we swing by. Welcome, traveler. <laughs> Three doubloons off. Oh, does one of them actually have a mount for you? Mine are all being bastards. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Three mounts. Oh my god. How many do you have, Apathy, out of the nine? You have zero bullshit. You have. I've seen you have a mount drop, haven't I? I could have sworn you've had a mount drop when, like, didn't you get the Island Thunder Scale or something? Or am I on drugs? I mean, I'm not on drugs, but like, I could have sworn. No idea. I just chipped in. I'm I'm so thankful to both of you, dupe, and I'm gonna set it up not tonight. I'm gonna set it up tomorrow. Um, oh, actually, maybe I should set it up tonight and see if I sleep better. 
but I will absolutely, you will hear all about it on Wednesday. Do not you worry. <laughs> Wednesday's stream. Fear talks air purifier. I've got three. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, the surf jelly, that's it. Okay, so you got one. You got four. Why do you both not look? Let ATT count for you. <laughs> Don't use your brains. Use your add-on. Come on. <laughs> A purifier affiliate? Indeed. Yep. Indeed. Maybe I need to become one of those, like, Amazon affiliate people so that when I have stuff, like, when I, when I get stuff from Throne from Amazon, I can be like, buy this and get, and, and, like, it's awesome. I have one. You bought it for me. Now buy one for yourself and give me money from it. Like, <laughs> oh my god. So bad. So bad. Uh, Mountain Shiva, if any man deserves a mighty steed, surely they are the man. Exactly. Like, I'm sure. She scares and confuses me. I'm a simple minded Shiba. I can tell you, like, if you have ATT, I can show you where to click to find out. Like, I can step you through which parts to click on to get to the, the answer. ATT is enormous. Like, it is, it is quite a large add-on and it's very overwhelming. This is why I have, like, my, like, Mount Farm Monday and Transmog Sunday and, like, do you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I keep things separated. <laughs> Oh, Jas, that reminds me, if you're actually listening, um, I we have two more photos to take for step one. I totally forgot, but we've got another two shots to take. I was thinking about my socials today, because good lord, I need to plan some of that stuff, but um I need uh, I need some things. <clears throat> I have never seen Wagan this feral before. Out of range. I'm on top of it, for goodness sake. I was so... I was like, I'm going to keep up with the hydrates tonight. And then X dropped 30 in one go. How am I supposed to keep up with that? Big ones. They really are, aren't they, Shiba? They're so strange, and I don't like it. <laughs> Got about half the ship left to fill. Keep your eyes <clears> on This rat bag. Oh my god, I haven't heard that word in such a long time. You are absolutely correct, Seeker. X is a rat bag. I love that, it's perfect. tomorrow night. It's International Women's Day. Tomorrow, actually. International Women's Day and uh, the pub's doing something special. Box of chocolates, complimentary bubbles, and free garlic bread. So I'm going to the pub. <laughs> Get me a tasty dinner. For you, some reasons. One, I was like, "Huh?" Oh, the hitboxes for the big ones, the the large size step ones. The hitboxes are a bit strange. Yes, correct. <laughs> I love that. 
That's awesome and hilarious. That is yep. all we need. Time to shove off. <laughs> We're shoving off. Why is it still counting up for Risen Mare? Don't I have the Risen Mare? Wait. No, I don't. Oh, it's counting up for pets as well. And the toys, that's why. They had your free garlic bread? Oh, hell yeah, they did. And then I saw complimentary bubbles and a box of chocolate, and I was like, I like chocolate. <laughs> chocolate is one of my favorite treats. Congrats on the hat, Apathy! Hmm. Exactly. Everyone loves free garlic breath. Like, how how can you say no? <clears throat> And axe! Ah! Brilliant! Wonderful. I've gotten nothing today. Um, Azerite and uh, sacks of plunder. No pets, no transmog, no toy toys, no mounts, nothing. Nothing at all. Not a single thing. But that's okay. The lucky earrings must still be recharging. Clear skies! Um, I just want to doubt it, but just in case. Oh, if there's anyone left to contribute to the channel point goal. <laughs> Violence has resolved more conflicts than anything else in history. Let's add another to the list. Hey, Mikey, how you doing? The boss is not giving me any loot. Do something. Uh, I already did. I killed it and I got a hat. Which might I add? is the first hat I have had since 9.1 launched. I'm not even kidding. Um, so when 9.1 launched and my best in slot legendary changed, I made my new best in slot legendary. I said, cool, now I have it. Now all I need is a hat to drop so I can replace my current helm and then I can put my new legendary on. Yeah. First world boss killer 9-2, my first hat. My first helm since 9-1. <clears throat> so yeah, 259 helm for fear. I'm pretty happy with that. But I need a new week or it to help me track some king's blessing because I'm very bad. Uh <laughs> didn't get washed away me too me too how's it all going yeah not too bad um it's still we're still not quite back to back to pre-flood normal uh yet um there's like cars everywhere on the streets because if all the all the apartment buildings around here all the basements are flooded so there's nowhere for anybody to park um our basement is being cleaned currently um, so we're just waiting for that to, to do. Solstice Dano, Neke, Death, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, this, this one, I am going to start another battle, but we might start this one early. So make sure you get your units placed, like, as soon as the alarm goes off each time. Um, so we're back on mains power, uh, which is good. Uh, we've been on a generator up until about yesterday, uh, which means, like, which meant I couldn't stream, um, because... The, the jet, like, it's just not enough power generation in a generator for a whole building, uh, to, and it's with all this kind of stuff going on, I just, I do, I use a lot of power. Um, so, 
yeah, unfortunately I wasn't able to stream uh, until today. It's my first day back and I'm glad to be back. Uh, but yeah, it was it was all a bit scary. Um, I've never had floods happen anywhere near me before, so having uh, a go bag, like an evacuation pack ready to go in case I needed to get out at a moment's notice was really freaking scary. Uh, not gonna lie, like I was, I was anxiety through the roof. I was very uncomfortable with the whole situation, but luckily we were able to stay put. Um, I learned how to turn my, uh, I learned how to turn my chest freezer into a makeshift fridge without power. And <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a whole time. Um, uh, I learned a lot and uh, I had a lot of sleep, like a lot of sleep, which was kind of good. Um, apparently my body really needed that. But, um, and a lot of stress eating, <laughs> a lot of stress eating, uh, that's, I, I, comfort food, that's what I do, that's what I, you know, when I'm stressed I, I turn to food and it makes me happy, uh, so, yeah, but, um, we're, we're starting to kind of get back to normal, trying to settle everything down a bit and, yeah. So I'm, I'm doing okay. Doing well. I'm doing okay. Sorry if that was far more information than you were expecting. I am kind of been word vomiting a bit lately. I, I'm thinking it's probably something to do with the stress. Uh, but yeah, I'm. Thank you for asking. Thank you for your concern. The hull is full and fell the sails oh, I got a tongue lasher, which is a pet I already have. Good. Uh, okay, thank you. Just crafting Zerith Waters Mounts. Hey, so and I being the newest. Congratulations. How are you? Yeah, getting there. Getting there. Thank you for asking. Glad that you're well. Bonus shit. Yay. From Northern Rivers and we got hit hard. Yeah, I'm on the Brisbane River. Uh, and we were half a meter off the 2011 levels. <laughs> uh, I wasn't here in 2011, but it was not good. A day when you see no it, was, it was not good. good um... Doing better. Did you get a heartbreaker? No. <laughs> 1600 attempts total. Next year. <laughs> Next year. Oh, I'm just, I'm just glad you're back, even though I just like in chat. My PJ is like a responsible adult. I love that though, Lucky. I'm really glad that I can be a comfort person. You know, like if I'm if I'm the person that you listen to when you get into your PJs and you're all comfortable and you're safe and secure and you watch slash listen to me. I'm part of your safety bubble, you know, and that I'm honored that like the fact that people feel that I'm a safe enough space to include me in that kind of like self-care, it means, it means a lot to me. Um, so that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad to be back as well. Honestly, I was a little bit nervous. Like I was like, I've not streamed in like a whole week. It feels weird coming back. Do I want more time off? Do I like, and I think in future I am going to take actual time off properly. Um, maybe not a whole last week, <laughs> but um, moving forward, I think I will add more like days off to my schedule, not just for surgery, <laughs> um, but like an actual day off here or there. Cause it was honestly quite nice to like, just curl up on the couch with a crossword puzzle book and, um, you know, Jas playing Pokemon and me just every so often going, what, what's a four letter word for blah, 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 blah. Do you know what I mean? Like it just, it was, it was chill and quite relaxing. Although there was a lot of stress going on. Um, I was also trying to distract myself because I only had so much battery and I couldn't charge my power packs and I only had so many power packs <laughs> that I could go through to charge my phone. So it's not like I could sit there doom scrolling on Reddit, you know, like I, I couldn't do that. Um, so I had to find things to occupy my mind and like, it was, it was nice to just chill and just be, and then go for walks. God, we've been, we've walked so much. We just walked around everywhere so much. Um, I will, I will have to go, I will have to dig in to my inbox and find, you know how if, oh me, you might not know, if you have, if you've got a Fitbit, um, every week, your, your Fitbit account sends you like your weekly summary of like your steps each day and, and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, I will have to find my summary email from last week 
to show you the number of steps I did each day because good lord. Good lord. Um, we went on a walk pretty like every day. Every day we went on a walk because there's nothing else to do. And so we had a walk around and we, we had a sticky beak on where the water levels were on all the streets nearby and, and all that kind of stuff because there was literally nothing else to do. Um, so yeah, it was a, uh, it was a whole time. Oh, I haven't updated that yet, Zam. Crap. Okay. Um, give me a minute and let me, where's the bot? Eh, eh. Uh, this one. Done. There you go. Try again. Um, sad panda. Me too, Grum. The saddest of pandas. Like, I, we stayed up until it was like 3.30 in the morning. And I was just like, why? <laughs> I was so tired. And then I woke up like four hours later and rolled out of bed and crawled into my chair and logged on and did payroll. Like, I, because it was work day. I was destroyed. I was utterly destroyed. Opening surely just giving you a backlog of unused words from last week is exactly, exactly. Although if you ask Jazz, um, I probably talked just about as much as I usually do on stream. <sighs> Thought about narrating the WoW books. I would love to, but they're not in the public domain, and so me doing something like that would be um, violating their IP. Um so I and I I can't afford to do it just as a like a passion project for free. Like I'd I'd have to make some kind of income from it, and I wouldn't be able to sell my audiobook version because it's not my IP. Uh, it's not I don't have the rights to to the book or anything. Um, but hey, if they approach me and ask me, like hell yeah, absolutely, I would love to. Uh, but um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not able to do that. Um, yeah. Uh, words of the younger generation. You do. Aw, Crumb. You're so sweet. Thank you. 100% I listened to the words. I was trying to unwind. Have some rough days. Ah, oh, definitely company presents. Oh, you're so welcome, Lucky. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate that so much. Um, there you go. I fixed it for you, Zam. I know. It's still. It's so sad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why no? Why no heartbreaker? Mm. Next year. Next year. I did also notice um, I was I had to grab some clips out for a paid opportunity that I had just before the power went out and everything. Um, I had a paid opportunity that I needed to dig out a couple clips for, and I saw. I saw. Um, firstly. It is amazing how many clips I have that do not have swears in them. Not many. Um, <laughs> uh, but secondly, I saw that I I was clipped uh, speaking about if I was able to become full time a full time streamer, and I could still afford a second WoW subscription that I would make a second account and fill it with fifties. So that's fun. Ooh, I got a shade feather hatchling. Another pet I already have. Brilliant. Good. I suppose you're able to find any. I found two. <laughs> I found two. Um. Yeah. I only needed to get two. So once I found the two, once I found two, and I was happy with the content and. And the fact that there were no swears, I just kind of stuck with those because I know it was going to be a little more difficult to. Yep. <clears throat> I did say clip that MFs, and you did listen. You did. I have a feeling that one's going to come back to bite me. But hey, if I can manage to become full time and be able to afford two hour accounts, like dream come true, much. <laughs> 
like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be riding so high on cloud nine that I'm not going to care how much leveling I have to do. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding. Ah, <sighs> eleven fifty, and we have made one ten. We did we Jesus. No, well mine says one hundred and nine k. Mine says one hundred and nine. Look at look at these. Look at this. I love my cola. My god. I still need to figure out how to make them a little more casual rather than like super springy what's it's, but um I'll figure it out. Oh, 11:50 and we have made. Okay, good. How I only read the second half of your sentence apparently. Go me. Well done. We'll get the I am a noob. Dragons do indeed. They do indeed. here for the night. <clears throat> I'm so confused. <laughs> what are you- what? I'm so- why- Oh, are you waiting for someone to contribute? Is that is that what's going on? Right. Okay. Good. That is ridiculous. In one night, like, good god. Good god. Someone's gonna drop in the pot. You reckon? You reckon? Okay. Well, what Seeker is talking about? Those of you who are hanging out and lurking. Uh, is the community challenge. Uh, if we get to 375k by the end of the week, that's channel points, it's totally free to participate, um, I'm going to, in April, do two streams in a row, um, doing a Shah Farm. And over the course of those two streams, I will do 50 five zero characters versus Shah, in hopes of getting a mount. Um, if the mount drops, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but look, we'll figure it out. I'll probably flip. Um, <laughs> uh, but what Seeker is hoping for is one more person to drop either the max of 2k or a, a, a group of people dropping a cumulative 1,150 into the pot to get us to 110,000 points contributed today, which is ridiculous. That's 55 people worth of the max 2,000. Like, that is incredible in one night. That's ridiculous. Unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, so if you are interested, you can click the little purple campfire. There you go. Underneath the chat. And there's a banner that says Shah Farm in there, and you can click that, and then you can contribute as much as you'd like, up to a total of 2,000 max per day. <laughs> 111 thousand oh and another one 113 thank you so much guys much appreciated that is ridiculous i am gonna have to make these challenges more difficult i think like if we can if we can hit this even without the 12 if we can hit this by friday I am going to have to make this more difficult. But yeah, if you have a suggestion for some fun things I can try in WoW or other games you'd like to see me play, anything like that, um, feel free to jump into Discord. It's discord.gg forward slash Fiamma. And uh, there's a feedback channel and you can drop your ideas for channel point goals into that channel. Uh, and I can keep them in mind for future months. Because, uh... Look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really bad at coming up with stuff sometimes. 
Sometimes. This time around was okay because we haven't done goals in a while, so like I could reuse some that we've had earlier. Um, but like when we run out of secrets, like <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> <clears throat> Just ban me from no, never. Oh, it's off, Lottie. No difficulty. Need my embers for sound commands. <laughs> we have enough sound commands. My God. Can we just also appreciate the uh, the extension for playing sound commands and how much it contributed towards my my dentistry last month because of that stupid paladin sound command? <laughs> yep. Yeah, look. Uh, not gonna lie, it was it was quite good. I'm not a paladin. Uh, correct. I, I, I'm out of bubble tea as well, so I'm just gonna have to refund the rest of these hydrates. Luckily, I have a reject all and refund button. Did that already. Perfect. That's why I think maybe fear is a little bit paladin. I mean, I have a t-shirt, I have a paladin t-shirt on my wish list, on my throne wish list. So like, look. So I need more sound commands. <laughs> ah, hello, gold. Good morning to you. It is currently 9:58 p.m. in uh, on on Monday night. Monday night in uh, in Brisbane. So it is a good night here, but good morning to you. What are you farming at the moment? Island expeditions. I would like any of the three mounts. I do not have. <laughs> Shiba, I don't think threatening arson is going to get you a mount. I'm not sure that that's how RNG Jesus works. At least her teeth are. Yeah, look. I know! How awesome is that gold? How amazing. I'm I'm so happy to be working with, with Blizzard with the launcher and everything. It's been it's been one hell of a journey, and I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Meeting so many awesome new people. It's freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome on into chat. Uh, just go back to raid, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have a stretch that I did, and I'm straightening my back for my posture check. Into playing where after you're out feels good to be back play. Oh great! I'm so pleased that you're having fun with it, Gold. What are you enjoying most? Like what? What? Like what do you do? What is your? What is your? Uh, thing. I'm very bad at words. Uh, <laughs> what is the part of the game that you enjoy the most? That that draws you in the most? Like you know, you got raiding and mythic plus or PVP or collecting stuff or like what's what is your jam? What makes you love WoW? Making gold! Ah! For next expansion! Amazing! Another gold maker! Fantastic! Brilliant! I have a lot of gold making friends. I guess you'd call them colleagues. Like streamer people who, who do gold making and stuff. I'm, uh, look, I'm definitely an amateur gold maker at best. Uh, but I, uh, I have enough to get by. So I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. 
How are you finding the new patch for you? I'm enjoying it a lot. I haven't had much of a chance to get into it, considering that I was, like, out of WoW for a week because of the floods. Um, so I didn't have power, <laughs> um, so I couldn't, I couldn't do anything, uh, which is why I wasn't streaming. Uh, but we're all safe, uh, and the generator has been switched off. We're back on mains power now, which is great, which is how I'm streaming. Um, and yeah, so it's, uh, happy to be back. And yeah, no, I'm, I'm enjoying what I have, what I have had the, the chance to do. I have enjoyed, um, on Wednesday, uh, which is be my next stream after today. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to hop on in and do this week's story because I haven't managed to do that because I haven't had power, haven't had the ability to play. Um, so we're going to do this week's story and what's releasing on Wednesday. So two two chapters um, in in one stream on Wednesday, uh, which will be good fun. I'm really looking forward to doing that. So yay! Well, I try, try, of course, gold. I mean, all oh, that's the best we can do, right? We try. I mean, I'm a completionist, so I try to get, I try to collect stuff. Iron Jesus doesn't always uh, play along, uh, <laughs> but I try. <laughs> I do my best. Uh, as long as we're having fun, that's what matters, right? It's a video game. Having fun is like priority number one. So as long as we're enjoying it. Eventually, our and Jesus will let us have our way. That's all matters indeed. Yes! Agreed. Oh, how long have we got on the... Right, eight minutes. So when this one's done, which is going to be now, <laughs> uh, we're going to start up our battle early. And I'm going to start wrapping things up because I am tired. It's my first stream back, and I am already, like, passing out. Good. All right. So, uh, this button. I am aware. Oh, it is set to... It is set to start battle early, yes. Good. Is we died? Oh, Lord, yes. Sleeps in chat. Thank you so much, Seeker. You too. And we will see you on Wednesday for more campaigning. See if you get to 375 on Wednesday. I have to start off with unusual words to my gaming TV. It's going for me. Well done, Crom. Well done. Na 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 na. Uh, but yes, to everyone who has suggested a gift on my throne wish list, I will have a look through those tomorrow and uh, jump on in and um, I have a look at those and, and pop them onto the uh, onto the wish list. If you left your email in there, you will get a. Uh, You'll get an email back if I've popped it on the wish list. Uh, make it to at least 200. Oh, hell yeah. 200 is too easy, Seeker. Come on, 250, 300. Even 220. I believe in you. I believe in you. You'll get there. <laughs> oh, you are so good at what you do. My gosh. My gosh. Porky day. What are we doing? Congratulations to Wanda, Zem, Synth, Zam, Thor, and Death on all of your bonus shit. Good job. Alright, what are we... Maybe here? What is... This does not appear to be World of Warcraft. I am a confused person. No, 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 no. You snooze that. Um, all right, we're gonna... I'm 
gonna go here. Okay, um... Do you reckon we'll get an expansion this year? No. Do you think we will time jump again at Shadowlands years as fast as Azeroth years? Shadowlands a thousand years is like two years in Azeroth. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't think that anyone knows, except maybe Blizzard. Maybe. Um, I mean, I'm, I know that they'll have next expansion planned, and probably the, the expansion after that, like, skeleton sort of planned and plotted. Um, but I don't think we'll get an expansion this year. Uh, like the 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 announcement to launch the time frame is way too tight way too tight for it to launch this year um they're not going to launch it right before christmas um because not only like that's just not fair to the developers it's not fair to their staff because staff need to be on deck like all hands on deck for launch so that when the problems arise they can be there to fix it and over the holiday breaks thanksgiving christmas that kind new years that kind of stuff that's not fair that's not fair. They deserve time off too. They're human. They they deserve that. They work their asses off. Um, we all need those kind of breaks. Um, so I think the absolute earliest we'll be looking at will be February. But I don't think they'll do it in February because like look at look at this launch. They launched it the day after uh, Lovers in the Air finished. They know that that event is a big draw for a large section of their player base. Collectors are actually a pretty large section of the player base. Um, so, like, late February, March is, like, I reckon the earliest that they'd look at doing it. I understand that that's a one-year patch, but we've had a lot longer than that. <laughs> Plus, we're probably going to have a 925 somewhere in, like, you know, August, September, that kind of area. I don't think we'll get an expansion. Like, look, I have no inside information. None. Zero. Zilch. Uh, I could be wrong. That's okay. I'm happy to be proven wrong. Uh, but... I, I just think it's not enough time for them to announce it. Alpha, beta, PCR, pre-patch, launch. That's not enough. It's not enough time. Not to allow for enough testing and enough feedback and enough tweaking and all that kind of, like, I, I just, especially given this new era of super open communication and all that kind of and listening to feedback and providing reasons as to why this won't work and blah blah all that kind of like that kind of stuff um i think that they'll want to give themselves more time plus considering the fact that all like this expansion will be developed entirely from home mostly not obviously there'll be people working from the office and stuff like that but this is the first expansion that has been done start to finish during covid times um, and that's gonna that's gonna fuck things up. There's there's no two ways about that. So I I don't think it's gonna be this year. Um, I would be fine to be proven wrong. It doesn't bother me. Like I wouldn't be upset if it was this year. I'm not gonna be upset if it's next year. Um, but I, I don't I don't think it'll be this year. Um. But yeah, the time jumping thing. No idea. I'm not like super up with all that law and stuff and how all that kind of stuff works. I'm, I'm not super into figuring all that stuff out. So whoosh, I have no idea. Um, that's okay. Look, they'll, they'll figure something out. I'm sure it'll be interesting. I <laughs> know uh, so far time scales have been wonky, but nothing hugely out of sync. True cross faction. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, 925 probably later this year. That will probably get later this year, but not an, not an expansion. Uh, likely be a time jump, but not 1,000 years. So, yeah, 1,000 years is a long time. It might be, like, 20, 30 years. But, like, uh, if he obviously knows what she's doing about considering she works for I do not. To be very, 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 very clear, I do not work for Blizzard. Every time I've had a sponsor, I've had three sponsored streams with Blizzard, and every time I've had to put a bar across the top of the screen that says sponsored by Blizzard Entertainment, legally, I must disclose, because I am promoting a product, I have to be, I have to, like, legally I have to disclose if I'm being paid to promote that product. I do not work for Blizzard. I am not sponsored by Blizzard. If I have an individual sponsored stream, you will bloody well know about it. <laughs> because I do things by the book. <laughs> um, eight months absolute minimum, more like 10 to 12, I'm a, yeah. Alrighty. Brilliant. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do one of these. Um, but thank you for the question. I appreciate, like, I, I really enjoy having the opportunity to talk about this kind of stuff and different people's opinions and stuff. Um, like, 
on stream and and learn how other people feel about things and and think and all that kind of stuff but uh yeah it's an it's an interesting thought and honestly no one's gonna know until we know we just we're just we're not gonna know until we know um i am part of me is expecting an announcement in the next month part of me is an, expecting an announcement during march um because if they leave it any longer than this it's going to be like every every month that they don't announce is a month further that the launch is going to be pushed back. Does that make sense? Um, I mean, I know that that's not how it actually works, but in terms of like announcing and releasing and, and you know, drip feeding information and PTRs and things like that, like there is there is a time that that's going to take. Um, so the, the longer they wait to announce, the longer away the launch is going to be. And I, yeah. As much as I know they want to take care and, like, you know, not, I, I don't know, no, but judging by their actions lately, I know they're going to want to be careful about this one. They're going to want to make sure they're open and communicative with this one. So, but at the same time, they also don't want to have us have, you know, 9.2 go for two years because that would have them hemorrhage players. Um, but yeah, it's, I am. I'm curious to see where the game goes after this. We, we don't talk about leaks here, just by the way. I know I know that there has been leaks. But, you know, either it's wrong, and so why do we, why do we care? Or it's right, and therefore it's a spoiler, which we don't do here. So, you know, it's, um, we yeah, we don't discuss them. Um, but I am curious to see where things go after this. Uh, right. Uh, I fear. Rest well, Chaos. I'll see you next time. So we're like, ooh, yum! I hope you enjoy it. I have had the weirdest craving for a meatball sub lately. Like, specifically Subway meatball sub with barbecue sauce, double mozzarella, and tomato, and salt and pepper. That's it. <laughs> Strangest. I don't know what part of it. I'm craving because you know like cravings usually indicate that your body is de has a deficit in a particular vitamin or mineral or something so like if you're craving bananas it's because you need potassium like I used to crave banana smoothies constantly all the time and when I got my buds done potassium was through the floor um so I don't know what the hell is in a meatball sub <laughs> that my body needs but apparently uh, apparently, craving Subway as well. No way! <gasps> Twinning. Am I the only one that disliked barbecue? Maybe. <laughs> That's okay though. There's no harm in that. Means more for me. <laughs> now I'm hungry. I'm so sorry, Lucky. I'm so sorry. We're gonna raid closure. All right. Here is your Twitch raid copy paste. If you do not have the Fiamma hype emote, uh, either because you are not a sub or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, both of which are totally fine. You can still uh, copy and paste the whole message and then delete Fiamma Hype, replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then drop it in Closure's chat when we get there. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, fuck. Oh my God, that's so strange. I've been saying tomorrow for so long because of February. <gasps> Wednesday, we're doing this week plus whatever launches on, for, on Wednesday. We're gonna do that and then I might be raiding. We'll see. Friday, uh, we're doing the Lego Bonsai. Isn't it? Yep, we're, we're building the Lego on Friday, so be there. Saturday, 12 hour stream, six year anniversary, don't miss it. Literally a giveaway every hour. Literally a giveaway every hour. And I'm not talking like cheap little weird things. I'm talking like headsets and stuff. So be there. Sunday, transmog hunting. Monday, back to Mount Farm Monday again. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. All the love, follow me on Instagram. See you Wednesday. Bye.